Hey everyone, I'm Cosmic and welcome back to another stream. And today we are going to be probably 100% inside order, I think. Um, if everything goes as planned. I'm trying to send out the stream link and it is not appearing on my thing. Okay, that's annoying. Um, we'll get that in a second. <laughs> Let some people join anyway. Um, this is about my normal time. Oh, I, oh, there we go. Uh, okay. And there we go. Cool. <clears throat> Hello, Godwin. I am back in Splatsville. I'll, I'll probably, I definitely want to check out um, the square for Splatfest, but it's, it's like I've been saying, I kind of like having, you know, a different hub world for every game. Um, but yeah, I guess we can go hop right in. Oh, I clicked the wrong button. Oh, that's very, that's very cool that I clicked the wrong button. Okay, well, <laughs> we'll get there in a second. Uh, there we go. Yeah, well, so I'll, I'll show my progress in a second here. Um, <laughs> it has been, um, I've, I've maybe been playing this game for a little bit. Um, <laughs> right, so it's been about a week um, since I've streamed this game. And I have been playing it off camera, like I said I would. Um, and as you can see here, um, I have almost all the palace done. So I know, I know this isn't the last one. I know there is another one. Um, we're going to try and do both today. Um, so you might be looking at the screen going like, oh, okay, so, you know, he did like 10 runs in a week, you know, while also doing college work and also doing school. That's like, that's like a reasonable amount of runs to do. Yeah, sure. Um, but actually, um, I have nearly 100%ed all of the chips. Um, I literally have all of these except for the dually one because I haven't been able to do a dually run because I wanted to save it for the stream. Um, <laughs> so for anyone who doesn't know, to get all three like little lights on every single one of these, you have to have five of them in your palette at once. So like, like this is a bit of a grind. Like <laughs> this took a lot of runs, um, especially for like, I don't know why this one was such a struggle. I had to do like three runs just to get this one chip because like some of the weapon specific ones are like really, really annoying. Um, and you literally, you just have to constantly be re-rolling, um, you know, the floor selection or re-rolling the vending machine like it takes a long time to get some of these and I'm hoping we're gonna get this one today um, I'm hoping but yeah um I have done all of that I also have all of the hacks some of them are turned off but I, I have all of them purchased um we might be messing with that a little bit for the runs today um also I have ciphers siftings almost fully completed um I don't I ran out of money um I was buying these from like most expensive to least. I don't know why I did that, but yeah, um, we'll probably get enough to buy the rest of this stuff today. And I, I don't have that less gear unlocked, but we are obviously going to do that. So yeah, um, I have been playing the game a lot. Um, just have these last two lockers, which obviously we're going to get with the dually run and then the final pallet. Um, so that's pretty much the plan for today. So we're just going to hop right in and do that. And I like duallys. Like I'm saving them left for last because I I like them and I wanted. I don't know. I don't know. I already did this the shot, so my duallys are my second favorite. So I guess. I was saving them for last, but this should go well. Like, this shouldn't be too hard. Do you most of the chips without doing a full? I mean, most of them aren't duly specific. Like, you you can use the um the bias. Like, they all have common tones. The ones that suck are when it's like like the reason that um the rush ink coverage took me so long is because it's something well, I thought you could only get it on roller and brush. I think apparently you can also get it on umbrella, but literally none of those have the range tone as their common tone. So you just have to turn the bias all the way down and just hope you get lucky out of like all the chips in the game, um, which is not very fun. <laughs> Although I did realize afterwards I could have actually increased my odds by turning off all of this stuff, which is what I'm going to do this time because I'm hoping to get that dually ability. Um, so I don't really care about drone stuff. Um, and what this also will do is let me put on risky rewards and actually get a decent multiplier. Hopefully. That's still actually only 1.1. Okay, well, we'll mess around with some other stuff. Um, I don't feel like I need to guarantee these vending machines. I'll guarantee the high one. Um, I kind of need this stuff to actually get the chip I want. <laughs> 
Well, I did my first run I fully completed was with the splatter shot. Um because I was being really stubborn at the beginning and tried to do everything with one life. So I actually died like a lot before I actually beat the final boss for the first time. Um but yeah, let's see. We, we can turn some of these other things down, maybe. I mean, I don't really want to. <laughs> I kind of like, a, I don't want to do a no hacks run. Maybe maybe we can do like a somewhat low hacks run, but I don't <laughs> I don't know about no hacks because I do want to beat this like pretty quickly today. Um, I guess I don't need all these drone slots if I'm not even going to have any of the... That's still only 1.1. Does that give me... Okay. The risk and rewards multiplier is not as useful. I know it encourages you to do like no hacks at all, but it's like... I thought we'd at least get like 1.2 for tearing some of these off, but all right. Um, I might just roll with that for now because I, I want I want this stuff like I want it to be kind of easy because I do want to finish this today and it's how I've been doing all the runs like I might do a no hacks run at some point, but personally I like hacks. I like being powerful. I like being able to actually win the game. So that's kind of how I've been playing. Um. But yeah, we're gonna go in. We're gonna we're gonna hope we get this one last chip that I'm missing, um, which obviously it's something to do with dualies. I don't actually know exactly what it is. Um, it's not dodge roll attack because that's like up here somewhere. But yeah, um, we're gonna we're gonna try to do that. Would lower double chip rate help? I mean, sometimes I've gotten double chip rate. I guess you're, you're saying for risky rewards. Oh, did I have continues on? I thought I had continues all the way off. Let me double check that. Um, but yeah, the double chip rate actually comes in clutch sometimes when you're trying to grind a specific thing. Yeah, I have continues all the way off. Okay. Um, I want to keep double chip rate. Maybe it doesn't need to be that high. Does that do anything though? Okay, no, it doesn't. So I'm just gonna yeah, I'll leave it as it is. That's fine. We don't. I don't really care that much about the risky rewards. It'd be nice to just get enough pearls naturally by doing the runs today that we can then complete Cypher's um, store too, because then I'd have literally the whole game fully completed, but it's not a big deal um, if we don't. Really what I want to do today, so right, um, I did um, actually record my reaction to all of the Marina Dev Diaries. I didn't record my reaction to the um, Smolisk battles, because I, I did the first one on a stream and then after that it's like there's like one interesting line of dialogue per thing so there are some small story things that have been revealed um that i kind of recorded my reaction to because i talk about them with the marina dev diaries so when i make this into a video i will probably go ahead and show that part uh now um <laughs> but we're on the stream right now so we don't get to see that um but yeah from now on we're just going to be doing obviously the runs and then Whatever story conclusion, I don't think it's that, you know, interesting or intense. I don't really know. I don't know how it ends. There's one thing I was maybe spoiled for, but I'm not actually sure if it's real. So I guess we'll find out. Um, okay, so yeah, this is... <laughs> so you guys will see what I've been doing. I literally will just spam reset um, until I get the chip I want and just spend all my money because it's... That's just what you got to do to get everything up to five. Um, so it's it's going to be <laughs> maybe a little painful to watch. Um, I've had some, some runs where it has taken much, much longer than I would have liked to actually get the chip, but hopefully we can do it. Well, you know, like I said, not a big deal if we don't. Oh, thank you, KKT. Yeah, I I want to talk about that, too, because the, re the response to the video essay, um, I feel like I keep saying it. I guess I haven't said it that much on YouTube, but it's like the response has been amazing. It's been incredible. I'm really grateful. It's gotten like a crazy amount of views and all the comments are super nice on it. Um, I would like to maybe do like a comment response stream. I know that was brought up a few times. Um, I'm not going to worry about that quite yet because I just want to finish up side order stuff. But yeah, um, thank you so much for the support on that. It has it has really been incredible. Yeah, if the 100% doesn't take too long, we could also do um, fresh season stuff. I didn't want to like put that in the title because, you know, <laughs> I didn't want to guarantee it in case side order ends up taking too long and I just want to end stream. But yeah, if this only takes... Uh, you know, like an hour or whatever to do the two runs, so maybe even less, then we could probably hit up some multiplayer if I don't suck at the game. I, like, I, like, I've not done a lot today besides wake up and power and eat food and start streaming, so <laughs> might be, might take a second for me to, uh, get my head in the game here. Oh, yeah, I saw a game explain was hacked. That's, uh, that's interesting. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know a lot of thoughts about that, but... Good to hear it was fixed, I guess. 
Oh, there we go. Extra dodge roll. Okay. Oh, that's what it is. It's extra. Okay. So we're going to try to get five of these in this run, and then we will have the chip collection fully complete, which will be very satisfying. <laughs> so it'd be very nice if we could do that. Um, so you only get one roll by default, right? I think I only have two now. Yeah. There we go. Hello, Eli. Uh, probably could have used one of the Beyblade guys, but that works. Yeah, I still I still need the four, but if we if we get them all this run. Um so yeah, I don't really care what the rest of the build is. Like the nice thing about having as many hacks as I do is like I can kind of get away with having a pretty garbage build because <laughs> I just have the um default. There we go. Okay, that's two already. That's actually very, very nice <laughs> compared to how this was going with some of the other chips. Okay. Just a zone. So yeah, I've I've been playing this like all week, so I I'm pretty familiar with pretty much all the levels now. Um Oh yeah, I wanted to actually show off some clips maybe that I took of my um the things that have happened to me. I, I didn't take that many, but there's some interesting things. I am I'm working on the chip um collection, but I I literally only need one more. I <laughs> I have been grinding um a lot in my free time. So, we might finish that today. Like, it, if all goes well, we will literally, like, do every single thing there is to do in side order by the end of the stream. Which is cool. I'm probably, like, one of the only people that's going to have the chip collection complete before doing all of the pallets. Um, which, you know, I just wanted to save the pallets thing for, for this stream. Uh, okay, yeah, so sometimes, you know, what I- my strat normally is like... Oh, would I get more money from doing a, the bonus or just- I guess just the normal would pay more, okay. Um, but yeah, if there's like a hard floor with a bonus or whatever, like those will pay more. So if I do run out of money during my resets, I will try to go for that to then have more money to reset more. Um, I have the strategy down, you know, pretty much as, as solid as I can get it, but still just a lot of relying on luck. And just told me this morning, which was fun until it wasn't, yeah. I mean, it's- I, I like the system because it's like, the idea is that it encourages you to make different builds and like, actually try out all the abilities. But some of them are just a little- a little too annoying to get, I think. <laughs> I mean, it's nice that the game has all the kind of, um, affordances of like, you know, letting you reset the floor offerings, letting you reset the vending machines. Like, they make it about as reasonable as it could be within the current system, but... Yeah, um, it's probably not something I would ever want to do again. <laughs> Which, you know, I guess most people don't like to 100% games multiple times. But, you know, I've 100% Octo Expansion at least twice, I think. So, not really a fair comparison, obviously. It's a totally different type of thing, but... There it is. Yeah, well, sometimes getting... Saturation is actually annoying <laughs> when you're going for chips because then you don't get the bonus from doing um like the challenge. Uh, let's go for this. Yeah, the parallel mask is cool. That's that's one of those things that like you know is gonna be iconic. I feel like <laughs> there's gonna be so many people wearing that. I really want the um Octoling armor too, but they made it 800 bronze scales in Grisco instead of a side order thing for some reason. So. Um, <laughs> I will, I will have to grind for that if I want it, I don't know. Um, there is a new Salmon Run map, by the way. I've not actually played that yet, so we could maybe do that on stream if we have time. I, I don't know, I'm kind of down for whatever later on. Um, I, I've tried out the new season a little bit. I like the Dowser Duelies. I want to make a video on them, but, um, we could also mess around with them on stream or whatever. I don't know, like I said, I don't want to promise anything yet, because, like, I'm pretty sure we're going to finish side order stuff without too much trouble, but don't want to get ahead of myself. The map looks really fun. It I mean, people were sad that they didn't bring Arc Polaris back, but, like, this one just looks like more fun Arc Polaris to me. Like, I would much rather have Ink Rails than Ride Rails. Um, I, th I think it looks way better.
Okay. Also, people like, I don't know, I like, from a lore perspective, I actually like Arc Polaris being in only Splatoon 2. Like, people were like, oh, they gave it lore. It's weird that they didn't put in Splatoon 3 after giving it so much story relevance, but it's like, that's the whole point. It was it was foreshadowing. Like, I, I don't know. I feel like it makes more sense to have it be in the prequel. If we already know who Grizz is and we have all the Arc Polaris stuff, then it's like, well, yeah, we, we just know what it is. It's, it's not mysterious anymore. I don't know. I, I, I kind of like how they did it. Plus, if I'm being honest, I was just never as big a fan of Arc Polaris as a lot of other people were, but... Like, it, it always looked really cool with the... I don't know. I didn't love the gameplay. Like, just riding up the rails, just... It's like, okay, well, now I just have to sit here for, like, 30 seconds while I go back to the top of the map. Like, <laughs> like I said, I just ink rails allow you to have, um... Oh, I'm supposed to be doing something. Oh, uh, I'm not okay. <laughs> I don't care that much about bonuses. I know I said it's good to do bonuses to get extra money, but, like... I'm not about to do a and fit it ball level without my main weapon. That just doesn't sound fun. <laughs> I didn't even notice that, though. Uh, Charger Pellet wasn't too difficult. Um, I, I mean, I'm... In single player, Charger is not that bad for me. Stringer is the one that messes me up just because I, like... I just don't... I don't know. The arcing shots thing just kind of doesn't click in my brain as well. <laughs> like... I feel like it's, uh... I don't know. It messes with me more than the Charger. I, the Charger, you can just upgrade so much that it, like, you can just turn it into, like, a Grisco Charger, and then it's not even really much of a challenge. Yeah, when, when you get a ton of lucky stuff, it's really funny, because you're literally just <laughs> constantly spawning items. Um, I know the special cam drops are, like, actually really nice, too. Okay, we're not getting here. I mean, we're, we're doing okay. We're not that far into the run yet, but... So, uh, for context, like, literally last night, I was trying to get that, um... What was it called? Alright, I get pearls just for finding it. Um... Last night, I was trying to get this rushing coverage one, and literally, it took me, like, three runs. Like, I of, of getting all the way to floor 30. Like, <laughs> I would just go and not get it, and spend all my money, and reset, and go to vending machines, and just not get it. Um... And it was rough. So... Hopefully, hopefully we don't do that today. I mean, like I said, if, if I don't get it, I'm not going to bother streaming all that. We're just going to do the two pallets we got to do and, and move on, but... It'd be nice, it'd be nice. So, <laughs> we'll try it. Yeah, well, I mean... Of course, it's annoying realizing in retrospect that I could have done what I did at the start of the stream and turned off all of the drone things, which doesn't help that much, but, you know, just gives me a little bit better odds. Um, but yeah, I would literally have runs where I had like three or four of them, but then just not get the fifth one, and it's a little infuriating. But mo most chips in the game are not that hard to get. Like, there's some runs where I got like four or five, um, like full completions of chips in a single run. It's nice when you're going for like a full category, and it's like the common tone of your weapon. It it's just, like I said, it's really annoying when it's something that is unique to a certain set of weapons, but it's not any of their common tones. So the odds are literally against you the whole time, and it's like, dude... <laughs> Can Sheldon hire Octavio to make the kits in Splatoon 4? Yeah, I know it's... I feel like a lot of people have been saying the kits are way better in uh, side order than the actual multiplayer, which obviously, you know, they can make them overpowered and not have to worry about it, so it kind of makes sense, but... Yeah. I mean, that's Splat Bomb Zooka on shot. I, I wish... I don't know. I mean, I like suction, but I, I would not mind that kit in multiplayer. Oh, hello, Metasepia. I think I'm saying your name right. Um, <laughs> glad you could catch it live as well. Yeah, I, I feel like some people don't realize <laughs> that the VODs exist. Like, I, you know, I, I'm obviously grateful to get comments at all, but people are trying to like, give me, like, tips or answer, like, my hypothetical questions in my Let's Play, and it's like, yeah, this is, this is hi highlights from a stream that happened a week ago, but thank you. <laughs> Yeah, Stringer is the same. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really know what went into the kit design. I mean, it's kind of different because you can literally change your sub and special in side order. So, like, I feel like it's more just about giving variety than, like, you know. The way a sub and special synergizes fighting gelatins is very different than fighting players. So, I imagine it was kind of a different thought process. 
Which palette has been your favorite? Honestly, I really like Brush. I've, I've really enjoyed all my runs with uh, Octo Brush. Because if you increase the speed, it, it, like the damage and the range. I don't know. I don't know. It's just, um. It's just been a good time. Also, Kraken is really fun. I think that one comes with Kraken. Or no, Roller comes with Kraken. I don't know. I can tell you my favorite special. Crab. Probably Crab, actually. Yes. <laughs> crab is just really versatile. Like, it's really good. Hammer is pretty nice, too. Um, but Crab can, like, push the tower. It can, like,. Annihilate portals like you can literally kill like three portals with one crab. Um, it destroys the final boss a lot of the specials destroy the final boss, um, <laughs> which I have found out but Yeah, um as far as main weapons. Yeah, I, I like brush. I like dualies I mean I from what I played of dualies. Okay, we are we are <laughs> It's been a while since we got on that last one. It's making me a little nervous um We don't have any drones, so we should go for that Did you get three rigorous? I think it's because I'm resetting so much. Um, because I'm resetting to just do chip completion, but I think it's a way to balance, like, if someone was just spamming reset so they didn't have to play hard levels, um, the game is like, nope, you have to play hard levels now. Um, which is not really what's happening in my case, but, um, they're still adjusting for that because they want me to play hard stuff at some point. Um, but you know, again, with, with all the hacks I have, it's not much of a struggle until we start hitting floors like, you know, high 20s. I still think it's a little weird that Octavia was splatling. Like, I, I don't know if it was just the the fanon interpretation of him in my mind, but like, I always assumed he used Octobrush. I don't know if he's ever actually been depicted with an Octobrush, but I, I, I'd like... <laughs> I think it is just a, a fanon thing, like a community thing that um, whenever people draw with humanoid form, he always had to brush, but... I don't know. I mean, also, it's the Octobrush. Like, it's one of the only Octo-named weapons in the series. But... Splatling also kind of makes sense. Obviously, I mean, he pilots a giant mech, so having a heavy gun is not exactly out of character. I've not done a fully hackless run, no. Uh, I, I kind of like, I mean, like, you know, this is the the full completion of my own profile of side order and getting all the items and stuff. Kind of after this point, I'd, I'd be down to do, like, more challenge run type stuff. I definitely, like, the idea would be, like, races or, like, challenges with other people I think would be really fun um but I'm still kind of at the point of just completing the game for myself so that will be coming later if it happens at all <laughs> I mean yeah, Sheldon is tiny, but I feel like that'd be funny. Like, that's the whole thing, is like, he's the weapons guy. I don't know, I feel like him having the heavy gun would actually make sense. If, if it were up to me, I would give Octavio the brush and Sheldon the spotlight, but... I, I can see the reasoning either way. That was... oops. <laughs> I did not think the contact would bump him that far. I still don't really have a good fast start for this boss, like... I've had decent runs. Oh, oh, wait, there we go, what? You just told you to juggle him with the dualies. Wait. <laughs> wait, okay. I've never, like, held him in the air like that while doing damage, uh, before. Okay. Well, that ended up going very fast after I said it wasn't. Nice. Yeah, race would be really fun. I, I really want to do, like, a uh, just anything with other people. I don't know. I've been, I've been doing side order stuff, like, alone and on stream, so it's, like, it'd just be cool to, uh, do stuff with other people. Okay, come on. I, I I don't want to hit up a vending machine unless I'm like totally rich. Like vending machines are like a, a last resort because they're they're way harder. There we go. It's always a it's like a double-edged sword getting a vending machine because if you get the chip you need, you can just instantly like buy as many as you need to finish it off. But resetting the vending machine is like so expensive and you're just gonna like completely destroy your wallet if you don't get what you want. So <laughs> it seems to be in my experience, it's a lot less risky to just reset floors. I'm supposed to not move in. I, I keep just not even looking at the bonus, dude. Um, well, I have to dodge roll. Okay. I will try to not move that much from now on. Does... I assume Reef Slider counts, actually. Yeah, that's kind of lame. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> we don't need the bonus. We're fine.
Yeah, well, I didn't even... I don't think I had the floor reset unlocked until after I beat the final boss, so... Um... It's definitely a, yeah, I mean, it's it's absolutely necessary if you want to 100% the game. I was just not even concerned about that, um, really, until, you know, the point from the last stream to now. Come on. Man, okay. I mean, we got three. We got three on floor 12. We're doing okay. <laughs> Makes me a little nervous. Again, I, I've gone, you know... I've literally had runs where the first floor I got the chip I needed without having to reset, and then the entire rest of the front I did not get enough chips. So, I will not feel confident until we have everything we need. Um, okay. It would be nice to get a better special at some point, because Reef Slider, in my experience, is not super great. Um, it's like, it's okay, but having, again, like, Crab, um, Ultra Stamp, Kraken, um, things that can just destroy portals really quickly are very nice to have. And also, most of them are doubly effective at um, pushing the tower and stuff, so... The only weapon we've ever seen him use out of the mech is... Yeah, it's just the wasabi. Okay. Yeah, I guess that, that's totally a case of just... <laughs> um, I just feel like I've seen so much fan art of him with Octobrush, but yeah. I guess... I mean, definitely in Splatoon 1, I think that was the... I don't even know... There's not a reason for that to be a headcanon, but I guess that that's what it was. <laughs> you thought if you didn't do the bonus, you died? That'd be funny. That'd be a little too harsh, probably. I mean, that's basically what the point of the danger things are. Or, well, not... I mean, it just doesn't let you use it at all, but, yeah. Man. Okay. Um... Let's go... We still, we still don't have anything for the drone. So maybe, maybe we should do that. <laughs> let's, let's give Pearl a bomb. Yeah, I mean, like like I said, it's still, you know... He, he's the big bad, like, you know... King guy, like a, a heavy gun. Well, that almost makes sense. <laughs> I don't know. A, a spatling is not not fitting for him. I just think the brush. It's just the samurai helmet made me. You know, I, I picture him fighting in a more kind of, uh, you know, with a melee weapon. I guess just because he wears a samurai helmet. I guess that's the only logic I'm actually going off of. But yeah, he hasn't even worn that since Splatoon One. So who knows? You made fan art of them? Oh, okay. Um... There is a an art channel in my Discord if you wanted to show it off. Bum, bum, bum. So yeah, I mean, with the hacks, like... <laughs> it's really really not much of a struggle like the higher floors I have to start concentrating a bit more but um well sometimes okay actually here I, this is a good time so I, I have a few clips to show um, of my side order also anytime there's like interesting dialogue I just screenshot every text box because yes um <laughs> let's see okay so this one this is the thing I did on accident once but it's actually become a strat I do on purpose with Kraken um because Kraken can bounce off the springs so, like, I didn't mean to do this, but I got the Kraken, I popped it, and then I landed on the spring, and you could just get flung into the air and hit the portals in midair, and it's actually, like, it's actually, like, a good idea, like, a lot of times. It's actually, like, a pretty effective, um, strategy. Is this just me looking around at the thing? Oh, no, this is when I just had max speed on this spl <laughs> the Splatana, I thought it was funny. Okay, um, what is this one? Oh, yeah, this one was, um, wait, no, this is not what I thought it was. What is this? Oh, this is just me barely surviving like three times in a row, I think. Or no, okay. I don't think that's the clip I thought it was. Where's the... This one. This one, it was insane. I don't know how I lived here. There were like... <laughs> it was Arpeggio Barrage, and I just kept getting flung into the air because I had the max broken armor jump, and, and it was... There were a lot of things happening. <laughs> and the walls were down all the way. Um... 
But I, I got a splashdown. It's like the most clutch splashdown ever. And I got the zone back and I actually won it. Um, so that was fun. <laughs> That's all I really wanted to show. But yeah, um, I've had some, some eventful runs for sure. Um. <laughs> Couldn't find the- oh, the Discord should be in the, the description of the stream. I think, unless I messed it up. <laughs> um... Keep resetting. one shot in a phase of Smallisk with a Beyblade? Do they do that much damage to him? I don't- I mean, most specials can, like, one-shot a phase, but... Or not one shot, you know, like, one special use will clear one phase. Man, okay. Let's go for, um, I don't actually, a charging special just isn't that good as long as we have this special. <laughs> Let's do accuracy, why not? Yeah, the damage jump is actually cool. Like, I know, I've seen some clips actually of people dying off of the ceiling. Because <laughs> like, if you, if you go too high, there's like a death plane, you know, below and above the level. So like some people will get their armor broken or like be gliding and they get hit by like an arpeggio or something and their armor will break and they'll just fly into the ceiling and die. Like you don't go all the way. You just like there's an invisible death plane, but um, so sometimes it will come back to bite you. But <laughs> in my experience, it has actually been pretty useful. Also, I messed up that first dodge roll and now this is kind of awkward. OK, there we go. There we go. Um, there we go. Maybe. There we go. There we go. Okay, it's a danger. How many do we have? We have four now. That's looking pretty good. We're like halfway through with four. That's, that's solid. <laughs> Could maybe even risk it on a vending machine if we have to, so. Looking pretty good. Oh, okay. Bye, Pearl. Uh, shouldn't matter too much for this one. I always forget you can't glide. Like, I'm always like, oh, no drone. Okay, so I won't have Pearl shooting things. And then I drop out of the cage. I'm like, oh, right. Can't glide either. Uh, oh, my God. Okay, don't... Don't love that this is going. Okay. I, oh, can't glide, right? Okay. Okay. Oh, hello, little guy. Hello, little guy. That's fine. That's fine. There we go. Give me that disc. Wait, the disc doesn't do anything because Pearl's in here. Okay, well. Um, there we go. There we go. Halfway through with two? I just, halfway through the run is what I meant. Yeah, using using specials and refill is nice. I mean, that's a multiplayer strat. Um, okay, I know this. I still every once in a while I'll get dialogue I've never seen before, so I'm I'm always careful to to read it. Um, at least the first line just to make sure. <laughs> yeah, that's just that's how the drone. I don't know. I I just think of the glide as like an extension of the move set now. Um. Actually, I know, I know, I know for a fact this has happened to a couple other people because I heard other people talking about it. But I tried, <laughs> I tried doing the pearl glide in multiplayer, and I'm like, what, what am I doing? That, that's not what this is. <laughs> uh, I'm going to do rigorous just so we get more money. I'm not even worried about the chips. Like, I, I just want that the dodge roll chip, and I want um, money to get more dodge roll chips. So I'm, I don't even care what we're getting in the meantime. With, oh, I don't think I meant to say that. <laughs> Maybe I meant to say with with the floors or something. I don't know. Yeah, I'm glad I'm not an agent four. <laughs> I don't dislike agent four, but you know, I know some people really wanted to see them actually show up, and uh, they didn't really. So <laughs> I feel bad for those people, but 
To be fair, it was never really... I mean, I never had any assumption that Agent 4 would show up, and then they showed the, um, you know, the parallel cannon in the official art, and I was like, oh, maybe they actually will. Like, I, I think that that almost hurt more, because that just gave people hope. <laughs> and then, I mean, I think parallel cannon's really cool, but it is just, you know, a weird robot thing. It's not really... It's not the same as Agent 4 showing up to save them from a blender, or whatever. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Side order wouldn't undo my Booyah Bomb muscle memory. If anything, I'm still mashing the D-pad in side order every time I pop one. I mean, yeah, they're they're related to Agent 4, but, you know, but it's not, it's not actually them. I don't know. It was, it was cool enough for me, personally. I, I have, I don't know. I'll probably share my, like, final thoughts once we, once we get to the end of uh, you know, side order stuff today. Because I, I have had some more time to think about side order and how I feel about it. Um, there's there's some good and some bad, but mostly mostly it's been a good time for sure. Dodge roll attack, that's almost what I need. Also, I have not actually been using my extra dodge rolls that I've been getting with the chips. That's the thing also that keeps happening. While I've been grinding chips, I always, like, I'm so focused on just getting the chips I need that I forget that they're actually powering me up. And then I'm like, oh right, I actually get, like, the, the perk that I'm collecting. Like, I forget that that's even happening. Um, so yeah, I could, I literally could dodge roll, like, four times right now, and I'm not even doing that. Um, let's do, let's do range. Range would be nice. Yeah, I mean, again... I didn't think they would show up at all, so the fact that they got mentioned with, like, their palette is, like, that's more than I thought they would get, so... <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's... I get it, you know, it's cool when the games reference the past events and, and characters from the other games. I think Agent 3 and Octo Expansion is, like, awesome and amazing, um... <laughs> but Agent 4 is just, you know, unless they were going to go out of their way to characterize them more in this campaign, there's not really a lot there for me to be attached to, so... Um, doesn't, doesn't really make a difference to me. Wait, so... Okay, that's actually funny. Wait, was that four or five? Oh, I can do five? Wait, why can I do five? I guess it is one by default, that makes sense, right. So six is the max, that's crazy. Oh, that guy got yeeted over there, okay. Um, there are sprinklers. There we go. Agent 4 is taking a well-deserved nap, yeah. Well, it'd be Grew School Dewey's if I actually got the, the dodge roll attack, but... Not interested in that one. No. 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 Come on. Okay. It really, it really feels just like rolling a slot machine at this point. <laughs> um, which gives me... This would give me the most if I actually did the bonus. So we're gonna go for that. Hopefully it is a bonus and not saturation. It was never, like, actually confirmed that 4 and 8 are roommates. There is one piece of official art from the Tower Records collab that shows them sitting on a couch together. <laughs> so everyone was like, oh my god, it's absolutely confirmed canon that they're roommates. Like, I mean, they could just be visiting the other's apartment. I, I don't really know. I it's a fun idea. I'm not against it, but like, it's not really hard confirmed. Yeah, I think it's... It's a thing I think a lot of people just really want to be canon, and there's, like, almost evidence for it, so people are just like, yes. <laughs> Which, kind of, you know, fair enough, I guess. I mean, I'm, I'm an Agent 3-8 shipper, so <laughs> I can't really be one to talk, I guess. I'm not, but I wouldn't claim that that's canon, so a little different, but, you know, whatever. But, but 4 was the protagonist of their game. Like, I, people act like 4 is, like, this, like, missing agent. Like, they have as much content as Neo 3, like, and they had as much as 8. Like, people, people were acting like 4 was, like, the forgotten agent before Side Order even came out. It's like, at that point, they literally had the same amount of content as 8. So, obviously, 8 has more 
cutscenes and more, you know, love from the community, but I don't know. I don't think 4 is this, like, abandoned child that we need to feel bad for. I think it is a Blank Slate character that they ran out of things to do with. But that's my take, at least. Hello, Charles. Um, take firing speed. Is that the most reward? Yeah. I mean, no, 8, don't get me wrong. 8 is by far the most characterized of the agents. Like, they are the most of a character. Um, and I wish the other agents got that treatment, but like, you know, as we are now, they didn't, so I don't really care about them. Like, I care about the characters after they have gotten their characterization, I guess, if that makes sense. Agent 4 has the potential to be anything, but they, they currently aren't much of anything. They are a design and like two character traits, and if people like that, that's fine. You know, I'm not saying people can't enjoy that, I'm just saying there's not a lot to go off of. That was fast, wow. Yeah, that was a record. Um, okay. We're on 20. We need one more chip. <laughs> hopefully they can give it to us. We're we'll start, we'll start getting um big rewards as we do the harder floors, so hopefully, you know, then we'll have enough money to maybe use a vending machine if it comes to it. Yeah. I mean, people act like Agent 3 has a lot. Like, I like Agent 3 because it's like Splatoon 1 nostalgia, and they made them do, like, two cool things in Octo Expansion. But, like, Agent 3 doesn't really have anything more than Agent 4, either. They just have, like, you know, they have two cutscenes that make them look cool. That's It's not really more character. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it would be nice to get an update on Agent 4. Like, I, don't get me wrong. <laughs> I would love anything more to their character. It's just not a thing that I feel like... I don't feel like there's necessarily something missing to not have it, I guess. It would just be nice if there was more. Um... Okay, well... Oh my god. <laughs> there we go. Oh no, there, where's the face? There we go. Oh my god, it's so weak. Come on. This boss fight is, like, not hard, but... There we go. I still like this one. It's probably still my favorite in side order. Even though it's like, you only have to destroy the, the glowing layers. Once I learned that, it made it a lot easier, but... I don't know. It's just fun, and the music is good, so... Yeah, it's... I really... I think it's a, a fan-in thing. It's just, like, less people drew fan art of Agent 4. So, <laughs> people are like, oh, they're forgotten. It's like, well, this, it's not really Nintendo's fault. I mean, it, you know, it is. <laughs> Obviously, Agent 4 could have had more content. I just, yeah, I don't know. At the end of the day, it's just, it's just not that deep. Yeah, also, it's like, I mean, I like, I don't know. Agent 8 is, like, my favorite character, so by extension, I like the other agents. But, like, you know, it's clear that, like, the idols are the ones they are actually trying to characterize, and the villains. It's like, they don't really put the focus on the agents anyway, so... Like, Marina, this campaign, this entire campaign is basically about Marina, more than it's about Aid or anyone else. Um... Man. I don't want to have to, I don't have to rely on a vending machine, man, but maybe, maybe I should, I don't know. Okay, we have a killer whale, so this would be worth now. Yeah, the, well, the singing is weird. Like, I like it. I like how weird it is, but it's like, I can't tell if it's, like, funny and cute or, like, disturbing. It's like, it's a little bit of both. I mean, it's not disturbing. I don't know. Oh. That's eh, just an A-ball level. Should be fine. Well, Octavio, I mean, I think Octavio is great. <laughs> I think Octavio has way more there than most people realize. Like, from his dialogue, he just seems like this goofy one-note villain, but, like, you know. I think Octavio is a really good villain. I, I think Octavio is a really great character. I hope he gets kind of a better conclusion, too, because, like, <laughs> Alterna was very vague about his status. Like, you know, is he allied with the Inklings now, or does he just, like, you know, did he just show up because <laughs> it was, you know, Grizz was kind of everyone's problem? <laughs> like, I, I don't know. I, I want to know what's going on with him.
Yeah, yeah, no, the... I still don't know if it, to say foyer or foyer. I think both are correct, but yeah, the the main lobby area of um, the tower is so cool. The the sound design and the way everything syncs up is amazing. I I still love that. <laughs> yeah, and I, I could have gone way more into detail about Octavio in the essay. Um, I I've actually I considered for a while. I don't know if I want to do this anymore, but <laughs> I considered for a while making a video literally just talking about like Splatoon's villains. Um, because it would it would ultimately be a thing where I'm like, this is why Grizz isn't as good a villain as the other villains. But <laughs> oh, we got Sisyphus in HD floor. Okay, well, this will be fine. Uh, kind of a rough kit um to go in for this, but this one is not nearly as bad as the other one. By the way, this one became like the meme floor. There are there are well, there's one floor in particular. Actually, here, let me show you. Let me let me show you the one floor, the one zones floor that I was stuck on. For a for is this it? Um, oops, I'm pressing up on my stick. Hello. Yeah, there we go. There we go. So if you look at if you look at the time it took me to clear this one floor, <laughs> uh, this was this was not fun. This was not a good time. I did not like doing this floor. <laughs> that took that took 22 minutes of my life that I will never get back. Um, that was with Brella, and it was like I was grinding chips, <laughs> so it was Brella. I did not have range. I did not have damage. I was grinding chips with Brella, and they just keep spamming the the big guys with the sprinklers on top of them, and I couldn't reach the sprinklers on top of them. So I was just shooting the big guy, and then the sprinkler would just pop off and paint the zone. Or this they had the springs, so then the springs would just splash down on the zone. And I like it was just it was too many enemies. It was so much spam, and I could not deal with it with my weapon. It was it was actually awful. Like it was so bad. Um oh, I do have the drone, okay. But yeah, that that has been my worst experience inside or that is infinitely I'll, I'll take Sisyphusian any day over that floor. Every time I see it now, I'm like, ugh. <laughs> even when it's not zones, I like I just I have bad memories with that place now. I I do not I do not like that floor. <laughs> Please do not put me on that floor. Yeah, I've I've done it with long range. I mean because I, I had done it before. Like that wasn't even my first time there. But just I I don't know. It was not it was not good. It was not a good time. Um, but yeah, this one's kind of like annoying because you have to go back and forth, but it's it's not nearly as bad. And if you have a decent suburb special, it's really not too hard to deal with. Fortunately, I don't have a lot of range, so I am having to actually bounce back and forth here. But you really just focus the sprinkler guys. You kind of don't have to worry about the rest of the enemies in my experience. Um, unfortunately, there are a lot of sprinkler guys. I, I swear I get this one every single time. Like, literally, there's, like, this one and the, like, tall mountain floor or whatever. I swear I get them every single run. I always get this one. <laughs> and it's always zones. Like, some of the, you know, a lot of the levels have different challenges that you can get on the floor, but this one is always zones. <laughs> it zones every time, and it's always this back and forth. Oh, my God. Okay. I might actually be able to get it before those sprinklers even reach the other zone, though, so this should be okay. Um, if I can paint it, there we go. Oh, they're totally gonna get it, like, the last second, probably. Maybe not. Three, two, one. Nice. It's not Sprinkler, it's it's Drizzling. Okay, my bad. I, I remember a lot of the enemy names now, but I, I always just have called those guys Sprinklers. <laughs> How's my experience with the new season been? Um... Good. I haven't experienced that much of it, actually. Um, I like the new dualies, and the new Brella is cool. I haven't played the Salmon Run map. Um, I like Marlin Airport. I like the new multiplayer map. It is kind of unfortunate that it's only one map, but, you know, for me, side order compensates for the multiplayer stuff being a little... I wouldn't even call it lacking. I mean, it's like a ton of gear. I don't really care about the weapon kits. Like, I, I think they're fine. Oh my god, we got it. Oh my, wait, that's, that's all we need, right? Just the one more? Okay. Okay. It's a rigorous floor. We have to beat this, but... We got it. That's that's going to be 100% shift completion. Okay, nice. Oh, I'm really glad we did that. Okay, nice. I'm actually, I don't know. <laughs> I was way more excited last night when I got that other one I was trying to get forever. But trust me, I am very, very happy. I do not have to do another run to get um just another run of, of chip grinding at all, I guess. But yeah, um, season is good. I don't really have any complaints. 
One new map would have been nice, but I have side order, so <laughs> not really bothered. Put Octavio above Tartar. I don't know about that. I mean, I, I love Tartar. But Tartar, I mean, Tartar works so well because he was set up by Octavio, I feel like. Like, part of what made Tartar so impactful is that we had a goofy villain first. Like, I mean, Octavio has a lot of depth to him that I find really interesting. But, you know, in presentation, he's still goofy because he's like, you know, a DJ king with a giant mech. But, <laughs> um... I don't know. I don't know if I could rank them against one another because I think they work so well in conjunction. I think going from Octavio to Tartar was like the amazing moment for me. So, <laughs> yeah. I mean, Octavio gets a plus from me just because he still has the best boss fight in the entire series, which is the Splatoon 1 Octavio fight, which is literally just my favorite boss fight ever. And I don't know if it will ever be topped in like, you know, I, I don't know. It's just everything I want in a video game is <laughs> Splatoon 1 Octavio. Like, it's fun movement. It's a good length. Like, that's my thing. Like, so many games, like, I really love their, like, controls, their movement. Like, like you know, I love 3D Mario games, but 3D Mario games have a hard time nailing boss fights. Because, like, a lot of the time they're just too simple or just too easy or too short. Like, they'll have really cool ideas, but, like, it's just over before it starts, you know? I just love how long Octavio is. <laughs> I just think they, they really, you know, just went all in and, like, actually got the most out of his moveset. And it's just a really, really satisfying boss fight. Yeah. I mean, I like I like how consistent Octavio is. Like, I like that even in Splatoon 3, like, he has, like, the rivalry with Cuttlefish. Like, that dynamic is really fun. Um, I kind of wish they did more with it, but... You know. Maybe Octavio could have saved Alterna <laughs> if he didn't disappear after the prologue. Oh, boy. Yeah, I, Mr. Grizz boss fight is pretty weak in my opinion. I don't know. I'm I'm biased because I really don't like the way Grizz's character was handled, but gameplay wise, it's like it's fine. I think I would un unironically like it way more if the rocket was actually angled so that falling off of it made sense. <laughs> the fact that your the rocket is pointed away from Earth, but you can fall off it sideways, like that's not how gravity works. Like, and that legitimately, like, makes me so annoyed that I feel like it ruins the fight for me. Not, like, entirely, but, like, I don't know. It's it's a cool dynamic, like, having to quickly ink this, you know, cylindrical structure to stay on top of it. Like, we've never had a challenge like that in Splatoon before, so it's cool. It's unique. Um, but it's, it's just not, it's just not Octavio. It's just, I don't know. I mean, also a problem with all the other boss fights, as much as I obviously love the story of Splatoon, like... I mean, Splatoon 3's boss fight especially is just so bogged down by cutscenes. Like, I just want to, you know, like, I want there to be story and then gameplay and then story. I kind of don't like when there's like, there's like a whole four minute cutscene in the middle of the Grizz fight. And it's like, dude, <laughs> like, I, just do this first, then let me play the game. Don't put this in the middle of the fight. That just kind of kills the tension. I don't know. That, that's a debatable point, probably, but I, I really don't like the pacing. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to go on the whole Grizz rant right now. Um, <laughs> there, are, there are a lot of reasons I didn't like him as a villain. Um, I should probably just make a video about it so I stop talking about it every stream. <laughs> but, you know. I feel like if you watch my... If you've seen my video essay, I feel like you would kind of get why I don't like Grizz. Because he kind of breaks the illusion of the, like, you know, human world and inkling world thing. Just because he is a talking bear. <laughs> but, I don't know. Also, just his writing. I don't know. I don't know. Again, I said, I said I'm not going to do it. I said I'm not going to do the Grizz rant, so we're moving on. <laughs> I mean, like, yeah. Again, if I liked the, if I liked him as a character more, I would probably like the four-minute cutscene more. <laughs> and then I would probably like, you know, the boss fight more. So, it's, it's a lot of things together that just didn't really work for me that well, but I get why people like it.
I think I get zero scales because I never play salmon run day. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Um I mean, I'm literally just doing whatever at this point. Max lucky chain, sure. I'm I'm pretty confident I'm gonna beat the boss, so. Actually, if I see a vending machine, I'm gonna hit it up just because I would prefer a different special. Um but besides that, I'm kind of just doing whatever for this build. Um, you have to beat the floor where you got the chip. So it, it's kind of weird, because I, I didn't even know this until last night, but, um... Because, you know, you see the little cutscene of 8 putting the chip into the pallet, but it doesn't actually count as collected until you beat the floor where you collect it. But after that, you can fail the run. Um, I actually did that on purpose. <laughs> Once I got the chip I needed, I just instantly died on the next floor because I wanted to go to bed. But, <laughs> um, yeah. You, you need to beat that floor, but that's it. Uh, Sticky Ink is always good to have. Yeah, no problem. Okay, so, I mean, I, like I said, I don't know how much story stuff Smallest actually reveals. So, I assume most of you guys have done all the pallets by now. Um, but if you haven't, I'm gonna talk about Smallest dialogue, so <laughs> be warned of spoilers, I guess. But yeah, um, basically what I've learned up to this point... Oh, it wants me to not use my main weapon. I don't care about that. Um, <laughs> what I've learned up to this point is that there were the group of Octarian engineers that Marina recruited to make the members, and that they actually weren't all necessarily happy with the, um, you know, kind of mass exodus, um, leaving of the Octarian world and going to the surface, which is really interesting, like really, really interesting, um, <laughs> to me. So I hope they expand on that a little bit, but that's, that's basically what I know to this point. So, um, I know that there were clashes between, you know, ideas of chaos and order and the whole, you know, not everyone was necessarily affected by the Calamari incantation and inspired to go to the surface, so... Also, that Marina knew other engineers who lived on the surface, I guess, which... I mean, I guess that makes sense that that would happen eventually, but, you know, we don't know who the, I don't know who they are, I don't know if I'm gonna learn who they are. Probably not, but... That is a thing. Oh boy, we're on this floor. Okay. This will probably go find with dualies. This one is very, um... Weapon-dependent, in my experience. Sometimes it's a complete and utter disaster, and other times it is a cakewalk. So... <laughs> uh... Don't love my ink efficiency. I do have lots of dodge rolls, but that's just gonna use all my ink, so I don't know if that's gonna be super helpful. Um, okay. Just keep these all the way up. Please, get rid of you. Thank you. There you go. There you go. There we go. Like I said, sometimes easy peasy, sometimes complete and utter disaster. So I'm, I'm glad we got the <laughs> better of the two options. Okay, vending machine. We're confirmed to get to the boss fight. It's probably gonna go pretty well. I've been pretty much wiping the floor with Smallisk most of the times I've been fighting him, so. Um, not too worried about this, but a different special would be appreciated. Honestly, I will take pearls. Um, <laughs> pearls reset. This is also a strat to just keep buying pearls and resetting. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure it ends up being worth the, um like worth the money. I'll take Ultra Stamp. That's not ideal, but that does um pretty much one cycle him. Alright, let's roll with that. Not not one cycle, I guess. I don't know how to say that. It like in one special use you can destroy one of his phases. You you probably know what I mean. Um that smallest really ain't down with us letting with letting us reconfigure the pallets. Yeah, it's weird. Our mission here doesn't even have anything to do with it. So how come it keeps getting in our way? Does it want payback that bad? Yeah. Get walked, let us on the joke. Don't ask me, ask smallest. Well, okay then. <laughs> so surely they could just like trap him in like a jar and like ask him all the questions instead of <laughs> instead of fighting him over and over again, right? Oh, thank you, um, Obvious131. I'm glad you enjoyed. 
Uh, this is not a no hack run. I've, I have tons of hacks on. <laughs> I'm not currently trying to risk it. I'm just clearing up pallets. Sorry, I'm just catching up with chat. Um, it is indeed worth it. Okay. Um, Smallest, what gives? Why you gotta be so... Oh, you're here! Again! Okay, time for us to fight! And if you win, you have my permission to reconfigure your pallet. It seems kinda pleased with itself. Uh, I guess we're fighting again. Round whatever. Let's go, eight. All right. <laughs> Tentacled Troublemaker. Okay, yeah. All of the subtitles are like number puns, by the way. I'm sure you guys probably noticed that yourself, but I, have, I haven't shown those on stream. Okay. Uh, yeah, this should be easy. These duelies are fairly strong. Oh, there we go. Boop. And he's dead. <laughs> it's really funny that most specials just like actually annihilate him. Oh, the duelies look cool. I don't. I never saw them fully upgraded. I guess. Oh, hello. Off the ledge. Dun, 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 dun. I also love this song. <laughs> this has been stuck in my head. I always, I always mess it up though. <laughs> okay, and boom, get that stamp, and dead. Boosh. It ends up frustration. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. When they try and get eight to talk. Yeah, that was funny. <laughs> Um, boom. I forgot I had the squid roll attack. Oh yeah, I can also do this. <laughs> oh, that's a reslider. Oh boy. That's like the one- the reslider and the stinger are the only things you have to worry about, really. With the broken armor jump, I'm literally fine, though. Um, come on. There we go. I probably should have used my stamp on one of them, but this one will just be easier to shoot. There we go. Yeah, this was a very easy fight. This probably won't get him 100%. Oh, it will not because that's happening. Okay. I don't know. I don't think the hammer hit him. Should be fine, though. Uh, there we go. Nice. So, I don't know if we're going to get any kind of interesting lore drop this time. Because we still got one more pallet. Ooh, one more reconfigured pallet on the books. So, um, are you leaving so soon? Easy there. That wasn't the last pallet we need to reconfigure. You'll see us again. You better hope not. I'll definitely win next time. I can't wait to... Never mind. Forget it and go. Okay. I'm a little... I'm still a little confused by Smallest, but I assume I will get the answers on the next run, so... There we go. Last two keys. 23 minutes seems to be about my, my average time for, like, my good runs. Decent amount of pearls. Okay. Spectrum is good. I, I I like it. It's probably actually my least favorite Splatoon boss song. And I mean, that's a high bar. <laughs> but, um... It, it just takes a little too long to get good. Like, I think when it gets to the end part, when it's actually Pearl and Marina, like, singing the side order theme... Like, that melody, like, that part is, like, really, really good, but it, it takes so long to build up. I, I kind of don't love that. Like, I don't know. Obviously, it's, like, there's the cutscene, but, yeah, I don't know. It's good. It's good. Um, gotta admit, this place is growing on me, but that colorful and couple of square vibe still has it beat. Yep, okay. So, this will probably just be... Oh, that's the banner that everyone's been using. Okay, okay. I thought that would um, be from Cypher, actually. And the final locker? Oh, Okay. That was cool. <laughs> I didn't expect that. You got eight's palette. Nice. So I, I was spoiled for this. I, I knew there was another palette. And I knew it was the Octo Shot. I mean, if you played multiplayer, you know, <laughs> it's pretty much inevitable that I would end up seeing this. But okay. Power and mobility. Okay, I'm a fan of that. I'm actually a fan of all of that. Okay, I like that kit. I like that it has the, the yellow tag from Octo Expansion too. Okay, sick. The lockers turned into eight's palette? I did not expect that. Kind of weird that your palette was the lockers themselves, eight. 
But this is, but this is the last one, yeah? We just gotta reconfigure it and we're done here. Uh, wait. Something's odd about your Paladate. It seems a bit resistant to hacking. Oh. In fact, the more hacks you have active, the fewer color chips you can set. I see. So they, they want me to do a no-hack run. I mean, I'm, I might as well do a no-hack run now, right? <laughs> I feel like the, the game very much wants me to. Um, okay, let's see here. Oh, I got the final gear. Oh, it's this. Oh, that's expensive. Okay, um, I'll buy that last. I'll like, I'll literally get everything else and then get that, I think. Just, just for the sake of it. It's easier with no hacks and lots of chips rather than the other way around. Yeah, that's kind of what I would assume anyway. Okay. So... I don't know if I'm gonna get the pearls I need for that, but we'll see. Um... Octal... Uh, it's normally this is just a tutorial thing. The finish line is not far, I know this. Um, after the last bobble is di what did he just say? Rest assured, cipher siftings will remain open for dealing. Yeah, okay. I, I didn't think you would go away. Um... So, let's see here. It's a lot easier to hack a bunch? Well, I mean, I don't know. I think it'd be kind of cool to do a no-hack run just for the sake of it. Oh yeah, I get to see, um... Smallest notes here. Did you know I study my enemies' moves in the name of order? Thanks to the digital tickets those jerks sent me, I watch all the live streams of their shows, then I check the VODs to examine every detail of their every move. Wait, that's really funny, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect them to talk about live stream VODs <laughs> in side order. Huh. Curse that Pearl, she's too cool. That's weird that he likes Pearl, right? Every other, like, you know, order thing. He's like, oh, order, or, or chaos, sorry, chaos is like, chaos bad, chaos must be punished. He says punished at the end of, like, half of these. But then he says Pearl is cool. Okay. Spolsk is a VOD watcher, yeah. Okay. I do like it that it's the Octo Shot. So, wait, let me see how this works. Does it like... Max Color Chip 6. Okay, yeah. I say we do a no-hack run. This is gonna be rough, because I've been, I've been getting really used to being, like, uh... kind of overpowered. <laughs> is there a way to just turn off all hacks automatically, or do I have to do this manually? I think I do. Wait, Max Color Chips is still only 6? Wait, how many things do I have to turn off? <laughs> Hold on. Um... There we go. Why is the Membux reward affected so much? Interesting. Wait. I might as well have risky rewards on, right? Yeah. Okay. Um... A little nervous, but we'll give it a shot, I guess. I mean, there's nothing else to do. Oh yeah, I can look at my fully complete. <laughs> That's very satisfying. Oh, look at that. Fully complete chip collection. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if I get a special thing for that. I don't. I don't think I do. You just get all the badges for the individual tones. But yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll give it a try. I'm not gonna say for sure we can do this, but I feel like... I feel like this is how it has to end, right? <laughs> I feel like this is what we gotta do. Oh my god, you're so weak by default. Okay, yeah. This is gonna be rough. <laughs> this is gonna be rough, but I, I mean, you know, this is like the final challenge, right? I'm gonna give it a shot. I think we gotta try it at least one or two times, I think. If, uh, if I cave, I might end up turning a few things on, but I'd like to, I'd like to try it. It's all riding on you again. Okay, it's the same dialogue. Um, how do you complete the chips and just now get the octo shot? Um, because I put off. Oh, skip floor. Because I put off um this pallet until the stream, but I've been grinding chips all week basically. What is? How does the skip floor work? Do you guys know? Like, what does that mean? Do I have to like pay money? Um, can I like? Oh. Is that just like a an octo shot concession? That it it lets me do that or. 
I just I'm just confused because I've never seen this before, but okay. Gets more expensive as you get up. Okay. Um, well, I obviously don't want to do that for now because I want the chips. So, you know, unless I see like three rigorous splat zones, <laughs> you know, complete hell levels, um, probably just gonna be going for um the things. Right, uh, I have all the pearl stuff turned off, so I can only have one of hmm. I can only have one pearl thing. Okay, I guess we'll, we'll go for ink recovery then. I want to rely more on strengthening eight. Luckily, it said the. I mean, I don't have strong bias. Oh, there's the. Oh wait, wait, are those all different mem um or dev diaries? I mean, okay, so this is it's like the whole Lord Lord Drop Run. Okay, 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 okay. I'm excited. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> No hack run. Let's go. Oh, even the like knockback I do to the <laughs> eight balls is smaller because I have less damage. Um. Well, that's yeah. That's <laughs> I don't care about the no hacks. I care about the fact that I'm getting lower. That's that's the most important thing, of course. Okay, I, I really got to think. I mean, I like this now, right? Because I've I've been grinding all week, just kind of picking. Oh, does it have you know less than three lights? Pick it. Like that's been my only criteria. I've just been grinding chips, and now I, I'm back to actually being thoughtful about my choices again. I like this. Um, run speed seems kind of nice. Gonna be honest. One four down. Yep. <laughs> twenty eight to go. Twenty twenty nine to go. Yeah, I can do math. I, well, if you count the final boss. Anyway, let's let's just do the thing. Um, this should be fine. So I can just do this. Hopefully you get one or maybe two of those. Nice. Uh, too far away. Oh, that killed. Okay. <laughs> we take those. Oh, yeah, I do have Splashdown. Splashdown's actually pretty good in side order. So, ink attack size. Ooh, these are all kind of... Eh, splash damage. Well, that affects splashdown actually. Hmm. I'm between ink attack size and splash damage. Probably, you know what? I can, I, I can aim. I can aim. Let's go splash damage. <laughs> I don't, I don't need to increase the hitbox. Also, if I, yeah, obviously bombs. I just. Yeah, no, that, that actually makes sense, yeah. Okay, De definitely a good decision then, because I have two explosions in my kit. Um, okay, what are we doing? Check the zone, oh my, okay. <laughs> I totally just missed the zone for a second, okay. I see, I see. Got it, gotta be, I'm glad that the tension is back, you know, I kind of, I definitely got a little too comfortable, I think, being, uh, you know, all, all hacked up, and, uh, you know, knowing every floor pretty well, but now we're, we're back, we're back to having, a. Uh, you know, gotta play on my toes, gotta gotta be aware, gotta be ready for anything. Okay, okay. Okay, there we go. Do not let them paint. Do not let them paint. I don't have the damage to deal with these like I used to have. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh wait. Oh, I actually might die. Oh my god. Hey, I'm just having the fast recovery too. I gotta get... I gotta remember that I got to actually be really careful when recovering my armor, because I don't have that instant recovery like I used to. Get out of here. Paint. Okay. I have a splashdown, we're good. Cheater is uncomfortable at level one. It's level two, actually. It's level three, I mean. I, again, I can do math. Um. <laughs> oh my god. Um, it, it's it's situational for me, anti-flow, with the hair physics. I think it looks good when they're walking around, but a lot of the win animations, the hair just like awkwardly jiggles during the animation, and it's like, it, it looks kind of bad. So I, there's there's times where Splatoon 2's hair looks better. Um, on the Octolings, I don't really even notice it. Um, okay. What are we doing here? Mobile special charge might be really good. Uh, that's actually definitely really good. It has a bonus, so... Don't use specials. Okay, well, that's fine. Um, 
I might not care about bonuses. I mean, the, the thing is, <laughs> I really, it would just be very convenient if this run ended up giving me all the pearls I need to buy out the rest of Cypher's shop. But, you know, that might not happen. <laughs> it's not the end of the world if it doesn't happen, but it would be another reason to go for bonuses. Never mind, never mind. Using special, using special. Thank you. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> that is not worth dying for. There we go. Only use one. Still got some bonus. That's fine. Okay, okay. Um, main piercing. Yeah, I got, yeah, main piercing. Surely, surely that's what we do. Okay, floor five, rigorous. Why am I in a rigorous on floor five, by the way? <laughs> does, does, it's eight pallets like harder or, um, is eight pallet harder is what I meant to say, or am I just getting bad luck? There we go, there we go. Oh my god. Why'd that break my armor? Hello? Are the enemies really that strong normally? <laughs> I've, I've had weakened enemies on for so long. Jeez. I did not know that marching on Dante could break my armor in one hit. Is that what they're called? <laughs> I was not expecting that. Um, Range would probably be really nice. Range on shooter is really nice, actually. That's what I did my first run that I beat the final boss. Um, and that's a double tip, so. For sure. It's just the- okay, it's just the gimmick. Okay, okay. Yeah, I did- I definitely buffed my defense. That's, um... That would be why. Okay, okay. Right, I always forget they have the, um, the Beyblade things. I don't know what the actual name of those is. I've literally just been calling them Beyblades my entire playthrough. <laughs> uh, these things. There we go. Cool. Okay, um, Pearl doesn't have anything, so getting a killer whale would probably be the move. Yep. I'm worried about the boss. I'm actually, I've not been scared of the final boss since the first time I fought it, but <laughs> I, I am nervous this time. That's why I really want range, because that, that strat really worked when I, when I beat it the first time. Like, a shooter with range is kind of a monster. That's why Squeezer is meta. Tried and true strategy of simply not getting hit, yeah. So that's what we're going for here. Splashdown is really nice to have. I really am glad it's Splashdown. Alright, come on, come on, come on. Oh my god. Oh my god. Recover, 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 recover. Give me armor, give me armor, give me armor. Please, 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 or just win the level, that's fine too. Okay, got both, thank you. Um, I don't know if I want to have Splashdown in multiplayer. I, I mean, I, I wouldn't mind Inkisha again myself, but... Um, it would work better on that than like... I'm just really sad Endparry's parry has got Splashdown. I think N parry's with Splashdown is not good at all. Um, but <laughs> it'd be better on, on shot. I wouldn't mind that as much. Okay. Um, what are we doing here? Uh, vending machines don't seem like the move. Not until I have more money. Um, accuracy doesn't. I'll go max lucky chain. If I do this and then get some more lucky stuff, um, item drops can really come in clutch. Especially, um, special and armor. So, and ink refill sometimes, honestly, is really nice to have. So, might go for some of those. Don't move an octoling form. Um, how about I don't listen to you, because that's stupid. Oh, jeez, right, these guys are gonna be so much harder to kill now. Oh my god. I meant to throw a bomb? Okay. I like, swear I pressed the bomb button, but it did not throw a bomb, that's fine. I can actually glide over this guy and splash down on him. This will work. 
Goodbye. Nice. Bum, bum, ba, dum. If we're talking about the amazing uniqueness of Splatoon's OST, I still think Chirpy Tips. <laughs> I mean, I love the weird single player stuff, but the Chip Tune plus Rock is like, yeah, yes, give me more of that, please. <laughs> Um, sticky ink is probably what I want. It's probably what I want. That was, um... There was an Octo Expansion level where they give you a Splashdown to kill a Tentacook. <laughs> I, I, I thought about it. Uh, every time I, I use Splashdown in this, I think of that, because it feels like it's... I don't know. I mean, I guess that's just a weird, <laughs> weird specific memory, but... Um... I don't know. I, of all the mechanics, like... Of all the things I could have predicted about side order, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, let me focus on the level for a second. Um... <laughs> but yeah, I mean, the, the triangle guys, I actually still don't know their name. The ones you have to chase and kill. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. 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 I'm possibly going to die. I'm... very afraid of dying. Very afraid of death. I'm not going to say the thing I was saying until we're done with this level because I need to focus on the level and nothing but the level. We're going to splash down this and kill that guy. I didn't kill that guy. How did the splash down not kill that guy? Boom. Okay. 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 Please, 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 please. Bomb. Okay. Okay. There we go. Beyblade. Okay. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine, actually. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> anyway, what I was trying to say is, um, the guys you have to chase that run around like that are basically just tentacooks. Like, they're just reskinned tentacooks, the weird little octo guys who, like, roller skated around and threw splat bombs at you. And if I could have made any prediction about side order, I would not have guessed that, like, a fifth of the gameplay would just be <laughs> reskinned tentacooks. But, you know, they kind of made it work somehow. Um, okay, now we're doing a boss fight. Now we're in a boss fight. I didn't expect you to live. Good job. Thanks. Thanks for the <laughs> vote of confidence. Oh boy. Okay. You know what? The scene, scene, reward, lore. There is no motivator greater than this. <laughs> that is that is the ultimate thing to make me concentrate and do well. So thank you. Thank you, Side Order. Thank you, Marina. Yes, I will try my very best. Okay. Um, what are we gonna get? Layered rotator, that's fine. I hope we get parallel cannon um, for the second boss, because I feel like it's actually really easy <laughs> to deal with that. It'll be harder without all my buffs, but it'll be easier than the bounder. Um, I'm not too worried either way, but... Um, okay. Oh, I'm so weak, dude. Okay. Oh, oh my god. 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 Get me behind the thing. Get me behind, get me behind the thing. Get me not in the searchlight! Oh my god. Okay. 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 Please survive. Please survive. <laughs> the reward for the boss's lore is he got to lock in. Absolutely. That is that is 100% my state of mind. Okay, I got to lock in. I got to lock in. I got to lock in. Okay. Nope. Why you got why right then? Why why why? Okay, 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 okay. That's fine. That's fine. Now you're sting rain. That's fine. That's cool. That's fine. That's chill. That's fine. That's totally that's totally not unfair at all. Okay. 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 I'm gonna be okay. I'm gonna be okay. I'm gonna heal my armor. I'm gonna heal my armor. Oh my god. I did not expect a no hacker on to be this stressful. I'm going to be honest. I really did not think it would stress me out this much. There we go. There we go. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. I am overestimating my weapon damage. I really am. Yeah, I'm so used to doing way more. Um, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's just an ink strike. That's just two ink strikes. That's just, just to kill. Kill the thing. Kill the thing. That's just another ink strike. Okay. Okay. That's fine. I need to also use these splash shots while I have them. Clear out the enemies. Clear out the enemies. Don't even try and mess with that. Give me that disc. Thank you very much. That would be very nice if I could get that, actually. Okay, what if I... Maybe just, you know, let's let's not do the fast strat. Clearly, we're not in a position to be doing fast strats. Let's just take out the boss like normal. It's okay. It did the thing where I can't kill it anymore. That's fine. That's totally chill. Um, That's a lot of bombs. That's a lot of bombs everywhere, and I am weak. Okay. Okay. But what if I broke this, splashed down to break the next one? That's not how that works, actually. Okay, that's cool. But I can reach this thing now. I can reach this thing now. Don't spin. Don't spin. Stop spinning. Stop spinning. Stop spinning. Stop spinning. Okay, just shoot the thing. Just shoot the thing. Okay, I did. I did. I did. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. Give me that lore. Give me that lore. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, look at it. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Whew. 
was okay. What was chat doing while I was saying all that thing? It says become game theory. Now that map pad is gone, become game theory after graduation. Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay. Okay. We have she even Pearl said we had it on lock. Locked in. Absolutely. I need a drink of water. Give me a second. Check lore now, should I? I guess I should. Yeah, okay, give me a second. I need to drink water. <clears throat> okay. Uh, that's not where the lore is. Where's the lore? Collection. Oh, they... <laughs> okay, they just added tabs in... Okay, sure, that's how that works. Okay. From Oct. Oh! Oh, I actually saw... Okay, I didn't have the context. I didn't know if this was, like, fan art. I've actually seen this image. I saw it, like, zoomed in. I know the other Octolings. Oh my god, wait, okay, okay, okay. From Oct. Hey, Marina, I found these old photos. Thought you'd get a kick out of them. You were so talented and hardworking in those days. Me, I was always slacking off and cutting class. I got to know the inside of the instructor's office pretty well. Every lecture was the same. You should be diligent and dedicated, like a true Octarian. I heard it so many times that it turned into white noise. I wonder how she's doing now. Man. I love this so much. Oh my, they have, they have the, <laughs> they have the Splatoon 1 scrolls. Wait, look, it's the, it's, I talked about all those in the video. That's the, the inkling like biology report. That's the dome exclamation. That's the, that's the news report guy talking about the energy crisis. <laughs> the, dude. Oh, they are feeding me. Oh, they are feeding me some good food. <laughs> I love actually seeing them like in the seats like that. Oh. Wait, so is that is that one supposed to be Oct or? I'm not sure. Maybe it's just a different um, Octarian. Yeah, I think I think that's supposed to be her. Or them. Sorry, I still keep doing that. Um. Oh, and the, and the piercings, yeah, yeah, the piercings, that's, so that, oh, that one is, that one's Oct, I think. Yeah, that one, that one, that one is. I don't know if the bottom one is. That one is. Yeah, yeah. I did, and they have the S2 Inkling armor, or Octo, Octoling, Splatoon 2 Octoling armor. Like the bunks, oh, I love getting details about, like, Octarian life stuff, okay. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much for the food. <laughs> oh, dude, I, I said at the beginning, like, now that I've edited some of my Let's Play, there's parts where I'm like, you know, oh, I hope we learn more about sanitization and life in the Octarian, like, domes and stuff, and then that's like, just literally exactly what we got, and it's like, oh my god, yes. Oh. Okay. Um, drone gauge or mobile ink recovery? Honestly, ink recovery might be the move. Uh, having the whale is nice, but like, I, I just want to buff the weapon. <laughs> yeah, I, I mostly knew to check it, um, to see my, like, chip progress, but yeah, you can, you can also check the lore. Okay. Um, here we go. That's so, like, <laughs> I feel so, like, vindicated after talking about those scrolls as, like, propaganda and then literally seeing it in an Octarian classroom. Like, <laughs> I know that's just what it is, but, like, oh my god. That's so, that's so cool. I mean, that's, like, basically, like, following up on Splatoon 1 scrolls. Like, hello? Oh my god. They're, they are really... They are really feeding me lore, dude. I mean, to be fair, I think some of it- oh my god, hang on, hang on, hang on, gotta- gotta lock in, gotta lock in. Please stop, please stop, please stop. Okay. Ooh. They keep trying to give me vending machines, dude. I don't really- I don't really want that. <laughs> Not until I have, like- I'm not doing a vending machine unless I have at least, like, 4,000. Um, Splat Ink Recovery, and that's a bonus. That sounds good to me.
Okay, okay. I don't need I don't need that much more splash damage, I don't think. Don't use their I'm gonna you know what? I think I'm gonna use my main weapon. Thank thanks game for the offer. No thanks. Uh eh, okay. Maybe I can try. There we go. I'm gonna use it a little bit. <laughs> Cause you got you gotta be fast on this level if you want to clear it easily, so. Oh, that one already went in. Okay. Where the... Oh. Um, that's gonna launch the ball further than I want? Yeah. But it also takes out all the enemies, so that was probably worth... Okay, I'll try... I'll try to not use the main. I would like the bonus. There we go. Hopefully that isn't the ball! I hit the ball. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Sick. That was pretty good. Don't use your main on the level you have to push the ball up, hell yeah. Well, the funniest thing is when it's like, don't use your main weapon on, like, a zones level, and then you get, like, wall or mist. It's like, okay, bro. <laughs> what, what do you want me to do here? Ooh. Firing speed or poison ink? I feel like poison ink actually might be the move. Like, firing speed is really nice to have, but poison ink just, like... I'm going, I'm going for a poison is just so useful in general. Yeah, okay, everyone's everyone's saying poison in chat, so. Ooh, only 13. This this run feels so long because I'm like, I mean, I guess the, you know, five minute break to talk about lore probably helps, but <laughs> feels so much more aware and intense. Um, there we go. This one's normally not too bad. Just focusing on killing the sprinklers. Luckily, that little bit of range I got is enough. Oh no, oh no, no. Paint that, paint that, thank you. I have a splashdown at the ready to panic anytime I need. Okay, okay. Checkpoint. Okay. Nope, no, no, no. I did not lose control, actually. You're lying. That guy, okay. <laughs> A guy flew behind me. I wasn't sure if he was dead or not. Nope, no, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Boom. Nice. Okay, okay, okay. I already have a whale. I low key want to go for swim speed, honestly. I, yeah, I just movement, just movement. I want to be able to get away from enemies. It's, it's nice to have a little bit of this. I'm I'm going for a very much like well-rounded, you know, thing. I'm not I'm not going for anything crazy. I would like more range. If it gave me range, I would stack in a range. But other than that, I just kind of want like all my bases covered. What's my opinion on VR? Um, I have a Meta Quest 2. Um, I don't use it very often. <laughs> I kind of wish I used it more. Um, VR is cool. I think it's it's in a place where it's like not very, like, <laughs> I don't know. I, at least as far as like video video games, it's just so underdeveloped. Like, I feel like um, Half-Life Alex. I, I haven't played Half-Life Alex, but as far as I'm aware, that's like one of the only like legitimately like fleshed out video games that was like designed to be a video game in VR. I feel like everything else is like an experience or like a mini game or like, you know, it's a thing you can do in VR, but it's not really like a whole story or, you know, full on product or like piece of art. So there's good potential, but it's still in like such a weird, like awkward state where it's like really inaccessible because it's so ex expensive and you know, there's not really a universal, like, platform or, like, set of, you know, there's a few different options, but then lots of stuff is, like, incompatible, so it's, like, I don't know. I feel like the thing about VR is, like, people are always, like, in 10 years, it's going to be this huge thing, but then people say that, like, every 10 years. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I think it's not, I don't know. I'll be honest, I didn't know what else to ask for at Christmas, and some of my friends had VR, and it seemed like a cool thing to check out. <laughs> That's pretty much why I have VR. Um, I think it's totally fair to say it's not worth the price at the moment. Um, 
but yeah, VR chat is really cool. I, VR chat is genuinely like one of the most interesting things to me in VR so far. Um, just because it's, you know, it's the closest thing we have to like a quote unquote metaverse. Like it's literally just exploring worlds, jumping through portals and, you know, hanging out with friends in a virtual world. Um, but again, there's not much like there mechanically unless people program it in. So it's like you're just kind of walking around exploring stuff, which is cool, but um, oh, so yeah, let's go for piercing. I think it's fun. I'm glad I've tried it, but yeah, it's not a thing where um, I don't think anything it's not worth getting right now because <laughs> the stuff that exists now will still be there when VR gets better. So I think VR chat is an interesting experience. VR Among Us was unironically really fun. <laughs> um, so I'll, I'll give it that. <laughs> I actually streamed VR Among Us once. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I, I haven't really done a lot of VR content, but that was that was a fun time. I still get a little like motion sick. Like I think VR is a thing where you can like, if you get used to it, it it, it gets easier to deal with. But I still every time I've done it, I, I end up getting motion sick after too long. So I mean, it just takes so much energy too, because there's this like big heavy thing on your face, and you're like probably standing for a lot of the things you're doing. And even if not, you're like moving your neck around, and it's like it's just kind of exhausting. I guess ultimately that's that's a reason I I don't use VR that much is because it's like it just takes so much out of me. <laughs> yeah, no, it's a real thing. Um, there was actually a really popular VR chat map that was like an, a fan made Among Us VR, but then they made an official one, um, which <laughs> well, I watched. Um, it was like Germa and Vinny Vine Sauce and like a bunch of other people. I think Hackerling was there. I guess some of you guys might know them. They're they're kind of a Splatoon person, um, which I don't know how they end up getting involved with like all these other famous Internet people that. <laughs> their their channel's growth really confuses me because I feel like they just came out of nowhere. Um <laughs> but yeah. Those those videos are extremely funny. Or they were streams, but I watched the VODs. Um but it's very funny to watch. Um I know Among Us is such a, a meme that everyone was sick of, but it's genuinely really funny. Um Do I go poison ink again? Or or ooh. You know an armor drop might be a thing. I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? Poison ink or armor drop? I'll leave it up to chat. I could do vending machine. I do have a lot of money. Armor drop might be big though. I feel like armor, I, for how often, I always get really surprised when my armor breaks, so I feel like just having armor drops like laying around. Yeah, I, I feel like this might come in clutch. Okay, all the, all the messages are coming in now. Most people said Armor Trap looks like so, yeah. Um, okay. Did I already get this floor? Did I not? I, I don't know. Maybe I did on the last run. I swear I just did this. W for the Armor Drop community. Uh, the run is going good. I'm doing a no hack run. So I, uh, th this is... <laughs> My completion of the game has been kind of weird. I'll, I guess I can show. Can I? Can I? Yeah. No, I can't. I can't show the thing right now. I have basically all of the chips. I did all of the chips before I actually did all of the pallets. <laughs> so I'm currently doing my first ever no hack run um, with the octo shot as my final pallet run. Um, so it's kind of tense because I've, I've been used to having hacks up to this point, but so far has been going all right. Um, there were a few stressful floors and the boss fight, but other than that, been been pretty smooth actually. Okay. Well, yeah, I, I know I did it with 8-Ball. For some reason, I thought I had already done it on Zone specifically, but whatever. It's done now. Oh, ink damage. I gotta go damage, right? It's no question for me. I gotta go damage. I need to, I need to be killing these things faster. Finally doing a proper run. I think, I think my 
blind final boss run counts as a proper run, but yeah, this is finally getting back to having a real challenge. Okay, um... Oh, actually, I know the strat for this one. I don't know if it'll work without, um, hacks, but... <laughs> they want you to, like, jump in back, back and forth between the zones, but if you actually just stand here, um, then you can take out these guys really easily, and normally you can clear out the sprinklers pretty easily, too. That has been my strategy on this one. Because all the enemies come from just these three portals. So you can't really get jump scared as long as you are efficient. Okay, that's a lot of dudes at once. Um, let's just splash down right here. That seems like a good idea. There we go. <laughs> like the look of that. Yeah, it's. I like that there is a. Um, I like that there's actually an in-game thing that's like encourages you to do no hacks, and it's not just like a, you know, self-imposed challenge. Technically, you. It's still you know. I didn't have to do zero hacks, but it just felt like the right thing to do. <laughs> so I, I like that it's, you know, it's a good final challenge. I, I I was, you know, like I said, I have some thoughts about side order that I might share after we finish everything. I, It's not perfect. Like, I... I would definitely not say it's my favorite Splatoon campaign. I don't know if it really counts as a campaign, even. Um, but it is good. So. <laughs> so. Some mixed feelings, but I like it. Okay, uh, what are we doing here? Can special drop? I feel like special cans are, like, actually better than passive special charge. Because it's like, I don't know, just being able to instantly grab it, like, have it lying around, it's like, oh, I need my special, I'll leave this here. And then you go for it. I don't, I'm not using my sub often enough for that to be worth it, I think. I'm not really throwing that many bombs. Um. I don't know. I'm leaning towards can special. It is a danger, though. That's a good point, actually. Actually, that literally might be... <laughs> actually, I'm gonna go for normal. I'm gonna go for normal. I'm not, I'm not risking that. I'm not risking a danger this far. Yeah, I mean, it's it's not like a Inner Agent 3 type of thing. I don't know. I, I think this game should have a secret boss. I As far as I'm aware, it does not. Um... But I'm glad- I didn't know that this was going to be, like, a special challenge. I thought 8th was literally just another gun. So, <laughs> I- I'm glad there's something here, at least. Um... But I think it would have benefited from a secret boss. I think secret boss can never hurt. Okay, won that. Nice. Yeah, I mean, I- I have generally positive feelings about it. It's just- it's kind of a weird situation where it's like it's infinitely replayable until you finish everything. But like, I don't know if I want to ever play this again <laughs> once I hundred percent it, right? Because I've already played every floor so many times just to fully complete it. Like, I'm sure I'll come back to it, and like, you know, it's fun that you can do your own self-imposed challenges and things. But it's like, in terms of like beginning to end completion, I feel like Octo Expansion is actually more replayable. If that makes sense. Like, because it's not, you're not really replaying side order, you're doing a run of side order. But to fully complete it, it's not, um, I don't know. It's it's a different type of game, obviously, so it's, you can't really directly compare it. Also, yes, I think I will actually go for Vending Machine, because that takes us to the second boss, and we have a lot of money to burn through, so... I mean, I'd say the most iconic... I mean, it's hard to say, because obviously less people played Splatoon 1. In my mind, Splatoon 1 Octavio is still the most iconic. Because, I mean, that's the first time we hear Calamari Incantation, and that's, like, still arguably the best boss in the series. Not even that arguably. I feel like if anyone who plays it, it literally just is, but... Um, Inner Agent 3 is also iconic in their own way, but... Okay. Um... I don't want Ink Storm. I don't know, do I buy these? I could just buy a couple and keep resetting, honestly, because, like, these are not bad things to have. Let me buy this. Um, let me buy this. Let me reset. Oh, I can't reset. I don't have hacks. I'm a, I'm an idiot. Okay. <laughs> I'm so used to being able to reset. Oh, my God. Okay. Um... 
I don't know. I I don't want to put my swim speed too high up because Loki, I feel like that would start messing me up. Yeah, I think one of each is fine. I'll save my money for another machine. I mean, yeah, it is. It's just like a new mode. Right, okay. More lore. We can do the side order review. <laughs> I mean, you know, not actually review. I might do like a, a video that's more of like a solid review if people are interested in it. But um. anyway, the point is that will happen later. Got to focus it. Got to, got to, got to focus in right now. Got to lock in for the lore. Lock in for the lore. Please be intensifying harmony. Please, please be parallel cannon. That would be so much easier. Of course, it's elusive bounder. I OK, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> that's fine. He's gonna shoot the bomb. Yep. Okay. At least I have good. Okay, I have like good DPS. Like, once I get the weak point in sight, this should be not too hard to deal with. I still have my splash down if I need to finish him off. Or at least do a bunch of damage at once. Okay. Almost there. Just shoot this. Just go, 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 go. Maybe? Yes, nice. Okay, okay, okay. We skipped the roll cycle. That's nice. Cool. Um, okay, actually still reaching him. I have more range than I realized. Oh, those are bombs. I know there's lots of enemies behind me, so I gotta be careful here. Okay. Don't want to take too much damage. Let's stay back and heal for a second. He might do the roll attack. He's doing the roll attack. Okay. I'm gonna swim to the side. Let me do this, actually. There we go. Now we're safe. Oh, that sprinkler while we're at it. Oh, he's doing it again. He's doing it again. Okay. Okay. Oh, stop that. Oh my god. Okay, I'm actually gonna splash down here, because the weak point is exposed. Um, shoot, I don't know if that was really worthwhile. Hold on, Beyblade? Beyblade? Nice! Nice! Okay. This has been a really clean run, actually. Um... Okay. If he doesn't bounce too far... Okay, no, I want to splash down him. I don't know if that'll be worth it, actually. Uh, it kind of seems worth it here. Okay. Nice. That did not do that much, actually. Okay. Juggle, juggle. Here we go, here we go. Oh, bombs. Oh, bombs. Oh my god. 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 Heal, heal, heal. Heal, heal, heal. Heal. Get behind the bumper. He, he breaks the bumper! I forgot he breaks the bumper. Uh... I'm gonna be real, guys. I might, I might do the restart thing. I kind of don't want to do all that again. <laughs> can I, can I do the restart thing, or does it not let you do that? You can't. Cannot resume runs with eight's palette. Well, okay. <laughs> that is why I did not promise uh, multiplayer stuff later, because I knew this might take longer than I expected. Okay, can we, can we, did we buy everything yet? Oh, we already bought all those, okay. Oh, we, I didn't even get pearls for that, because I had risky rewards on. Okay, maybe I'm going to turn risky rewards off in case we lose again, because it'd be nice to get something for this. Okay. Literally all hacks off. I'm gonna give me give me a second. I need a drink of water. I need to I need to oh. oh. So like why does he break the bumpers when he does the roll attack? Cause I don't I don't I don't think that's very very cool of him personally. Um Okay. <laughs> you just came in? Oh, okay, hello. <laughs> I just lost um, a no-hack run at 4, 8, 4 19, um, or 4 20. It was on the boss. Man. Yeah, don't, don't, <laughs> Less, lesson learned, do not hide behind the bumper. <laughs> it does not work. Oh, man. I, 
I kind of want I kind of want to do it no hacks though. Like I I don't know. It's got it's the same thing as doing it with one life. Like I just kind of want to do I want to do it no hacks. I feel like it's more fun. Ooh. What's going on? Um I am doing uh my final palette for side order in which I cannot use hack well I can use hacks but it punishes you. So I have all my hacks turned off. Which means I have one life and no buffs. And uh, how long was that run? Can I can I check my records right now? Oh, you can't. Okay, whatever. Um, poison ink, poison ink. It's always nice to have. Let's let's go back at it. <laughs> oh boy. How long? It's already been almost two hours. Wow. I hope I don't get the ball guy. I don't- I said I wanted parallel cannon. If it gave me parallel cannon, that wouldn't have happened. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> um, okay. Um... The more hacks you have activated, the less chip slots you're able to have on 8's palette. So it's like a special challenge thing. Yeah, I mean, I, I feel like I was getting the hang of it. Like, I don't feel like I was overestimating too much. I just overestimated the integrity of the bumper on <laughs> um, pinging Markiel's battlefield. Okay, um, mobile special charge seems kind of cool. That seems kind of helpful. I like Splashdown. Splashdown has been good to me so far. Okay. You know what? Okay, I'm, I'm actually... I, I'm a little sad that I lost, especially because I was so close to getting more lore, but like, I'm glad this does feel like a challenge. Because I was under the impression there was like, not really a final challenge at all to side order, and that you just kind of, you know, unless you self-imposed your own challenges, um, that it just kind of ended and there was no secret boss or whatever. But like, this, this clearly, to me now, feels like this is supposed to be the equivalent, you know? Like, it's not really an Inner Agent 3 type deal, but this is... This is it. <laughs> this is it, Luigi. This is, this is the, you know, the final, the final hurrah. So I'm, I'm into it. I like, I like that there's, there's a challenge here. I'm, I'm okay with this. <laughs> Thank you, Obvious. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I believe I can do it. I just, I mean, again, I genuinely just thought that the bumpers bounced the boss. Like, <laughs> I don't feel like I even made that many mistakes up to that point. Um, I genuinely just did not think that would kill me. Or, was my armor already broken from the small enemies, or does that just one-shot you? I'm not sure. Okay. Um, Killer Whale. Killer Whale. We need probably have something. I, d I have no idea if I said it. I probably said it wrong, Sanic dude. <laughs> I... yeah, I don't know either. I'm just saying it how it's spelled, but that may not be the correct way to do it. Oh my god, I, I was reading chat, I was reading chat, my bad, my bad, sorry. I literally got a lock in, got a lock in. <laughs> Got to focus. Please give me armor. Please give it back. Please, I like having armor. Please give it back to me. Thank you very much. Okay. Yeah, I, I like how their names. I, I like. It's, it, it's a little hard to remember because they're all Italian, but <laughs> um, I, I do like it. Okay. Cool. Bum, bum, ba, da. Um, Ink Saver Main, honestly, yeah, that's kind of nice. Please give me armor, Splatoon 2 junior players, yeah, or, or the rest of their team, maybe. <laughs> hey, armor bot, give us armor, give us armor. Uh, saturation, thank you very much. <laughs> I will absolutely not complain about some saturation right about now. Boosh, please kill, thank you. Why do you- okay. Yeah, it's hard to mid- uh, it's harder to manipulate these guys than I would think. They run, like, towards the bombs half the time. Oh, there we go. Second rank. Please, let me get there in time! There we go. Boosh. Um, 
Oosh. Yeah, the, I mean, music is just clearly a a theme throughout the whole thing. More than more than most of Splatoon, even. Special charge or drone gauge charge? Ah. Uh, I feel like I, yeah, drone. Honestly, drone for now. An all lucky chip run and become a Devil May Cry character. Yeah, I haven't really. Because I've just grinded specific chips, so I haven't really done like. I, some people are calling them monochrome runs, I think, where it's like you do a run with all the same tone or whatever, all the same like category of upgrade. Um, which is cool. Um, I don't know how much of a challenge that would be. I guess it depends how many hacks you have. If it's like no hacks and all lucky, that could be kind of interesting. Um, I don't know. I mean, we'll see how much I end up. Because no hacks is not. It doesn't feel as bad to go back to no hacks as I thought it would. Um, I, I don't like how tanky the enemies are. I guess that's kind of the one thing. But now that I kind of understand side order better and I am familiar with the levels, like it is kind of. It is fun that all the enemies are more threatening. Um. And, you know, like, when I play, like, Splatoon 1, when I when I replay the Splatoon campaigns, like, I don't upgrade the weapons, because I think it's more fun to have them not upgraded. So, like, it's a similar kind of deal, where it's like, you know, when you're better at the game, it's more fun to have to shoot the enemies for longer and have to be more careful. So, I might do more no-hack runs. Um, I probably wouldn't want to just do, like, no-hacks with every weapon. Wait, what? I've never seen this. Oh, no, nobody panic, but I think I might have forgotten my umbrella on the plane. What? The one we took home from the tour? Just reach out to the airport, I'm sure they can help. Nah, oh, if it's on the plane, it's still in our backyard, so I'll just grab it once we're done here. Backyard? We're talking about the same kind of airplane, right? Wait, so does that confirm that they live together? I think I actually saw people talking about this on Twitter, but I forgot about it. Because <laughs> they said our backyard. I mean, I don't know if that's just Pearl's mansion backyard. Um, <laughs> interesting. Yeah, I mean, I mean, thank you, Lego fan. I'm not worried about Overlorder, honestly. I mean, I fought him again. This is my last pallet, so I fought him enough times now that I. Yeah, I mean, I'm afraid of the reef sliders. Without without my armor recovery and my armor break jump, I'm afraid of the reef sliders. Um, but yeah, I I have I have learned that the strat of gliding down from the ink rails. So splash damage. Yeah, yeah, I'll go splash damage. Um, well, Splatoon 2, I upgrade the Splatoon 2 hero shot, because that one sucks, but I mostly talk about Splatoon 1. I guess I don't replay Splatoon 2 that often. Um, but Splatoon 1, the hero shot, is pretty good by default. I actually think it's more fun to just play it default. I, I just upgrade to unlock the subs. And this is too much fire rate into Octo Shot Click ZR for free. My ink tank took a sick day. Yeah, yeah, sometimes it can be um, kind of rough. Oh, I figured out a strat for this. Oh my god. I was trying to show it off. So normally you can do this before the, the, the guys get to the sponge, but you can actually jump here and then just do this and then it's just free. Was the, okay, was the bed one real? I thought that one was fake. <laughs> I'm not sure if that one was real. If it is, that's really funny. Um, if it is real, but I'm not sure. Okay. Um, gonna go for just main damage. Be nice to have. Bed one is real? They actually share a bed? <laughs> Okay, yeah, they are they are one hundred percent a thing then. Not not that you know we didn't already all the other side order dialogue didn't also imply that they were dating, but <laughs> I did not know the bed one was real. I legitimately thought that was fake. Okay. I mean, you can't get much more like. Like, they literally said, and they were roommates. Like, <laughs> I don't know, or not even roommates, I mean, sharing a bed. I don't know how you get more more canon than that without literally kissing on screen. <laughs> Got some research to do. 
<laughs> These bitches gay, good for them. That's basically my reaction to every every Pearl Marina dialogue in this campaign, yeah. <laughs> good for them. I assume someone will do like a compilation of like all the elevator dialogue. If that doesn't already exist. Okay. Um what do we want here? Sticky ink, maybe? I'm gonna go sticky ink. It is rigorous, but it's nice to have. Perli Perlina epic moments, yes. Okay. Um... This one should be easy. Just... Okay. Oh my god, please, 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 please! Oh my god. My- okay, my mic was actually- <laughs> I- my mic, like, in front of my face, and it was... I low-key could not see those enemies for a second, because I leaned back too far in my chair, and it was blocking my screen. Um... I missed. I hit the other one? Maybe I hit the other one. I didn't- I don't think I hit the other one. Okay, we're not gonna worry about that. We're not gonna worry about that. We're gonna squid surge, and be fine, and splash down, and kill the thing. Come on, come on, come on. Hello, there we go. I'm gonna glide over here. I don't like how... I kind of messed this one up. I kind of could have done this more efficiently. I did it a little... a little not... Oh my god. Really? Really? No, I'm dead. I'm dead. God, bro! That was stupid. That was... That, I, I, that was... I... Mm, that was... I didn't like that. <laughs> I didn't... I was... I'm not... I'm not... I'm not. That was rough. We're just... We're just going right back in. We're just gonna pretend that didn't happen. We're just gonna... We're just gonna get to the elevator. <laughs> oh, thank you for the good luck, Eli. Okay, um, we're gonna apply that good luck to this run, hopefully. I think you sent that when I was still alive, but... <laughs> have you tried not dying? Yeah, I mean, I... That was just a... I, I was playing that floor really terribly. I messed up, like, every portal. I could have... I could have done that a lot better. I just... A few too many mistakes in a row. It's fine, it's fine. Um... I kind of don't love any of these starting things. I guess we'll start off with Drone Spot Bomb for now? I don't know. I don't think it's overconfidence. I mean, I don't... I'm... I'm trying. <laughs> I think I gotta... I gotta not... I'm gonna try to, like, read chat in between floors more than during floors. That might help a little bit. Um, okay. Go. A Agent Floor. That's actually a good one. I know uh, some people have been calling the song Inkling Rendezvous. We, we finally got Inkling Rendezvous to accompany Octoling Rendezvous. Oh, okay, wow. That was a very effective Beyblade. Boosh. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's always so funny to me when they just get knocked off. Like, I just don't... You know, other Splatoon enemies don't really have knockback the way side order enemies do. They just kind of die normally. So just seeing them like fly away off the map is always so funny. Okay. Let's see. Knockback? Honestly, I kind of want knockback. I just, I need to keep the enemies off me, and if they're taking longer to kill because I don't have damage anymore, just keeping them away... Um, sounds good. Sounds good to me. Disc would be nice, but I, I would prefer this at the moment. Is that making like a weirder sound than normal? It, was it just because I was hitting the Beyblade guy at the same time? I don't know, it felt weird. Um, my best run I lost on floor 20. Um, last run I died on like, what, 7 or 8? Something really bad. <laughs> it was not, it was not impressive. Oh my god, bounce back. Don't do that. There we go. Okay. Oh, knockback is the different sound effect, okay. I swear I've had that before, but I didn't notice that. Interesting. Um, <clears throat> let's see, let's see. Special charge? Yeah, honestly, just special charge. I'm not tried asking the enemies not to swap me. I mean, you... Not sure why Marina is able to hack everything in the game except making the enemies, like, not aggro, but... <laughs> it's fine. Um, okay, this one's pretty much free.
I could actually aim my bomb, maybe. There we go. Oh, wow, that actually broke my armor. There we go. Octoballs still live on, yeah. Octoballs were fun. I kind of- I don't know why they- they never brought them back. They're kind of a cool enemy. Yeah, I, yeah, the armor is not... Not helping me out. Um, let's see. Lucky chain and um... I don't really know what to do here. I don't know. You guys have a recommendation? Nor normally if I sit here long enough, someone will start typing something in chat. <laughs> Definitely not Shane. Yeah, that's true actually. Okay, let's um let's yeah, just give me more spot bombs. Just give me more spot bombs. Skip floor? I don't I'd rather take a chip than skip the floor. Like, I'd rather take a bad chip and do the level and still have something gained from it. I don't know. I don't really see I don't know. I, I, I'm not going to skip floor until I'm like in like high 20s, if, if at all. Um, also, yeah, I'm not going to worry about the bonus. I feel like I, I always feel obligated to say that because I know someone will be like cringing seeing me not do the bonus thinking I don't see it. Uh, I see it. I'm just not doing it. <laughs> I say that because that's what I would be doing, not because I'm making fun of anyone else. Okay. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Chain window, attack size, bombs. You want it? It's yours, my friend. <laughs> Only you have enough mem books. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, God. Get it in, there we go. That was only four. It feels it feels painful. It feels so long. Explosion knockback. Explosion knockback might be I, I gotta go main firing speed. I gotta buff the main weapon. But having like splashdown and bombs do more knockback would be really nice. But I, I really feel like I have to prioritize just making the main weapon. Strong. Strong. Okay. Go, 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 go. Like, it, it does- it pays off to be aggressive. Obviously not too aggressive that you're, like, throwing yourself into the enemies, but, like, killing them way before they even get to the objective is, like, kind of really nice. And also, I need to be using my splashdowns more, because I charge this fairly fast. I might as well throw these out when I have them. Turn that sprinkler instantly. Okay. Same goes for you. Okay. Oh god. Oh my goodness. Hey, you wanna not do that? Hey, you wanna never do that again? Thanks. Okay. Damage. Damage. Da there's no question. There's no question. If I can have more damage, I'm taking more damage. Bum, bum, bum. Wide open floor. Okay. That damage, that, I feel that. I feel the damage buff, that's good. Um, ink, good. Oh, nice shockwave. Very good timing on that. Is this an ink refill? Thank you. Come on, come on. Splatoon 3 expansion album. Yeah, I mean... I don't know. Uh, could they do Octotune 2? I guess that's not- I mean, it's not like it isn't an Octoling-themed DLC, but... 
not quite as Octoling themed as Octo Expansion was, I guess. Um, that's definitely not worth a drone battery drop for rigorous. No way. Um, main range. Oh, spot ink recovery is good though. Uh, I don't know. I feel like range on shooters is just really, really nice to have because it just lets you space them out more. Like if I have main, do I have knockback or was that the last run? Hold on. Um, <laughs> what is this? I do. Okay, I have knockback and range, so I'm keeping them at a distance, and I have more damage to deal with them now. So that seems like good. Hurl is you more useful than that to teammates. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't call it salmon run anyway. Um, I, I, I did, you know, it kind of looks vaguely like salmon run from the trailers, but it really doesn't play remotely like it. Um. But unironically, Pearl is actually, like, really helpful. <laughs> like, I don't know. Um, I guess there isn't that much that has to go into her AI, but, like, I feel like whenever she throws bombs or ink strikes or whatever, they, like, actually go where I want them to go. Like, she'll actually put, like, a strike on, like, the tower to push it further or, like, you know, paint the zone. Like, I, I don't know. I feel like I feel like they programmed the drone very well. Main damage distant? I'm taking damage. I'm taking- yeah. I like- see, this is like a safe build, right? We got damage and range and knockback, so we're pushing them away and killing them far away from me, so they can't one-tap me and shatter my armor into a million pieces. I- I like this. This seems like a better strat. Okay. I know my armor broke on this one before because I was being stupid, so let's not do that again. Um... Let's deal with all of you before I let myself get overwhelmed. Of course, if we get a splashdown, we can just take care of all this in one fell swoop. Boosh. Okay, there we go. Thank you. You see, like, Pearl just finished off the thing there. Thank you, Pearl. Okay, okay. There we go. It'd be nice to get discs. I don't know if I'm going to get all three, but I'm just going to splash on this. Not going to mess around. Okay. Cool. Disc. Oh, that's it. Nice. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh my god. Like, I got... Oh! I've never seen an enemy get launched that far. That was crazy. Okay. <laughs> Crab and Booyah Bomb. Yeah, yeah. I could see that being really good. I like Splashdown, though. I don't know. I mean, Crab... I'd probably actually prefer Crab. Crab, Crab is my favorite special in Side Order, and I didn't even think about that saving you from armor, though. That's... yeah. Booyah Mom scares me, because I think they broke my Booyah armor before. Like, I've, I've died like that. A crab feels better to me because you can move while protecting yourself. So, if, if Crab appears in a vending machine, I would take it, probably. Okay. <laughs> um, Splash Radius? Yeah, yeah, Splash Radius. Okay. Nine. Oh, this one, okay. This one is normally- oh, it's- okay, I thought it was 8-ball. It's actually Portal. Should be fine. There we go. Um, what's in here? Thank you. Okay. Why did I do that? Why did I- Guys, I'm sorry. Oh my god. I don't know why I just I I just thought I thought I thought I would be faster or thought that wouldn't happen. Um, <laughs> man. Yeah, that was um. I mean, again, again. <laughs> I'm glad. I don't know. It, it's a weird mix of like I don't want to one shot this. I like that I have to work for it. But starting all the way at the bottom again is <laughs> kind of rough. Okay, okay, let's get back right and just, just, just don't, you know, just keep it moving, keep it moving. At least we're getting pearls this time. We're getting pearls so we can buy the the thing at the end, the the, the gear, because then we'll have every single thing. Okay. Thank you for the good luck. We'll try this again. Uh, drone gauge charge. I don't have anything for the drone yet. Obviously, let's go. That seems like the best thing still out of all those. Yeah, yeah. Splashdown, Splashdown would be all right. Um, the only thing is, I know Crab, Crab like trivializes the final boss. Like it's it's so easy with Crab, 
and that would be kind of nice. It would be nice to have that insurance early on, so I can go into the final boss feeling that confident. Well, I'm not- I'm not too- I mean, I only got one chip. I don't have to make a whole build around that one chip. I just need to give Pearl something eventually. Um, damage. Yep. Yeah, I- I hope we get more- it's just not giving me, um... It's not giving me a lot of range, which is... I mean, I know there's still some bias even with the hacks off, but I feel like... Okay, I'll try to not jump, because it'd be nice to have money. Um... okay. Let's just go this way with this. Okay. Easy. Cool. Hindrance? Him. Hindrance is kind of nice to have. I don't want to keep making these decisions too quick, but actually, no, that's easily the best one there. Okay. Ultra Stamp is also great. Um, I like Crab just because I, I like having the range. Like, Crab is so powerful and at a distance, and it can protect you. Like, I feel like there's so many benefits. Ultra Stamp is really good at dealing with hordes of enemies and breaking portals. Um, but Crab can kind of also do that if you just position right, so... It is what I normally prefer. But I, I'd be okay with either. Okay. Please, can I actually pop one of these? Thank you. Oh my god, oh my god. If I died on floor three, I would have been so sad. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Splash radius. We're probably doing splash radius. We're doing splash radius. Also, I have no shame in doing easy floors. Because I can do... I know it gives me hard floors if I dodge them for too long, but I can also skip... I need to remember that I can skip floors. Like, I don't know, I want the chips, but like... I should, I should start looking at the actual floors before just picking based on chip, because... There are, there are some... It would be nice to avoid entirely. Oh my god, really? Are you serious? Are you serious? Are you serious? Oh my god, I thought I died for a second. <laughs> Did not appreciate that. Please. That's not where the portal is. <laughs> I thought it was up here. Okay. I see, I see. Get these enemies off the map or dead. Bomb. Kill. Good. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm glad you enjoyed the no hack run more, yeah. It is, it is a lot more tense for my end for sure. Main range, main range, main range, main range. <laughs> Give me that range. I will eat up all those range chips. Like they are... Dorito, the Frito Lays. What, what am I saying? Okay, anyway, here we are. This is. Um. Okay. Just be careful. <laughs> I can do this. I can escape. Don't worry. Don't. My problem is sometimes I just, um, tunnel vision popping the portals because it's like super close. But it's like, like right now, literally, literally, it's too many enemies. I'm getting out of there. I know they heal. I know they heal, but they don't heal that fast. So it's worth it to just hop around like this. And and that's too many enemies. That's too many. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, they caught up. They caught up to me. What do you mean they caught up to me? What do you mean? I was trying to be. I was trying to be safe. I was trying to be smart. I was being stupid. I was. Stu I was an idiot. Yeah. This is this is going to be the rest of the stream. I don't know if we're getting to multiplayer stuff today, dude. Oh my god. Oh. Oh yeah, um, I mean, I assume it's just the current version of the game, Sanic, dude. I guess it doesn't matter as much for side order because the weapon stats are kind of different than multiplayer anyway. I don't think, I mean, uh, it's not rage, it's just disappointment. <laughs> I don't know. It might be rage. It might be rage eventually. If I die in the high 20s, it might be rage. But, um... Dude's having a bad time. I'm... 
no, I'm not, I mean, I'm, I don't know. I mean, I know you're probably just referencing Sans or something, but <laughs> actually, wait. Oh, right, Killer Oil. It's not a bad time. It's a different time. It's a more tense time. It's a, it's a higher energy time. But that lore, that lore is still the ultimate motivator. Man, I wish there were, I wish there were, um, armor chips. I know, I guess, like, damage reduction is a hack, but I, it would be really nice if I could, I, I mean, you got armor drop rate chips, I guess, but, like, just, you know, stronger armor would be nice. Because, oh my god, getting one shot by everything is not very fun. I might just wait for it to race up again, yeah. I just have to kill you, or just perfectly land it, that's cool. Okay. Oh yes, I mean, Pearltron is quicker than walking, I forgot about that. Um, that may actually come in handy to remember, thank you. Ink recovery. Best defense is more offense? I mean, that's pretty much how I've been playing it, yeah. I. I if there were armor chips, I would get them, but since there aren't, I'm really just, you know, range and damage. Don't glide. Ah, uh, yeah, that should be easy, actually, for this one. Hello. Oh, see you, Bonnie. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for the good luck. Oh my god. 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 I'm gonna not reach chat. I'm gonna. <laughs> Wait, will I just win anyway or will they paint it? Oh, I just won anyway. Thank you. Oh my god. <laughs> see you later. Um, do I have whale? I do, but I could have more whale. Yeah, I could have more whale. <laughs> you have to beat smallest with eight palette and no hacks eight times in a row. Scan the Pearl Marina Mew at the same time, holding your switch upside down to unlock the secret Glen Fiddler boss fight. Of course. Yeah, that, that'll be on another stream, maybe. <laughs> I did not think- I- I thought he was not there. I thought he was down. Okay. I hate these guys. <laughs> I used to not hate these guys. I mean, I, I love when they turn into the spring and they let me glide off them, but... After that one level that I was on for 22 minutes that I showed, where those guys were constantly splashing on the zone, drove me insane. Oh my god. This is a strat. Oh, never mind. I'm out of ink. Oh my god. I'll take armor. That's fine. There we go. Okay. Whew. If you paint under the portals, they don't heal? Oh. That is good to know. <laughs> I didn't, like, even, even once they're out of the ground? Like, d hmm. Sticky ink. Me, you know, maybe I should invest more in, um, main ink coverage, actually, because if I have poison ink, do I have poison ink? I actually don't think I have poison ink yet, but if I did get poison ink or hindrance damage, then that would be, you know, just more surface area. Even once they're floating up, interesting. Okay. Oh, yeah, because they have that little, like, ripple effect. Oh! Yeah, it's taking, oh, I do have poison ink. Cool, okay, that's very good tip, actually. Thank you. I did not know that. Yeah, the, if the enemies paint over it, I guess it, it undoes it, but yeah, I, I see that now. That's, okay. You can tell from the poison ink numbers, anyway. I missed. I actually did not miss. Okay. <laughs> 
Pass it. Oh, oh, it's just the damage. I see. I see. I get it. Now I have poison ink. Yes. <laughs> I assume it works for the tentacle ones, but the, te the tentacle ones move, so it'd be harder to actually take advantage of that. I was crazy once they put me in a zone, a splat zone, a splat zone with springing spiccados. Oh my god. Yeah, that's that's really how it feels sometimes. Thank you. Two discs, don't mind if I do. That's a disc. That's a disc. That's a disc. Gimme. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Oh, the ink slows it down. Mm, that's true. That's true. Okay. Okay. Do, do, do. Um, sound wave damage might be okay. I'll just sound wave damage actually. Does Pearl actually say gelatin? I'm only listening now. <laughs> I know she has voice lines for spotting things or whatever. Or throwing bombs or things. Okay. Um. Is Lucky Bomb actually that good? I haven't had... I don't know. Yeah, I feel like even when I maxed out that chip, I never found it to be that helpful, but... Maybe I just wasn't paying enough attention to it? It is? Okay. I'll take your guys' word for it, honestly. Um... I'd like Ink Bottle Drop, honestly. <laughs> I don't know, sometimes I'm like, I'm panicking and I'm out of ink and those appear and it's like, a godsend. Oh, that makes sense actually, yeah. Clear Night Swarms, okay, okay. Oh, there we go, okay. That's my first time actually, like, actively noticing them. <laughs> They're so small that I, like, I literally feel like I haven't even, like, seen them before. Okay. I'm seeing... I'm seeing how that would be nice to have. I'm just on a saturation now, but yes, I'm understanding. Okay. Um... I'd say knockback, right? I'd say knockback. Actless is how Octos are meant to go through the Spire? Well, didn't Marina say that Order made the threat level higher? I think the hacks are to counteract order making it harder. I, I think I think with hacks is about the normal thing. How Marina intended. Marina the developer of the game, of course. But yeah, order. Yeah, order made the enemies though. Marina said they were just like friendly things. Did 
This is a nice one to get because I feel like it's extremely free. <laughs> it's just like 8-ball tutorial level pretty much. You beat the game? Nice. Beat like the final boss or like everything? Um, I'm probably going to go for damage. I'm actually, I'm going to run to the bathroom really quick. I'm sorry, guys. Um, I guess I, I don't have to apologize for that, but <laughs> I'll be or be. Uh, give me a second. I'm back. Hello. While he's away, say good things about Mr. Grizz. That's that's what would happen when I leave the room, I'm sure. <laughs> okay. Well, I don't think it was harmless, because it says actually I can I can check right here. <laughs> it says something about like adversity helps them bring back their memories. Um not sure where it says that. Sorry, I don't. I, I kind of want to find it because <laughs> I'm curious myself. Um, adversity proven effective for memory retention. There it is. I've used repeat tasks, repeat tasks to make memories stick. So it's like she did make a roguelike, <laughs> I guess. Um, but. Maybe not quite as aggressive. Yeah, I mean, she wanted she wanted to help the sanitized Octarians get their memories back. Uh, yeah, we're, we're going to do damage. Okay. This one's easy. I'm gonna say that and die, so I should probably never say that, but I'm pretty sure this one's pretty easy. <laughs> okay, yeah. Poison ink. Do I have poison and hindrance damage? Sorry, I wanna... I have... No, I have... I have poison and sticky, right. So, that's a really good combo. Oh, that guy just died in ink. Okay, yeah. Poison, poison and sticky is a really, really good combo. I feel better having that for sure this early. Uh, boss fight. Okay. Um, I hope it's not parallel cannon because I really want parallel cannon to be the second one because parallel cannon is really easy normally. I know I'm jinxing that by saying that right now, but please. Um, I don't really want to fight Bounder right now, but uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. See what you're doing, game. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's totally fine. Okay. I have learned my lesson. I know that you can roll through bumpers. So I will not use them as cover. Okay. That's good damage. Back up. Okay. Whoa. It, it just pooped out all those enemies over the ledge and then bounced away. Okay. Interesting strategy. Hello. 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 Okay. 
Oh my god. No! <laughs> okay, now I'm raging. Now I'm raging. Bro, come on! I knew it was happening too, but... And man, I am, I am, I am. I, <laughs> there's something very funny to me about Marina being like, oh man, that was tough. And I just, I just walk straight forward. Don't even look at her. Like just, just I'm, go I'm going again. Shut up. I'm going again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No hacks. We're doing, we're doing the palette. Eight's palette the real way. I heard Glenn Fiddler made that guy. Oh, oh, I'm sure he did. <laughs> oh my god. Bro got bald. <laughs> okay. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's totally fine. That's totally cool. Yeah, everyone, everyone come right here. Everyone come right here. Hello, hello. Where's the other... There's another special... I mean, yeah, there are always meant to be obstacles. I don't know... Oh my god. Like, the members was always supposed to be like a VR video game, I think. I don't really know how that actually helps with the memory retention, but... <laughs> I don't know. Well, it was something about mixing the mem cakes. I don't know. I don't know. Oh my god. Oh. <sighs> Now we are playing with power. Okay, okay, what are we doing? What are we doing? Drone? I don't have a drone thing yet. Ah, uh, let's just go special. Charge. Glenn Fiddler took data from everyone playing matches using the copy bot to make pinging mark yield. You learn it if you take off parallel cannons mask revealing them to be Agent 4. Of course. I, I love the idea of just coming up with fake like, headcanon reasons to hate Glenn Fiddler as a way to cope with my rage. <laughs> it's all- it's all Glenn's fault. Glenn did this. If Glenn Fiddler didn't exist, none of this would be happening. Well, yeah, but, like, dying in the members was never going to be dying in real life. I don't know. I mean, may maybe it was less violent than Marina's design. She was helping, like, soldiers regain their memories, though, to be fair. Glenn <laughs> created free association. What weapon is Glenn Fiddler? Um, maybe he's the actual blaster, because they just put a weird Luna blaster in this game instead of the normal blaster for some reason. <laughs> um... I'll take whale. Glenn Fiddler is the guy on the sunken scroll who people were like making theories about. They were saying he was going to be the villain of Side Order. <laughs> For no reason at all. There was like two things of like really horrible fake evidence. I mean, it wasn't fake evidence, it was just extremely not convincing. If you beat the game with 8's pal, Glenn Fiddler appears and he's the secret boss, but if you beat him, little Judd appears with Judd as hostage. <laughs> little Judd summons uh, Grizz back down from space and brings him back to life. If you, it's revealed that he was actually piloting Grizz the whole time in like a flesh suit. It's it's just Five Nights at Freddy's actually. That's the that's what the Splatoon lore. <laughs> it all comes back to crabs, of course. 
Uh, yeah. Well, like, I don't blame you for forgetting about Glenn Fiddler. That's the thing, he's the most, like, nothing burger, one note, sunken scroll, random lore character ever. And you are like, oh, but he has a 3D model. So that means he's an important character that's going to appear in side order. It's like, no. <laughs> So, all of the evidence for Glenn Fiddler is pretty much, like, he has a 3D model, so he has to be important. Sure, okay. And then, during Splatoween, um, there were, like, little fish decorations that appeared when you inked the lobby, and there were a bunch of them around the copy bot. But there were also a bunch of them around the rest of the lobby, and also, they're fish skeletons because it's Splatoon Halloween. <laughs> they're fish bones. That doesn't mean it's side order. And then, and then people were like, I, I, is that even- of then people are like, oh, the copy bot looks somewhat like Parallel Cannon before we knew what Parallel Cannon was. It's like, not really? <laughs> so, I don't know. Glenn Fiddler is the hero, that's why the crab does so much damage to the final boss. True. True, he actually is the crab tank. That's the only one I'll accept. <laughs> uh... Oh, hello, big man. <laughs> Welcome back, Eli. Doesn't mean I'm important to real life lore. Yeah, true. What is it? Oh, don't take damage. I'm just going to spam splash outs. It keeps giving me this stage, dude. And this one is normally not stressful at all, but with no hacks, it freaks me out because they're like coming at you from three different directions. Okay. That was literally what people were saying, though, like, okay, people were literally like, oh, he has a lab coat, he's like a science guy, a side order, like, <laughs> I, I, I just don't get it, I just don't, I don't understand. These people have never experienced a, a story across two separate games in their lives, they do not know how to speculate. Can Fled Fiddler stuck in the members? It's like the, <laughs> I don't know if any of you are into like Deltarune, but there's like this whole thing where there's like a, there's like this dialogue in the code of Deltarune. So there's like a character lost in the code. That's what Glenn, Glenn Fiddler has been scattered across time and space in the memory of the members. That's what's going on, <laughs> clearly. But his claw isn't bleached. It's just white. It's not <laughs> like that's just what crabs look like. <laughs> Dr. W.D. Glenn Fiddler. <laughs> yeah, the person who, uh... <laughs> Gaster is actually, people think he's, like, related to Sans and Papyrus, but no, he's actually just Glenn Fiddler who got scattered across the Memverse and entered the dimension of Undertale and Deltarune. He, he's just like, it's just such a stupid name. You can't have a villain named Fiddler. Like, you can't, you can't do that. <laughs> Were there people talking about- I mean, Cypher is cool. I wish Cypher did more of, like, you know, than anything than just being a shop, but... Also, the people- I saw, like, the most insane stuff when they revealed Cypher. Someone was like, guys, I think this new character on the poster is Glenn Fiddler. He has a lab coat. I'm like, it's an entirely different species. What are you talking about? Like, why do people want them to be the same character? I, I'm sorry. It's just, it just drove me insane for so long. What is splash damage? Cypher does enough and Cypher is amazing. Okay, fair enough. I do like Cypher. No, Glenn didn't do anything. Glenn <laughs> Glenn made the lobby. He made the, the battle lobby. That's all he did. <laughs> That's all we know about him and probably will ever know about him. <laughs> There's no reason to think he would be a villain. <laughs> is Gaster actually a crustacean from the Splatoon series of video games? Is it not even a lab coat? I, like, I didn't look that closely at the picture, because I always thought it was insane. <laughs> Is it literally just a white shirt? <laughs> I 
I mean, the copy machine is the only thing, but that's still a leap in logic. Like, saying the copy machines look like parallel canon. Okay, Glenn Fiddler made the copy machine. Yeah, but that's like another step. And it's like they just don't even, they don't even look like it. <laughs> they have two, parallel canon has two red eyes. The copy machine has one, and it looks like the, it looks like the Octoling rivals. It doesn't look like the copy machine, or the parallel canon. It, it, like, it's, I don't know. Mario hates Big Man. I think I think Mario is dead. <laughs> I think if Mario exists in the Splatoon universe, he died twelve thousand years ago. Sorry to break it to you. <laughs> uh, Lucky Bomb. Let's let's do Lucky Bomb Trap. We already got, we got lots of splash radius, but I want to go for this. When he bought everything in Cypher Shop, he takes off his lab coat and is actually Krusty Sean, and he's the final boss. <laughs> He because he wants everyone to have feet so they can wear his shoes. If you beat Little Judd 333 times in Table Turf, Grizz comes back and tells you that the reason he obtained telepathy is that Glenn Fiddler was in Arc Polaris and taught him. That's a good one. Oh my god. Don't die. Don't die. Please, 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 please. Do not die like this. Please do not die. Give me the ink. Okay, okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're, we're we are chilly. We are so relaxed and concentrated and good at video games. Mm, boosh. Okay. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> He made the same lobby at all three hubs. He is creating order. <laughs> if you lose Krusty Sean fight, you see a cutscene where you and everyone in Nicopolis grows feet. I do not like I do not like that. <laughs> okay, um Splash damage, run speed, mobile special charge. I'm actually not sure what to do here. I can I want swim speed. I don't know if splash like I'm just I'm not I'm not throwing enough bombs or splash damming uh, downing enough for splash damage to be that worth it. I feel like I feel like run speed is a better overall. I'm going run speed. I'm going. I, I'm sorry. I, I know you want splash damage, but I'm. Oh, I did. Okay, I did not know it affects lucky bombs. That may have actually changed my mind, but it's too late now. So, <laughs> sorry. Glenn Fiddler's brother, Glenn Riddler, is the final boss of Splatoon 4. Yeah, it's it's all set up. All the Glenn Fiddler theories are actually correct. He actually was involved with a member, so we just don't see him yet. And he's going to come back in Splatoon 4 with with Glenn Riddler and, and Glenn Midler. Okay, talking about genuine lore for a second, they still haven't explained the weird Marigold clone thing. <laughs> What's up with that? <laughs> Glad we have the same reaction to Isa Padre. Yeah, I... I was very, very happy to see him. It is... Marigold is Glenn Fiddler, of course, all along. He created the Marigolds. He's gonna make an army of, of lunch lady Marigolds to take over the universe. Not a clone just evading the law. The only thing that's weird is that there's like... She appears in multiple places. I mean, the Inkopolis Plaza one is the weirdest, right? Because she literally just, like... Like, it's it's a video game thing that she just, you know, um, what's it called? She's, like, cold out. <laughs> like, she disappears when you get too far away, but then... Like... It's just weird. It's weird that they did it like that. She is secretly A-chain from the boys, and she's just super fast. Okay, maybe, maybe that's it. <laughs> She can teleport like Sans. 
She worked with Glenn Fiddler to go to Undertale and learn teleportation from Sans. That's what happened. Okay. Um, I it keeps giving me Bounder. This guy's become like my arch nemesis, dude. <laughs> I do not like seeing this guy anymore. I re I'm remembering that the bumpers don't help me. I'm also remembering that um these guys suck and I hate them. Um, and that this boss cheats because he hates me. Oh my god. That was riskier than it needed to be. Okay. Wait for the explosion. Go in. Nice. Clean. Good. Ow. Ow. Heal. 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 Oh my god. I'm gonna focus the enemies. Don't lose track of him. Okay. Okay. Is it if you hit into the bumpers? I thought it was just if you didn't attack him for long enough. Oh my god. There we go. Ow. Ow. I feel like Splashdown is not worth it. That did like nothing to him when I tried using it before. I'm just gonna try and focus normal fire. Okay. He's getting low. I'm backing up. I'm backing up. Slash down these guys. That's the strat. Use that to clear the enemies. Yeah, there we go. Um, bounce my way, please. Thank you. Oh! Oh my god, that explosion scared me. I thought he, like, crushed me and one-shot me for some reason. Oh. Okay. That was only 10 floor, right, okay. What attempt is this? I haven't been keeping track. Um, it's been a few. <laughs> oh my god, wait, I missed some dialogue. If you change your in-game name to Glenn Fiddler, then beat after Alterna, you unlock a secret Ice of Padre boss fight. If you beat him, he gives you one of his plushes. Fight is non-canon though, Sag. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I had to lock in for the boss for a second, I'm sorry. Ness is not Sans, Glenn Fiddler is, of course. Sans Undertale will be revealed as the main antagonist of Splatoon 4 and was secretly working for Glenn Fiddler all along. He got tired of living in Undertale and Deltarune and went to Splatoon out of boredom. Glenn Fiddler has a lab coat, and there's a secret science room behind Sans' house. From this, we can confirm that Glenn Fiddler is, in fact, Sans. Yes, very sound evidence. I believe it. Do we have evidence that Glenn Fiddler didn't build the Arc Polaris? Fiddle me this. <laughs> oh my god. You are Glenn Fiddler. I'm Glenn Fiddler. We're all <laughs> he is Glenn Fiddler. She is Glenn Fiddler. Are there any other Glenn Fiddlers I should know about? Oh my god. Okay, okay. Um, <laughs> What are we doing? We have a killer whale. Um, I These are basically the same thing, actually. Wait. Um... Wait, what? Oh, this is passive. This is paint. I don't know which of these is actually better. <laughs> um, Glenn Fiddler in an auction. Glenn Bitter. <laughs> I'm just gonna go for this. This I this is so funny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad that this is the culmination of the Glenn, the Glenn Fiddler series, just a bunch of awful head cannons. Okay. Um, the other one's over there, I believe. Um, that was not where I wanted this to go. That kind of worked out. Okay. Uh, this is bad because the ball is in the middle. It's very easy to get cornered there. Actually, okay. I might let the guy hit it out of there. Yeah, they're actually helping me. Okay, no, now I have to kill them now. Okay, that guy got knocked off. Good, 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 good. Perfect, perfect. Nice.
Yeah, I, I know, I know. I I just Okay. Um Increase Lucky Bomb Drop is probably the move. That sounds good to me. The real Glen Fiddler was was the fiddles we made along the way. That's yeah, of course. Lucky bomb. It's not not Glen Rizzler, no, not that one. I veto that one. I thought that would do more Does damage make the Balls do more damage, because I feel like in a in a hack run that would have killed that guy. Okay. Okay. Were there always so many of these guys? Oh my god. I've done this level so many times with hacks and it has not scared me at all, but I am like terrified right now. You guys need to go away. Okay. I don't want it to hit the thing. It's gonna hit the thing. That's fine. You die. Please die. Please die. Please die. Please die. Please die. Thank you. Oh, that works. That works. Oh my god. I thought it went too far, but that's good. Oh. I should runs have noticeably been a lot of out of ball. I, uh, the ball ones are just easier, probably. I'm probably clicking easier ones, honestly. I, I don't know. I mostly just go based off the chip, not the objective, so. Might just be a coincidence. I would so play as a fitterling. <laughs> I, I, I did not enjoy reading that. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Ink bottle? I don't love either of these. Vending machine? Let's let's vending machine. Why not? It's been a minute. I need, I need a little bit of a break, I think. After reading the word bitterling. I'm fitterly shaking right now. Ink damage. Do I just max out damage? I might just buy as much damage as it'll let me. Honestly, honestly. I don't see a downside. Okay, that's what we're doing. <laughs> How much did that, um, okay, we only actually got a couple, but we also, don't we have other, we also have main damage distant and poison ink. Okay, okay. Damage up. Whew. Disc drop, drone killer whale, splash radius. I don't know. <laughs> what do you guys think? I'm not, I'm not sure for this one. Glenn Fiddler in Smash. For his neutral special, he wields a nuclear missile. <laughs> Where'd he get that? The color chips. Oh yeah. Well yeah, we were saying it in the final boss fight. Pearl's Pearl's color whale is made from the human souls. <laughs> it's all devised by Glenn from the very beginning. Radius does have a bonus. I'm fine with that. I don't know what I need a bonus for. I mean I want money so I can maybe buy another vending machine, I guess. I, I don't know. I guess and skip floors. Be nice to skip some higher floors. Don't jump. I will try my best. No guarantees. Oh my god, hang on. Oh my god, sorry. I need to like sit up so I can actually see over my mic. I know I should go take out the arpeggio guy. But I'm afraid to get close to him. <laughs> okay, let's do it, let's do it. Now is a chance. Here we go. I'm afraid, I'm afraid. There we go. Bombs kill those guys from the ground, that's good to know. Okay. Probably because I have so much splash radius up, actually, yeah. Hold on. Join bombs might be the move here. <laughs> Okay, we're good, we're good. Cool. Okay. 
He wants to break the barrier and live with humans like Tartar and Chris wanted all along. Poison Ink. That's good. I don't have... I have one Poison Ink, but more Poison Ink. More Poison Ink. Or Hindrance Damage. Is Hindrance Damage or Poison Ink better? That's a full 100%. So that's better. Okay. I think. <laughs> Yeah, he could have been a scrapped, like, shopkeeper design. I just... I just don't think it's out of the realm of possibility. I just don't think modeling the upper half of a 3D character is, like... It confirmed that this character will be important. Like, they, they have tons of random minor characters. Oh my god. Sorry, I was... Sorry my mic made a sound. I, I pushed the mic arm down a bit so I can see better. <laughs> Sorry, um, there they are, there they are. If I get splash down, I win. Okay. Boosh. Cool. Glenn Fiddler was a human in a crab costume all along. You could tell by looking how, how low poly and quality his model is. Of course. Hind okay, there's Hindrance Damage. Um, I'll get it this time. I, I, did, I read the, the messages about that. Hello, Cassius. It'd be really cool if you could customize the lobby by talking to Glenn Fiddler? I mean, yeah, maybe. Okay. Alongside his boyfriend, Glenn Giddler, as the idol, idol duo, of course. That's that's the first I mean I mean Big Man's the first male idol, but you know, we haven't got humanoid male idols, but it's it's gonna it's gonna be the Fiddler brothers. Of course. That makes perfect sense. That's that's extremely believable and definitely what is going to happen. Cool. Hard, hard, rigorous. Oh boy. Um, but that's, that's, I see a damage. I'm going for damage. Okay, we're making, we're making uh, pretty good progress here. So I really, I do got to focus in. That's only after his redemption arc in Splatoon 3 DLC Wave 3, of course, which is definitely happening because guys, there were, there were four ink splashes in the logo. That means there's four waves. I know they said there's two waves, but guys, there's four splashes in the logo. That means there have to be four waves, right? For sure. There we go. Nope. Heal, 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 please, please, thank you. Oh my god. Okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Get the zone. We have the zone. Get more of the zone. In the zone. Auto zone. Splash down. Five, four, win the game. Win the game. Kill the guy. Kill the guy. Win the game. Kill the guy. Win the game. Thank you. Mr. Coco is Glenn Fiddler's openly gay brother. I mean, I don't know if they can be brothers if they're different types of crabs, but <laughs> I'm not, not opposed to that one. Was there an armor pack? I didn't see it. Okay. Um. What do we want here? What do we want? Mobile special charge, maybe? Drone killer whale? Getting my special a little faster would be kind of nice. <clears throat> okay, we're approaching boss two. Couple more floors. Um, this one scares me. This one scares me. I'm gonna have to play this really safe. Uh, let's go left first. Okay, get them stuck in the ink. Don't even let them get to me. Get them stuck in the ink in front of me, and then take them out. And then focus the portal. There we go. There we go. Nice. 
Can we splash down? I don't want to splash down in there until the very end. We'll do that as kind of like a last ditch. Not a last ditch ever, but a, um, you know. So I want to dive in there until we, uh, we, maybe we never have to, you know? Maybe we never have to do that, actually. We could just attack it from here. Wait, actually, here, let's get it weak. Here we go, yeah. And there. I took damage from touching the portal. Imagine dying like that. Oh my god. <laughs> Ooh. Hello, Michelle. Who do you think is the most annoying side or enemy? Honestly, the big dudes. Everyone talks about like the sprinkler dudes or the arpeggio missile dudes. Just just the, the big guys are so tanky and just like they knock other enemies like closer to you. Like they, they drive me insane. Um Main damage. I da damage just is always so good to have. In Splatoon 5, if you beat the hero mode of the Goo Tuber, you unlock know, like a secret boss where Mr. Coco confesses that he is actually Glenn Fiddler's brother and that he ran over three squids. Then he shoots you with a gun, of course. What is Splatoon? Um, it is a cool video game about weird cephalopod creatures that shoot ink and swim in ink. And my armor broke and I am, and I'm very afraid. I'm very afraid. I'm gonna splash down. Okay, I broke, I broke the other portal somehow. I don't actually know how that happened. Oh my god, the propeller lift. Okay, what? What just happened? <laughs> how did two of the portals break without me touching them? Poison ink, really? Is it that good? I didn't, I didn't even touch. Oh, lucky. Are lucky bombs that helpful? I've been, I've been unaware of how good lucky bombs are. That's insane. They did two thirds of that level for me, dude. <laughs> okay, okay. Gotta lock in. We're getting lore. I beat this boss. And it's not the bounder. I'm a little worried about um, Rondo. Because he has the stingrays and the bombs and lots of things that could catch me off guard. Parallel cannon. I don't want to get cocky. But you can normally kill them as they spawn in, and it's not that bad. It is floor 20, though, so they're not going to give me three armors, so that makes it significantly harder. Um, It is Rondo. Okay. Okay. That's actually, thinking about it, I think I prefer Rondo. So, I'm cool with this. I just got to play it safe. I can back up and find cover anytime I need. Try to not get seen by the spotlight, maybe. Just play it very safe. I'm going to just go ahead and knock down each layer as it appears. I'm not going to do anything funny. We're going to splash down. Maybe... Okay, nice. Got the layer with that. And there's... Okay, never mind. Never mind. Look at the shockwave. Uh-oh. Oh, it didn't see me somehow. Okay. We take those. We back up. We back up. We run away. We are afraid. I'm going to splash down these enemies because I'm not messing around. Not messing with that. Um... Right, we have powerful bombs. Oh my god, so does it, so does it. I swear to god if I die to that, okay. I really thought I was going to be in the radius of that splat bomb and I was going to be extremely angry. Okay. Okay, this died. I'm this right. I don't know if that will hit that. It does hit that. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Okay? Okay. Um, I, if I find the head, I'll splash down it. And I can get all the enemies at the same time. That would be really nice. Please work, please work, please work. Hello. Please work. Okay, he's doing the thing, he's doing the thing. He's gonna throw our bombs, maybe? I'm gonna glide, I'm gonna glide. Focus enemies, don't- Oh my god, don't walk into damage, don't walk into damage. Okay, 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 okay. Oh my god. Yeah! <laughs> that actually scared me. Why did that guy do that? Okay. Oh my god. Does this count? He doesn't see me from the swing. Okay. Okay, okay. The head is coming around. I'm gonna drop down when I see the head. Oh, uh, just, just break it, just break it, just break it, just break it. Thank you. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. I don't know how to approach this exactly. Nice one, Pearl. Okay. Okay. Focus damage on this. Okay. Splash down here. Nice! Oh, I actually got two hits with that. Hang on. This is really good. This is really good. Oh my god. I see the spinny guys. Not gonna mess around with that. Not gonna mess around with that. Wow, that's a lot of enemies. Why is that so many enemies? Oh my god. Arpeggios? Why? Drop a bomb. Run away. Lucky bombs, I think, are, are saving me right now. Oh my god. 
Thank you, Lucky Bombs. Oh my god. Thank you guys for telling me about Lucky Bombs. That was the best thing to ever happen to this run. Okay. 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 I think a splash will do it. I know I'm playing safer than I need to. I'm just really afraid. Um, okay. Break. Yes. Splash down. Splash down. I could just hit the thing into it. So boom. Yes. Good. Done. Okay. 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 Ah! Ooh. Nice. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -bum. We got the lore. We got the lore. We got the lore. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, we gotta we gotta read that. We got it. We're gonna read that right away. Okay. 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 Oh my god. Oh. Oh, there they are. Okay. Okay. So I, I have seen a bunch of fan art of unsanitized oct. So I, I didn't know that um, that existed. <laughs> but I I don't think I actually I don't know if I ever saw the original the, the actual in game art. Oh, that's really cool. They got the yeah they got the like Splatoon one octoling armor. Oh my god. Okay. From Oct. Hey Marina. I think this is the only photo of us of the two of us together. Um You were recorded you were recruited for an elite position in an Octavio unit after this was taken, right? I think I remember hearing that. I ended up handling security behind the scenes. Could have been worse. Going to the front lines was wait um was too much like work. I uh, guess I never returned the records I borrowed from you. But then you still get the ones I lent you, so it all balances out. Looking at this, I still remember wondering if you weren't going to get in trouble hanging out with a slacker like me. So imagine my- <clears throat> sorry. So imagine my surprise to find out you've been cooking up some six tracks. Turns out even an elite knew her way around some decks. Okay. It's so interesting. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Wait, what is that? Is that background just a dome? Oh, I wonder if that's like a Splatoon 1 level, right? Like, like, look at the, like, structure. I can almost feel like that's like a Splatoon 1 level or something. Just, just thinking, you know, they put the scrolls in this one. I wonder. Oh, the art is so good. That's a good, that's a good sticker. That's a good one to have. Okay. Gonna drink some water really quick. <laughs> yeah, well, it's like, um, I mean, in Octo Expansion, we saw Marina with the shorter hair, too, so I guess... I think that, I mean, I, you know, I guess it's not confirmed, but it's a pretty obvious headcanon you could make that, like, in the army, you know, they were required to keep it, like, a certain length. Um... Oh man, I might, sorry, I might actually go run, use the bathroom again. <laughs> I just, I don't, it's, it's another thing to have to worry about with the stress of everything else and I'm, I'm drinking water to try and stay hydrated, so. Okay, um, let me use the bathroom, I'll be over really quick. Oh, okay. Hello. Oct is actually Paul and Glenn Fiddler in a trench coat. <laughs> okay. Um. So, now that we're in the 20s, um. Skipping floors and vending machines sounds nice. <laughs> I might go for a vending machine right now, actually. I have a lot of money. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. I will probably make- I, I, yeah, I'll, I'll make this into a video, for sure. <laughs> I mean, I was already going to just, you know, finishing the pallets, but then, yes, it, it will be a thing. 
Um, armor drop, special charge up. Um, sorry, I'm, I'm not gonna worry about pearls. I'm just I was looking. Okay, I guess just one, at least one of each of these. I'm tempted to do more armor drop. I'm gonna do at least one more armor drop. Honestly. Ed Sheeran, the guy from Pokemon? <laughs> okay. Explosion, another lucky bomb drop. I mean, lucky bomb has been... very nice. <laughs> very, very nice. I... I... I'm gonna go for that. Glenn Fiddle is actually 2,000 little Glenn Fiddies. He is his own hive mind. Okay. Don't you do that. Don't you do that. I don't want to get overwhelmed here. This is an easy one to kind of screw up, so I actually need to focus. Come on. I'm I'm just throwing bombs and holding the high ground. I know I'm not even killing the enemies I need to kill. Where are they? Oh, there they are. We get them away from there. That's not a good spot. If I get them closer to me and then the splash down. Actually, wait. It totally finished that one off with a bomb. Oh wait, actually? Actually, are there two here? There we go. Two down. I think? Wait, what? Was I blind? I swear there was a second one. Oh, did he escape? There we go. Oh my god, don't do that. Don't do that to me. That's a lot of guys. That's a lot of people. Oh, lucky bomb. The lucky bombs are so good, dude. Oh, there it is. It's over there. It's over there. Splash down. Splash down and it won't see me. Oh my god. Nice. Oh, okay. <sighs> okay. Splash damage, ink recovery rate, or double killer whale. I feel like killer whale might be the move here, just getting those faster. It is a danger though. Actually, I don't want to skip this floor. How much does it cost? 1,000? I don't know guys. <laughs> what, <laughs> what are we thinking here? I'm kind of scared. Splash damage? That's true. Splash damage is good. Oh, right. I, I keep forgetting it affects Lucky Bombs. You're right. You're right. That makes sense. That's the move for sure. Okay. Yeah, I'm avoiding I'm avoiding danger as much as I can. Okay. What are we doing here? Okay. Should be not too bad at all. I bet the balls will get bumped out of the way because lots of the big guys will spawn, but I'm going to do my best to... Make it happen. If they chase me, no, chase me. Don't chase the ball. Don't chase the ball. There we go. It got in. Uh, nice. Now, honestly, splash down? Might be a move. Um, why did, okay, it just bounced all the way back. Uh, <laughs> didn't quite go how I wanted it to. Okay, Charger said, good. Get this up the hill. Up the hill, up the hill. Oh my god, no. I think the I think the homophobic thing is a joke. <laughs> I think it's like Pearl and Marina are being like excessively gay in the elevator and Octa's like, uh, okay. <laughs> I don't I don't think she's actually like <laughs> she's not against it. She just feels awkward. Or they feel awkward. I'm sorry, I don't know. Um they feel awkward. Too too many women <laughs> in this campaign and then Octa's they they them, so I'm sorry, I get mixed up sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> you turn off I turned off literally every hack. So <laughs> that would be how. Um Okay. Oct is always referred to as they them in the game, so that's what I try to do. I don't I don't know. It's not a big deal to me either way, but I might as well use what the game uses. Um I mean, the, the representation is cool. I don't know. I don't want to just throw it aside. I think I think it's cool to have a non-binary character if they actually are, but I don't know. 
Um, that's not what I'm worried about right now because I want to <laughs> focus on this run. Lucky bomb drop, right? Surely. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Um, when they are dead fish, the at least the English localization used she her. So I don't know. I'm not. I'm not like. I just want to use the correct thing. It's just like a. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Uh, please, please work. Okay. I still want to kill these guys. The reason Oct transitioned is because there are now two people in a trench coat and one of them is Glenn Fiddler. Yes. Sure. <laughs> yeah, Oct, Oct and Deadfish are the same character. Deadfish is just their, like, stage name. That's gonna hit the ball, which I don't want to do, but I really want to kill them. Oh, no, it didn't. Okay. That's not in the corner. Nice, no, nice. Okay, okay, I'm gonna focus. Marino, <laughs> Pearl, and Eight are all lesbians. Oct is the non-binary person in the elevator. Glenn Fiddler is Ursine Anomaly number four. <laughs> Oh my god. Please. Yeah, I love this song. This song is amazing. I was going to comment on it, but I'm trying to focus on the gameplay, but yeah, I love this song. Souvenir 3. Absolute banger. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. There we go. There we go. Don't hit the ball. That did hit the ball? Because I increased splash radius. Right. Okay. Okay. My bad. Please stay. Please stay. Please stay and don't move. Please, please move and, and don't and don't move and stay and and get the that that did it. Ooh. Okay. Okay. We're on twenty-five. I would like to avoid danger. I'd like to maybe avoid rigorous. <laughs> oh, that's hang on. That's Sisyphusian. Okay. Um, this one has a lot of enemies. Soaker blockade floor. Oh, it's that one. Jeez, I'm gonna. Re I, I might skip, guys. I kind of. All these levels are kind of awful. <laughs> I actually know what all these floors are, and I don't really want to do. I don't feel super confident about any of them. I'm gonna skip. I'm gonna skip. I think this is where we do it. It can't. It can't get much worse than that. Like, <laughs> oh. Do we get more dialogue for this? Yeah, I know. Okay. I don't know why it gave me dialogue for this. Just because I hit 25, I guess? Yeah, that's why. Okay. Range or firing speed? I think range. I think definitely range, right? I'm going range. Yeah, I mean, I, I imagine you guys, anyone who made the funny head cannons, will probably be in the video. Um, okay, how much how much range are we talking? Oh, the accuracy is pretty bad though. Yeah, look at that. Oh my god. <laughs> we basically have like unupgraded uh, alternate hero shot. Okay, that's fine. More range or more accuracy? I don't really need accuracy because I'm just trying to paint under the enemies to hinder and poison them pretty much. Um. Which is kind of working. Oh my god. Okay, can I sneak up on this guy? No, I cannot. Uh, you know what we're gonna do? Use this as a kind of get out of jail free card. Please, please. The range just still isn't there to. Oh, there we go. Swim right into my trap. Okay. Hello, Arpeggio. Wanna not do that? Okay. Um. Hello. He doesn't see me. No, he saw me. Okay. Okay. Uh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, that worked. Okay. <laughs> Died in my ink or something. Okay. 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 More poison ink. More. More poison ink might be huge. Open season divided floor. I think we do this. 
I know it's rigorous, but I I think we gotta do it. Unless okay, I'm worried about what floor this is, because I don't totally recognize that name. Oh, we're getting so close. Oh, we're getting so close. Okay, please don't be the floor. I'm oh, oh it is that floor. But it's tower, so we're fine. Should be fine, it's tower. Okay. I gotta remember the name of this floor, sorry. Okay. The divided thing. Because this on zones is actually hell. That's the one that took me 22 minutes. So <laughs> we're not doing that ever again. Okay. Don't be afraid to use special. Get the splashdown. Get the enemies out of there. Shockwave. Nice. Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. Just get around. Get to the tower. Just go to Splashdown, get those guys off the tower, move the tower with the Splashdown. I don't like that they're behind me. Okay, Lucky Bombs are absolutely coming in clutch. I'm going to Splashdown you. That broke my armor, that broke my armor. There's armor there, there's armor there. But there's enemies in front of it. Oh my god. No! I'm sorry, that was kind of loud. Um... <laughs> 27, man! Bro... I, did, I didn't even see the laser, dude. I didn't even... Uh. Man... <laughs> okay. This stream has already been three and a half hours. Oh my god. <laughs> Oops. Um. I'm gonna try and do it today, guys. <laughs> I didn't think this would take this long. I mean, I didn't even know I was gonna be doing a no hacks run. Um, but man. Ooh. Yeah, I. I don't want to do Splashdown in the future. I if I if I get the option, I'm I want to trade out Splashdown. It's not good enough for me. Yeah, I did actually notice that Sanic dude. At the very least, we're gonna we're gonna get the last uh, piece of gear. Knockback. Knockback. Oh, you said disc piece. Eh, I I don't know. I'll go knockback. Yeah, I mean I I can definitely do it. Um. I'm not worried about my ability to do it, but <laughs> it's gonna take a lot of time now to get back there. And I don't, you know, it's a thing where you can't get careless on the earlier ones. Like, it's not like you can kind of rush through. You gotta be focused the whole time. Don't wait for the floor to rise. Will that make it? Yeah. This piece is clutching late. Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll consider if I see it again. I just thought I was safe. I don't know why I thought I was safe where I was. I don't know. I didn't know the charger was there. I thought I was keeping my distance. I just, it's just, okay. Hmm. That's already a tough decision. <laughs> Poisonic is so good, but. Hmm. Cosmic, you were actually splatted by Glenn Fiddler. Nintendo is lying to you. All the employees have been replaced with Glenn Fiddler, and all the gelatins are them too. Of course. Nah, definitely not drone spot bomb. I, I, these two are too good. I'm gonna go poison ink. I think poison ink is more versatile. Um, I definitely want main damage at some point, but I mean this, you know, effectively is damage. So, okay. Twenty seven, dude. I really thought that was the run. I'm still not over it. <laughs> yeah, poison ink is definitely more versatile. I mean, it's just, yeah. The Chargers have caught me off guard a few times. I know they're not called Chargers, but, you know, that's what they are. But, <laughs> um... I don't know. I feel like they're less... For whatever reason, they feel less obvious to me than, like, Octo Snipers. I feel like they hit, like, weirder angles, too, but I don't know. That might just be a skill issue. Poison ink does damage while the enemies are in your ink, right? Like technically you always do some passive damage when things are in your ink, but they 
it does more damage. And then hindrance damage just makes it, it's a damage multiplier. So if they're in your ink and you're shooting them, it does more damage. I believe that's the difference. Also, Toxic Mist works with Hindrance. Okay. Next, Lucky Chain. Honestly... Maybe worth it? I don't know, like, I haven't, I haven't been... Investing in lucky stuff very much throughout my entire playthrough, but like just having Yeah, just having armor and I mean this will just increase everything right so if I get lucky bombs if I get armor drops then that will just make all of that more likely so Yeah, I, I wouldn't go much higher with just this one okay. Oh, that worked out very nicely Um, shoot it's normally nice to get at least two with the Beyblade. Oh, this respawns. Okay. Hello? Really? Okay. Cool. Oh. One last Glenn Fiddler headcanon before I go. He's actually Agent 4's adoptive dad, and we learned about it after the Inner Agent 4 fight in Splatoon 4 Salmonling expansion. Sure. <laughs> Definitely. Also, see if, see if, um, I don't know if he'll be back, but, um, thank you for hanging out. Um, Ink Bottle or Can Special? That's rigorous, so we're going for this one. Okay. I do not think there will be a wave three and four. I just don't think they would have been secretive about that. <laughs> I think they would have. It, it would have sold a lot more copies probably if they said there are four whole waves and they said there are two. Um, I think it's been pretty clear that this is going to be the end. And you know, multiplayer updates. We don't even know how much longer those will be going on for. Um, I assume we'll get a content extension in the form of more weapon kits, but I don't think there's going to be. I mean, what, what else would they do, you know? They did a new campaign, they did a new, you know, they have all the hub worlds, or, you know, the, all the plazas from the previous games together right now. Like, I just don't know what other ways would be. I mean, deep cuts, lucky bomb. Um, as much as people don't seem to like to admit it, <laughs> the Return of the Mammalians kind of was deep cuts campaign. Like, I I think that's I, I know it was still kind of the Squid Sisters were more prevalent and whatever, but like I, we're not getting a DLC about Deep Cut because we kind of already did get a campaign about Deep Cut. I agree that they sucked in it, <laughs> but um. I don't really know why it would be any different another time. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I I'm biased because I just don't like Deep Cut that much. Like, I think they were poorly written in Return of the Mammalians, but I think that's that is the writing. So I don't I don't really have faith that they would be written better in another story. I mean, maybe you know one that had them as the focus instead of like the antagonist, but um, I don't know. This is where we do damage. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. Portals. Okay, that was actually kind of risky for a second. Um, Beyblades, help me out here. Okay. They're they're fine. I mean, yeah, it's it's mostly what um Sanic dude said, where they just randomly turn around and be on your side for no reason. <laughs> 
I don't know. It's a personal preference thing, too. Like, yeah, they're they're like Team Rocket, but like. I don't really want Splatoon characters to be like anime characters, I guess. It, I don't know. I, I much prefer the way Off the Hook is written, where they're a lot more like down to earth and kind of feel more like real people. Um, They're like fun. Deep Cut is like fun and over the top, but it's just like I don't really care about any of them that much. Which, you know. Return of the Mammalians was trying to balance a lot of things at the same time, and I don't think it played out very well for any of them. <laughs> like, I don't really think the Squid Sisters make a lot of sense in Return of the Mammalians. Like, they don't really do anything. Deep Cut feels kind of, um, you know, kind of half-baked. Like, they just don't really have a real character arc. And then Grizz just... I think Grizz's writing is just straight up kind of bad, honestly. Um, so, you know. They, in a different story where they're given a better focus, maybe they could have more going on, but I, I'm just not really a fan of them as they are. Um, yeah, we'll go for this. Yeah, I mean, the, the, like, their dynamic is fun. Like, my favorite, like, instance of deep cut anything is, like, their introduction cutscene in Alterna, where they show up and they're, like, very much, you know, all expressing the distinct parts of their personalities like I, I like them in the news too like the Splatfest announcements like I like their dialogue I just there's there's never any high stakes thing to make me care about them like I you know I didn't care that much about off the hook before Octo expansion because they were just on the news had like maybe a few funny lines but you know other, were otherwise just like okay they're just goofy haha characters but normally the Splatoon story modes are kind of where they get more fleshed out you know even the Squid Sisters they don't have a ton going on but like with um Octo Canyon, you know, there's a little bit of drama there. There's like, okay, Callie, like, you know, yeah, she was just hypnotized by, by Octavio, but there's, you know, it's kind of implied that she like went to the Actarians willingly before that happened. Like there there was kind of like, you know There was a there was more distance between her and Marie. Like the Squid Sister stories are kinda what added a lot to them for me. Like, anytime they kind of just make them feel more like real people with, kind of, you know, down-to-earth, like, flaws and, you know, emotions, like, I think that does a lot for their character. And Deep Cut just didn't get that. Um, and so, yes, you could say, okay, I, you want another campaign with them so they get that, that's fair. But as they are now, it's like... I don't really care either way, because <laughs> they, they could make them good characters with another story, or they could not. But as they are now, it's kind of like, eh, I don't know. Yeah, they just, they don't really, they don't have emotional beats, they don't really have... A big betrayal made me like them a lot more. <laughs> I like, I like big betrayal and how it like, it tells a story with their song, but yeah, I don't know. Um... Yeah. Okay, do, what do we do here? Stick, sticky ink. We have poison ink. So we have Sticky and Poison. Yeah, that's going to be nice. I think they could write Deep Cut well. I just personally don't really care. <laughs> I don't care until they do. I guess that's where I am with it. It's like, it's not a thing I'm really hoping for because as they are now, they're kind of, you know, I understand wanting them to go from, you know, underdeveloped characters to developed characters. But I guess for me, it's like... It doesn't really make a difference until the, until that already exists and there's something there to hook me, so. Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I don't know. I still have those notifications on um, for Twitch follows and stuff. Um, I Again, I want to start dual streaming again. I just didn't, or multi-streaming, whatever it's called. I just didn't want to have to worry about it while doing side order stuff. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. I would like to stream on YouTube and Twitch. Once I figure it out, but for now, I don't want to mess with it. Yeah, I said Squid Sisters were my favorite for a long time. Um, they've fallen out of favor a little bit for me just because I mean, just you know, I just don't split the, Splatoon 3 did not do anyone justice. <laughs> it made the Squid Sisters seem really basic and kind of, you know, weird that they just sat there the whole game and didn't do anything. It didn't really give Deep Cut the appropriate time to shine, and the Grizz reveal was just kind of a mess as far as the lore is concerned. So, I I get liking them over Squid Sisters, honestly. Um, 
Squid Sisters for me is also just like the nostalgia factor. You know, I've I've <laughs> been playing the game since 2015, and the Squid Sisters were like the idols. So it's just kind of a part of the culture of Splatoon, I feel like, to appreciate the Squid Sisters. Oh my god, by the way, I'm I'm actually need to focus for a second. Because this is not going how I want it to be going. Hello, everyone, please die. If I get this portal, we're good. If I get this portal, we're good. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my god. 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 Okay. I'm gonna focus for a second. <laughs> I want to I want to catch up on chat, but I <laughs> really need to focus on this level because this one for some reason, screws me up a lot. Okay. Okay. Whew. I mean, I don't think they would ever do an idol fest that just, like, determines what idols return. Like... They're always going to introduce new characters. I would hope they do. <laughs> I think it'd be really kind of lame to just have old idols return. I feel like a, a part of the fun of a new Splatoon game is that there's always new idols. Also, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't think they'll do an idol fest. I don't I don't expect that to be what Final Fest is. Um, <laughs> the other hand, lesbians. Yeah, I... I mean, I love Octo Expansion for a lot of reasons. I, like, my favorite character is Agent 8. Before any of the idols, I like Agent 8 and their, like, journey through Octo Expansion. So kind of just by extension, Off the Hook became my favorite idol group just because they are, like, 8's inspiration. <laughs> so I guess that's a lot of the reason I like them, but also just, yeah, they just have a fun... I mean, the chat logs did so much for them. <laughs> the chat logs, I just love the chat logs so much in Octo Expansion. Um... That really made me like them as characters. Oh, we got Parallel Cannon. Oh, but I don't have the armor hack, so I can only have one armor at a time. Okay, okay. Good to keep in mind. But yeah, this boss... I don't want to jinx it. But at least with full hacks, this is by far the easiest boss for me, because I literally just sit here and camp their jumps. I know one of them is downs, but I have armory to tank that. So... I have my armor broke, so I'm gonna go get armor. <laughs> um Okay. With less damage it's definitely hard. Okay. Gimme, give gimme. Give Did he break my armor? No, I have it. I'm gonna tank the splashdown one and just kill him right away. I would honestly rather do that, because then I'm just right there and just get him out of the way. I think this is the splashdown one. Not yet. There it is. Tank it. Kill. Oh my god, that was a horrible mistake. That was a stupid idea. I don't know why I did that. Hmm. My bad. Uh, we did not. No, yeah, we did not have a pick your poison splatfest. We just had a deep cut splatfest. I, I get why people are into the idea of the three poisons, but like, I just don't get how that works as a fest. Like, why would you pick? A bad thing. <laughs> I know it's pick your poison, but like, I, I don't know, that feels kind of awkward to me. Um, but yeah, no, the fest we had was just who should be the leader of Deep Cut. It wasn't about the three poisons. I feel like the fact that we don't know anything about the clans means that being the final fest would be kind of awful, though. What do you- <laughs> I feel like no one would have any- any stake in it. I don't know. I I honestly think they might just go for something kind of abstract again, like Order versus Chaos. I don't, I, I mean, I don't want it to be about Deep Cut. <laughs> I don't really want it to be about the idols. I'd kind of, I, I think, I think something like Chaos versus Order would be way cooler, personally. But, I don't know. Yeah, we'll do Ink Recovery. I, dude, I hope we do it today. I don't know. This is already a long stream. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. 
I don't know if I want it to be as obvious. I mean, I guess Splatoon 2 said, you know, what world would you choose for the Inklings and Octolings? So that did pretty strongly imply that would it would, you know, have implications for the next game. Um, you know, Callie Marie did affect the next game, but we didn't know that it would. But I don't I don't know if I'd like it to be as blunt as like, you know, what biome do you want the next game to take place in? Like that's, I just feel like that's kind of a boring theme. Like I don't want the final event of the game to be like, yeah, I love beaches. <laughs> like, I, like chaos versus order is just such a more even Kali versus Marie is like you know people people care people have favorites when it comes to characters like people will defend their characters with their life so I feel like those things are kind of more fun to have as a high stakes final fest I feel like just choosing like a biome <laughs> or you know environments for the third game I I don't know that wouldn't that wouldn't really hit the same for me personally. How many attempts at this pallet? I have not been counting. Um, it's been at least five. <laughs> Maybe more. Yeah, I just I don't the the clans are such a like barely established part of the lore. I just don't think most of the player base would really care. Straight up damage or hindrance damage? That's a higher number and probably more versatile. I mean I don't know. I, I feel like I've talked a lot about this on stream. I, I don't really care about the chaos thing that much. Like, it gave us the location of Splatsville in a desert. <laughs> and maybe a couple other things, and I, I think that's fine. Like, I just don't... It's not like the theme of uh, Marie <laughs> was, you know, apparent everywhere in Splatoon 2. Like, it's just a story thing. So, I... I don't know. I don't really know how Chaos... I was saying this the other day, like, Chaos is already such a Splatoon thing. Splatoon is a very chaotic game. Chaos has always been a part of the design philosophy. To the point that, like, I don't really know what else people would have wanted them to do that they didn't. <laughs> and yeah, the clans exist, but it's not like a... It's not as prominent a part of the game as the idols themselves, or an abstract you know, philosophy on on life like Order versus Chaos. I just think it's way too specific, and it's kind of just... I mean, the most specific a fest they've ever done is Kelly versus Marie, where, like, you have to play the game and vaguely know the personality of the characters to actually care. I just think normally they're just super broad, like, foods or things that everyone knows, so I just think the clans are just a weird... They wouldn't do, like, a lore focus for a Splatfest. I just don't think that's how they do them, like, ever. Um, I mean, I think the Mammalians thing was supposed to be the chaos. I don't know. Like, again, like, every story mode, any game where you're shooting ink at creatures to explode them is kind of chaotic. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know what chaos would mean. I mean, besides doing a thing like they did in Side Order, where they straight up are like, you know, the characters in the game are literally talking about the philosophies of Order versus Chaos, like Marina does with Order. Like, yeah, we didn't have that in, um, Return of the Mammalians, really, but I, like, I don't know if I would have wanted that. <laughs> I think it's a little on the nose. I don't know. Yeah, Splatsville and Deep Cut are very, like, it's not, they didn't really do it for the story, but I think that's fine. They did it for the setting and the characters. Like, Splatsville is chaos, the Splatlands are chaos, Deep Cut is chaos. It's not really, it was never about the story. I think that's okay. It's just a different way to do it. How many runs are you in now? I, I haven't been counting. I don't know if anyone else has. I maybe should have gone firing speed, but more hindrance damage kind of seems like a really good idea. Yeah, sorry. I keep, I keep choosing things right before like the stream catches up and you say your suggestions, but I I don't know. I I don't want to be totally backseated by chat. I, I like making my own decisions too. I appreciate the suggestions, but I you know sometimes sometimes my mistakes are my responsibility, <laughs> and I have to own it if I pick a bad ability. 
Well, Hindrance just does more damage if the enemies are in your ink, so... Um, there we go. We got a, we got a main damage anyway, so... If I'm spamming damage, that's a good sign. Where's chocolate? Why mint chip? Yeah. I don't know. Um, I, I don't know what Final Fest will be. I just, I personally, I do hope it is something more vague <laughs> and philosophical and not really like a specific lore thing or thing with the characters. Like, that's why I'm glad they got the Shiver vs. Fry vs. Big Man Fest out of the way <laughs> for the anniversary, because now we know that's not going to be the final. I'm backing myself into a corner like an idiot. Um... I'm still actually getting zone right now, so that's fine. Oh, they're going sicko mode. Okay, hold on. There we go. That was good. The poisons are philosophical. I just think they're like... Like, what do you do with that? Like, <laughs> is that choosing the villain for the next game? Is that... Like, I feel like that's so much harder to apply than even something like Chaos vs. Order. Squid versus octopus? Yeah, give us another race war. How about that? <laughs> Squid versus octopus versus salmonid could be a thing. I don't really I don't think anyone would choose salmonid, except for the like, you know. Well, I guess this there's there's a salmon run community. Um that might, and the lore people maybe. But <laughs> I don't know. Oh my goodness gracious. Past versus present versus future could work. Um I don't, like, you know, but I hope they don't mess with the timeline. <laughs> That's the thing with Splatoon is, like, it's a living game and time passes, you know, the same amount in real life as it does in the game. So it's like, if you do that, it's like, okay, well, how does that actually affect the game then? Is that a philosophy, like a person who who wants to live for the future? Or do we literally go to the future? Because that would kind of mess everything up. So so you're, you're saying firing speed is better than damage. Because it's, that actually makes sense, because it's more, you know, it's higher damage per second, and it's better pain. I'm gonna go for that. Glenn Fiddler versus Glenn Fiddler. Okay, now that I do have it, firing speed does seem nice. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I mean, they could. Yeah, I mean, that's the problem. This is like, if, if past wins, we're just getting Octo Expansion 3, where we're <laughs> talking about... I don't know. I mean, the human stuff is so interesting, but I just... I don't want them to overdo it. Um... Damage. I'm going for a heavy damage build, and I like the sound of that. So I'm going to keep leaning into it. Also, yeah, what does present mean? Like, <laughs> I feel like the Inklings are already very much, like, living in the moment. I mean, even side order, like, yeah, I mean, Grizz and Marina are both, like, you know, afraid of change. It's just kind of a thing we've done already. The idea of talking about past, present, versus future. Oh my god. It's always this floor that I underestimate for some reason. It looks so simple. <laughs> it looks so easy, and then they just start coming at you from all over. Love to see a character who's a human fanatic and they get every other fact about humans wrong. And that's what I remember people saying that's what they wanted Grizz to be. <laughs> when we when we thought Grizz wasn't a bear, we wanted it to just be some like mammal obsessed like person. Which I do kind of like the idea of.
I, I'm pretty sure Splatoon 1 was pretty much already a political statement about global warming. But not even, like, political. Like, I mean... Well, a little bit. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Grizz as a water bear would have been better. That would have been actually cool. <laughs> that would have made some... Well, I mean, his backstory would have to be different, but... Grizz being a water bear would have been so much better. Actually. Oh, come on. Yes, get stuck in the ink. Whoa! Okay, we're good. It fricked up Tardigrade. <laughs> uh, boss fight. Okay, okay. We are, we are, you know, I'm getting faster. I mean, I'm being careful, but I'm, I'm making progress. So. Okay, I, I want the mic, sorry, I'm moving the mic a bit. Rondo, that's fine. I mean, it would probably be some kind of like humanoid tardigrade, not just literally the way they look in real life. Yeah. I mean, I'm not too worried about Splatoon 4 yet. <laughs> we still we still got plenty of time with this game. But I do hope the stories get a little bit darker again, because I feel like both the stories in this game, I don't know. There, there are elements of side order that are, you know, intriguing and, and, you know, I don't know. I mean, most of the stuff that is really good just harkens back to stuff Octo Expansion and Splatoon 1 set up already. <laughs> um, it doesn't really kind of do a lot of its own stuff in, like, I don't know. I'll, I'll give, you know, Smallest his last little bit of dialogue here if I ever win this um, run, but <laughs> I don't I don't think it's saving him as a villain for me. I just don't really love him that much. Uh, I like Marlin Airport. Has been pretty fun in my experience. It still kind of has the issue of being like the same shape as like every other Splatoon 3 map, but at least it's a bit wider. So you can actually kind of get around it. Oh boy. Yeah, I, I just, I think if it was if it was more obvious from the beginning what it was, I just think the trailers set up Side Order to look a lot more darker than it ended up being. Especially with that, like, theme music and all the concept art and everything, like, for it to end with just, like, an EDM dance party is, like, it's fun, it's Splatoon, but it's not really what I think a lot of us thought we were getting. We should call Rondo Ronnie. I'm down for that. I love that boss, yeah. I'm not don't I don't want to come down inside her while I'm playing one of my favorite parts of it. I, I love the boss. Okay, okay, okay. Eleven. More hindrance damage. I'm kinda down. I'm kinda down. <laughs> Just get them stuck in the ink and kill them and do not let them leave. Okay. Ronaldo. What are you doing? What did you land on me? Stop that. Yeah. 
These guys are so much bigger of a problem when you do not have hacks. I swear this level took me like 15 seconds when I actually had damage. <laughs> um, okay, that kind of works. Why did that happen? Oh my god, why did they launch like that? That's not gonna go where I want it. Okay. Yeah, it's... Like, that's the thing. Like, I don't dislike Side Order's story, but, like, man. <laughs> it really feels like it could have been a lot more than what it is. Which is still a better... It left a better taste in my mouth than Return of the Mammalians, for sure. Um, because what's here is fine. <laughs> but... Yeah. I still think it was worth the wait. I still think it's a good addition to the game and to the Splatoon... You know, Splatoon gameplay loop in the Splatoon canon. I think what it does is good, but... I mean, it's hard to not be a little disappointing after waiting for a whole year, you know, and not seeing, like, most- pretty much any gameplay. Oh, let's do range. I mean, I don't- I like the dynamic in the elevator. I- I don't mind 8 not being isolated, I just thought it was gonna... I mean, you know... Eight is my favorite character, so I guess I kind of wanted it to be a little bit more about Eight, like Octo Expansion was. But, you know, it really is about Marina more than anything else. Um, which is fine, I like Marina, but, <laughs> you know. Uh, I just bled, I just, that's fine, I lost like two Membucks, that's fine. I lost four, that's fine. Um, please die, please die. It, always, it just keeps going, dude, stop. <laughs> Oh my god. Thank you. Ah, never done a splashdown on a bounce pad before, that's kind of weird. Please, chill out, dude. Oh my god, there's so many big dudes. Okay. Get away over there. I mean, Oct is getting, you know, I don't have all the Oct lore yet. But... I think Oct could have done more, but I think, you know, if the entire Spire is about helping the sanitized Octarians, it makes sense. I don't think they're pointless. I'll tell you right now, what, what I should what I think should have happened in the ending... I just think the ending is really weird, because there's this, that whole moment where, um, you know, everyone starts getting grayscaled, and it's like this big dramatic moment where you wake up eight, and then, like... Everyone's just back to being alive again. Like, <laughs> I think I think when you wake up eight with the um Spectrum Obligado, however you say it, like we should have just had eight, and all the other characters should have been trapped, like how Marina was at the beginning of the game, and we should have had to like save them. Or like maybe just Pearl and Marina would be, and then like Oct would be in the elevator. Like I just think that moment should have had a lot more emotional weight, and it's kind of just immediately undone. It's like, oh no, the villain is winning. Never mind. No, he's not. Now it's a dance party. Like, what? Like, <laughs> I, it's just like, what? I, that whole moment just completely fell fat. Like, I I, I don't know. I, I feel like there's, there should have been some tension there. Like, I really think it should have been about, like, saving the other characters, or at least, like, we should have not just immediately gotten overpowered and it was a dance party. <laughs> there we go. Uh, do not try the split. <laughs> do not go to the Splatoon manga if you like the lore. That is not the place. I know you're you're basically said that in your own message, but yeah. Um, we'll do knockback. It's danger, but I really want knockback. I just think she's cool. That is that is how I feel. Um, oh boy. I, I appreciate Oct for, at, at the very least, because through them we learn more about life in the Octarian Domes, which is like kind of the, really the main thing I want to know about in Splatoon lore at the moment. Like, we know so much about the Inkling world, 
and we're told a few things about the Octarian world, but it's largely just this super unexplored part of the universe of Splatoon, but it's a place that is important to a lot of its characters. So, oh my god, it fell all the way down. Um, <laughs> even if Oct doesn't have a ton of, like, development or really anything going on themselves, like, I, I appreciate what they allow the story to tell us about the world. Ah! It, it seems pretty militarized to me, I don't know. I mean, the, at least the devlogs I have seen have not, told, you know, have not suggested anything otherwise than, or other than what I thought, really. Or lucky bomb drop. That's probably what we got to do. Yeah, that, sorry. I, I keep messing up the, you know, I keep saying she instead of they too, so. I get it. We, we as a community will we'll figure it out, I'm sure, over time. <laughs> Yes. Yes, Rasticus is very... Just... It's just so nice to have a person who, who cares enough about Splatoon Lord to do that for the community. Because there are only so many people who are going to actually take the time out of their day to translate, like, massive chunks of text. Rasticus actually shouted out my video, which <laughs> I felt very cool about. I don't know. I don't, I don't want to say that as, like, a flex, but... <laughs> um, I, I appreciate that. I really appreciate that. Am I going woke? Um, they could use both, but I mean, everyone in... It's one of those things where Japanese pronouns are like different than how it works in English. And I, I feel like it's much more likely that the localizers simply didn't put in as much thought because they were such a minor character in Octo Expansion. Like, I, I don't know. I, I haven't done the research, but I assume they did not switch pronouns in Japanese. So... It was probably a case of Nintendo of America seeing a feminine looking character and just defaulting to she, her, which, like, honestly is, you know, fair, unless they kind of... Wait, 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 I actually never saw this dialogue before. <laughs> wait. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Wait, sorry, I just... Wait. Hey, Ak, do you remember that game I made way back when? You were one of our only classmates who ever managed to beat it. Oh right, that rhythm game that ran at like 888 BPM. Yeah, I remember now. I'm getting nauseous thinking about it. I actually made an even harder sequel. Are you kidding? Why? I told you to over and over to widen the timing window and reduce the number of notes. I just thought it would be boring if it was too easy. And Pearl beat it without even blinking, so... That thing where you hear a sound and press a button? That was supposed to be hard? Unbelievable. <laughs> okay, I never saw that dialogue somehow before. That's awesome. Uh, <laughs> I like that one a lot. Okay, um... Ink damage? But that floor is so hard. I don't know. I don't know. Pearl doesn't even have anything, actually. Let's give Pearl a bomb. Let's give Pearl a bomb. I'm gonna go for that. Pearl was button spamming. I mean, if you make it so fast that you just have to match to win, maybe. Yeah, I, I definitely, I think that was a bit of a cheeky meta joke about about the difficulty of the campaign, for sure. Okay, what do we do here? I don't like these floors. I might- I low-key might skip. None of these abilities are that good. I'm gonna skip, actually. <laughs> Main piercing. Yeah. Yeah, we do that. <laughs> Pearl, I think Pearl's my favorite writing-wise. I don't know. I like a lot of them. 
I still really like Callie. Come on. Oh my god. 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 Please, 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 please be okay. Please be okay. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Armor, please. That's a special. That's fine. That's almost as helpful. Bye. Why is there another one? Oh my god. Ink Get on the ink Get on the ink <laughs> Kill. Oh my god. Oh my god. Get that charger out of here. Okay, 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 okay. Please. Oh my god. Second mom will do it. Okay. Whew. I think the DLC would have benefited if there was a player choice? Uh, maybe? I don't know. I mean, Splatoon's never really done stories like that. Um... I'm gonna be real, guys. I might skip floor straight to the boss here because these are all scary looking. <laughs> oh, it's only 500 to skip. Yeah, sure. Do it. Okay. I think multiple endings is a difficult thing for Splatoon because there's very clearly like one single cannon, and I wouldn't really want them to like mess with that by having like. I mean, you could just have like you know fake endings and real endings, but at that point, that you know feels like kind of what the point. What what is the point then if only one of them is real anyway? Oh my god, what do you mean? What do you mean, dude? Oh my god, that takes so long. It's gonna be hard to go back to other campaigns and having the armor take that. Is that the default in other campaigns, or did they make it longer with no hacks in this game? I swear it did not take that long to recharge armor in like Octo expansion. Um, this is my- I'm doing the last pallet, so I, I've beaten floor 30 with every other pallet, um, but I've never- I'm gonna die. Dude. I mean, it's a 20. Ugh. Yeah. Um, that's- that's about how far I've made it with this. Actually, I made it to 27 one time with this, with no hacks. Okay. I'm gonna buy the hat to make myself feel better. <laughs> Cause that's the only thing I do not have. All that was once mine is now yours. I thank you from the bottom of my core, Octoling. You are adequate to receive this badge. Let us now speak of after. From now on, there is a restraint of one item per day. I will deliver it by lobby terminal one day following. Gratitude for your persistent support is warranted. I hunger to see what changes you bring. Okay, so you just get a random item, I guess. Sure. <laughs> That's like the... Another shell drone, I guess, kind of? I don't... I, I've, I made it to 27 with no hacks. Okay, let me, let me turn on the light in my room, because enough time has passed that the sun is setting. Give me a second. Okay, um... I do love Cypher's design. It's been a four hour stream. I, got, I really do not think this is gonna happen, guys. But I... I wanna do it. I really wanna do it. I don't... Mm. I don't know. I don't know. 
I probably... I don't need a break. I don't need a break. I'm good. <laughs> I didn't think the stream would go this long, but I, I'm very motivated to do this, so I'm... It'll be good. Yeah... I mean, I don't... I want to do it. The problem, like, I, you know... I want to be done with this, so I because I want the lore. Like, I want to I want to have completed this, so I don't really want to have to worry... Okay, let's go main firing speed. I, I Hindrance damage and stuff is nice, but, like, I, I really just want to make the weapon good. Floor reset wouldn't help that much. I mean, anytime I've wanted to skip, I've been able to skip. So... Okay. I, I'm gonna be real though, like, I don't really know if I want to do that many more no-hack runs, like, <laughs> this is kind of insane. Low-hack runs, sure, but like, I, I don't, it's crazy to me that people have been doing this as like a, I mean, it's good content, it's absolutely good content. <laughs> I get that part of it. But, oh man. You did it, Cosmic Cuban? Nice. Wish that were me, but, but nice job. Oh my god. Ugh. I just, I play it really, really safe for 25 floors and then just make one mistake is the problem. I don't want to do rigorous for armor drop. Um, let's do mobile special charge. I really want a new special. I think I need to hit up more vending machines. Honestly. Um, I need to do more vending machines. I, because I need a, a new special. Okay, come on. Come on. Ugh. <sighs> Yeah, I mean, that's why I've, I've been keeping the skips to a minimum, because obviously I do want... Okay, I'm just... I'm gonna try and just focus on buffing the main weapon. <laughs> just give me a good gun. I, I, I mean, I've, I've experienced enough splash at this point to say I can definitely... I definitely like Crab more myself. Crab or Hammer. Even Ink Strike I would like better. I, I just... Being able to have range from the things I'm attacking. I hate having to dive in. Because, like, if there's two portals left, and you have Crab, you can shoot both of the portals. But if you have Splashdown, you have to commit to Splashdowning one of them, and then you're stuck there. Like... Ugh. Firing speed. We actually got good firing speed now. That double was clutch. That actually might be huge. I know we're only on floor four, but like, hold on. If I get damage plus, uh, how, how how fast is this fire rate? That is a good fire rate. That is a good fire rate. Hold on. This might be the run. This might be the run. Hold on. <laughs> that is that is really lucky. Oh, it's so good for eight ball levels specifically too. Okay. Yeah, I, I need to get some ink efficiency, otherwise this will screw me over, but... That's still a really good thing to have from the start. Oh, hey, Godwin. Um, I've been dying a lot, but this run is promising already, so... Let's do it. Inks ever main. Let's do it. Let's... I want to fire fast and have ink. It's- I'm just so fragile. Like, I- if, if I didn't get, like, one-tapped by, like, everything in the game, this would not be a problem. <laughs> like, I, dealing damage and evading the enemies isn't the problem, it's just that it, when you slip up one single time, and then it's just- Like, that's what drives me insane about Hackless. It's just- If I- if I turned on any hack, it would easily be damage reduction. Because it is insane the way the enemies can just obliterate your shield. Dude. 
You train for three days straight? Oh, wow. Okay, congrats. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to. Um... No, it's honor your accomplishment. That is, that is, obviously, obviously it's impressive to me, because I've been stuck here. Um... Splat ink recovery is really good. Easy, easy floor. We take it. Okay, gun is really good for this. This should be fine. Yeah, if I get, like, poison damage with this, that'd be so fire. Uh-oh. Oh, man. Eh, can you grab it? Nice. There's some big guys, we're good. Okay. Okay, okay. Couldn't have done it without chat. Lucky bomb drop. We got a gun that kills lots of things and, a, and lots of lucky bombs. That's what we need. That's what we need. Do -do -do -do. Being able to paint this much is really nice. Armor, yes. Thought you were dead, okay. Splashdown right now would be cool. Okay, no, we had it. That was just okay telling me. Okay, okay, okay. Ugh. Um, main range. Um, um, we're already on eight. Okay, okay, we're climbing. We're climbing. I'm definitely going to be concentrating a bit more at this run, so sorry if I don't speak for a while, but <laughs> it's been a long stream and I really want to win this. I'm sure you guys understand. technically some bias with no hacks it's just not as um strong of a bias but like the common tones are still slightly more common was there no I thought there was a Beyblade oh there's the Beyblade Oosh. I can actually kill these guys and turn them into Beyblades now okay oh my god oh my god oh my god no no Dude, that's so infuriating. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's annoying. That's really annoying. That's... I'm sorry. I'm so I feel bad. I feel bad, like... <laughs> uh, for you guys. Thank you guys for sticking with me this far. Yeah, yeah, I could have special. Thank you.
Well, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm glad to hear it's entertaining. I just don't <laughs> want to do it. Do it for the chat. Do it for the lore. Refill. Dude! There's no way. They're just so tanky with no- I'm- Oh my god. Is 6,000 health? I don't know if knowing the numbers is really going to help me. I'm, I'm not going to be trying to do math while I'm <laughs> getting slammed by them. Um, yeah. It's just, yeah, everyone says it sounds like the Shrine Guardian theme. How am I- how is this happening? That missed. Cloud, you're hubris. Yeah. I am glad I have a chat here to, you know, you guys g giving me tips, giving me some encouragement, hopefully, so it's nice. I don't know. I feel worse just losing and raging in a room by myself. Well, I am in a room by myself, but <laughs> I'm trying to not get impatient, dude. I'm trying. I'm trying my best. Okay. I already have... No, I don't. That was last round when I died. I'll... Disc? Really? Maybe. Maybe. I mean, War Disc would be nice. I just... I have so little faith in the lucky stuff for some reason. I don't know why. I say I like the idea of like increasing this stat permanently rather than the chance to get an item in clutch. You know, I'd, I'd rather rely on the guaranteed stuff, but I mean the lucky stuff is actually so common that it ends up being pretty helpful. You need it, yeah. You, that's the thing. You need to stack a lot of lucky for it to really start feeling impactful. Um, that's also part of it. Oh my goodness. Genuinely, if I get a different special, <laughs> I feel like I, I would be so much more confident. Just, just lead them away from the zone. I don't even have to do anything. Okay. <laughs> You're cute. <laughs> Thank you. I just, I'm just seeing some of the messages now. Thank you guys for the encouragement. Okay. The shot spread reduction once I get more range, or if I get more range, is actually really nice to have. I'm actually going to go for that. It's it's nice to have some accuracy so I can actually, you know, land my shots consistently, because the accuracy is so bad when you increase range. <laughs> Hello, SJ the pirate. Uh, armor, armor. Okay, don't touch that. Um, kill, boom. Please, please. I always feel like they're so close to popping, and they just don't. 
I'm gonna be so scared on the final boss, dude. <laughs> like, I'm kind of, I'm like, somehow just realizing now, like, oh yeah, we also have to fight small guy at the end of this. Okay. Every time I get squid attack, I forget I have it. <laughs> I don't know. It's really hard to, like, force myself to actually use it. I don't want to worry about that now. Main piercing. Easy. Well, it wasn't- it wasn't charger- it wasn't homing. I think it was just shot spread, right? Yeah. I don't know if someone else talked about homing. I don't like homing, but I like shot spread reduction. It's just accuracy. I, I mean, I roll for movement, but I don't roll when I'm around enemies, really. Oh my god. Old hacks, but no chips run. Maybe, I mean, maybe after this, but um, I definitely want to stick to this now. Thanks, ever mean. Yeah, no, I uh, too much homing it just throws me off. Especially when you're shooting like a horde of enemies. Like I wanna, I wanna know where my my shots are going. Please don't launch the ball. Okay, we're good, we're good. Okay. I think I think poison ink is more worth it right now. Should I change the title of the stream? <laughs> I mean it is true, but it's uh most of this has been no hacks focused. Yeah, poison ink is good. Poison ink this early is good. Well, I cleared the dualies at the start of the stream, but yeah, it's it's <laughs> this one has certainly been the focus. I don't think they were talking about side order, I think they just meant in general. That's how their playstyle is. Okay. Hack and splash? Uh well, I, I'm doing no hacks, so that wouldn't be <laughs> especially accurate, but I like I like what you're thinking. Um That level actually scares me. I'm gonna go. I'm going to a vending machine. I, I know I don't have a ton of money, but I I don't like those options. I want to skip a floor. I want chips. I want special. I want something different. I didn't. I didn't want to do that one. I know it had bonus, but I I don't know. Please special, toxic mist, dude. Nah, nah. Okay, well, this works, I guess. <laughs> I don't like that it's rigorous, dude. I'm afraid of these ones. <laughs> spot bomb. I mean, I could just spot them again. I can do that. I I don't know.
Ooh, okay. That's my favorite palette. With hacks, Loki Octobrush might be my mo my most favorite. My most favorite, my favorite. <laughs> um. Oh boy, boss fight. Okay. Founder. Founder. Me. Me and me and Mister Mister Markiel have had not a very pleasant relationship this stream, but I'd much rather fight him on floor ten than. Floor 20. Every run, by the way, every single one of my runs so far on Hackless has had this guy. <laughs> um, nope, don't like that. Don't like when you do that. Come on. Come on. Okay. Almost on phase three. I'm just gonna focus the enemies. Don't leave anyone lying around. Disc. I'm not messing with that as long as he's doing that. Okay, wait, hold on. We can juggle here, maybe. Okay, not really. Oh my god, shockwave, shockwave. Special. It's weak, it's weak, it's weak. Dude, dude, he's like one HP. Are you kidding me? This dude just does not want to die. There we go. Oh my god. Oh. oh my god. <laughs> um what special would I switch to? I really want hammer or crab. Especially crab. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you guys. Yes, we got through it. Got past Mr. Bounder. Main firing speed. Absolutely. Absolutely. We got hindrance already, right? We got do we have poisoning? Do we also have hindrance? I'm gonna check my palette really quick, hang on. Because we have if we have all those things and fire speed. Um we have poison ink, hindrance, and fire rate. Okay. Not as fast as it was before, because that was a double the other time, I think, but we're pretty good. Okay, I've gone I've gone overwhelmed on this one before. Be careful, be careful. Please just let that work. I swear that like is supposed to work and it never works anymore. Okay, there we go. Really? Dude. Okay. It worked. It worked. It worked. We're good. Okay. Okay, actually, actually, that's fine. Hey, no one mess with this. Thank you. Easy. Good floor. Okay. Okay. Saber so I don't love these. Um I mean more bombs. This is a bonus. Okay, we're doing this. <laughs> yeah, no, that was lucky. That was that was nice. Um Okay, okay. Double hill floor. Uh, okay. I don't like this one. Just get high ground. Don't bother fighting down low, get high ground. Watch out for them. So I can do here, I can use this as a spring. Here we go. 
Okay. Oh my god. I'm gonna try my best to not use special. Oh, this is it right here. This is it. Okay, okay. Easy. Nice. That's 12. The springs are so nice. The springs are like my favorite mechanic in the whole game, yeah. Ink damage. Just straight up damage, easy floor. Literally no reason to not do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, everything was just... Oh, I, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad. It's, it's, okay, we gotta, we gotta do some build, finally. Okay, um... God, this one always takes way longer than it needs to. Hopefully with the damage it won't be so bad. Take you out, please. Go. Leave. Okay. That was rude. Why did it go that way? That's not how I- oh my god. <laughs> okay. Dude! Dude. This is literally just Sisyphus. Forget the Sisyphian floor. We are literally, literally pushing a ball up a hill over and over again. <laughs> oh my god. Just stay. Just stay. Be a good ball and stay. <laughs> <sighs> Firing speed again. Easy. Okay. Solid. Oh. Okay, okay. <laughs> Trade imposter deck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Die. <laughs> okay. This one's fine because you just get him down to the bottom floor, but if I can kill him earlier, I'm not complaining. There we go. Good. That was lucky. <laughs> I don't know what boss I want it to be, dude. Uh, I guess Rondo might be easier. Oh boy. Okay, hard, hard, rigorous. Lucky bomb drop, though. It's danger. Uneven floor. Do I risk the danger? Do, or do I skip? <laughs> I'm going danger or skip, because I want lucky bombs, but I don't know. Lucky bomb might be worth it. Right, you guys are saying to do it. I, I think it'll be worth it for the lucky bombs. Okay, everyone might just be saying danger because they want to see me suffer, but I'm not sure. It depends what the danger is. This might not be that bad. Not lights out, not encoding. Arpeggio? No items, that's fine. Oh, that's so fine. Okay, okay. <laughs> Literally so fine. My hubris. Thank you. Yes, I know. I know. I was getting a little too cocky there. Um, um, okay. We can charge a splash down like this. How the hell did you not die? Okay. Okay, just keep, just keep it moving. I always have space to move if I just go in a big circle. Um, speaking of big circles. Boom. Yes. Perfect timing of the Beyblade, thank you very much. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, where are we? We are floor 16. 
Uh, armor drop? That was scary. That was scary. Or drone charge. Um. I think armor drop. Cosmic proportions. Okay. Turbine tower. Fire rate is very nice for this. Give me special. Just. Oh my god. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Checkpoint. Knock him off, please. Nice. Was that armor? Give me that. Oh, there's a charger. Okay, be careful. I'm gonna play this safe. I'm gonna play this so safe. Oh my god, this- why is the portal there? Why is the portal there? Who decided that was a good idea? I know it's so close, but I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm trying to get a splash down. Ooh, okay. Yes, you're ready. <laughs> okay, um... Hmm. I'm not sure what to pick here. Swim speed, honestly, might be nice. Hmm. Wait, this floor is easy. Stack more splash damage. That's true, we got bombs. That We got a lot of bombs, okay. We get lucky bombs and pearl bombs and, okay. Um... It's only one portal. Easy. The charger is making it less easy. <laughs> Let's solve that problem. Where even is- the okay, it's all the way down there. Oh my god, Pearl. Pearl, you are fucking goaded. Thank you, Pearl. Sorry for swearing if anyone cares. I know I don't swear a lot. <laughs> I don't know if it's always jarring when I swear, because I swear very rarely on stream, but, um... Yeah, this is this is the kind of event that uh, warrants it, I think. That's a charger. I mean, I'm not- I'm not strictly family-friendly, so I- I just- I don't know. <laughs> that was nice. I have armor, I'm fine. Okay. <laughs> all room for gamer rage in our hearts. Alright, alright, alright. All right. Um, what are we doing here? Double decker crisscross floor. Sound wave is worthless. Um, this might be good. What? What floor is this? I can't remember what floor this is. It's probably worth. I can always go back in the elevator. I should remember that too. I'm able to go back in the elevator if the floor is terrible. Oh, it's this one. Uh oh no 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 no. This is easy for zone. It's scary on other on other modes, but it's easy for zone. 
Also, I don't, I don't care about the bonus. It's literally not worth it. Let's get this all inked up so you guys suffer and die. Wish I had a little more range. The miss is actually really annoying. I'm gonna splash damage to kill the sprinklers. Nice. There's two discs there. I don't know if it's worth going that far forward. Legitimately, I'm just gonna sit here. Okay. Sprinkler, can I outpit the sprinkler? Nice. Okay. I have, I have a lot of experience with that floor. Um, I'm not worried. I wasn't worried about that one. Hard rigorous, rigorous. I'm gonna be real, guys. This might be a skip, <laughs> right? I mean, what do we do? Um, constant exposed floor. I don't know what I go for here. I don't know. Is this a skip? Special charge of anything, yeah. This might be a skip, guys. I don't know, because we'll get to the boss. I'm going to skip. I don't trust any of those. And the abilities are not worth it. It's bad and no hack, but it's, I mean, I don't know. So is dying. <laughs> okay, what boss we got? I'm kind of scared about any of them. It's parallel cannon. Okay. Um. This is good. This is good because I can play this safe. I can play this very safe. I normally am super aggressive in this, but I literally don't have to be. <laughs> I can literally be all the way back here. Oh my god. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, with with um with poisoning for good. Do we do I have poisoning? I do. Well, the poisoning, this is so free, actually. That broke my armor. That was like one flick from the brush. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Is it literally just one tap, like, guaranteed? I'm really afraid of the triple splashdown. I forget when it is. I think it's after this one. Wait. Okay. Oh my god. Heal, heal, heal. Bomb spam. Pearl, fuck that guy up, please. I swear again. You're just gonna have to deal with it. Um, okay, 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 okay. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Thank god, panic splash down. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. We're spamming bombs. One of those is gonna triple splash down, there it is. Maybe get the bomb in there? Did chip damage? Killed. Nice. Uh, okay, more spawning in. Let me get my splash down. Refill. Thank you. Nice! Oh! Oh, that was a triple! Oh my god. Oh, okay. For a second, I was like, maybe I shouldn't do this because I should keep it for the panic, but oh my god, yes. Floor 20, clear. Okay. Phew. Okay, 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 okay. Oh my goodness. Vending machine. Vending machine. <laughs> We're vending machine. I have money. I will. I will get a chip. So it's not. It's not wasting. Vending machine is the best way to skip a floor, right? Because you. You vending machine. You get. You still get stuff. Okay. 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 Um, Zuka. I don't think Zuka is better. I don't think Zuka is better. Oh, this is a bad vending machine. I'll buy squid attack. I'm not- I- pearls are literally worthless to me now, I have all the items, so... Okay. I don't think we buy Zuka. I think Splashdown is definitely better than Zuka. Okay. Splashdown better. Hello, Whackers. Another vending machine? Wait, main range, though. That's... Sisyphusian. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I almost feel like we vending machine again, right? 
I think we just vending machine again. I don't want to risk. I don't want to risk Sisyphus. We have the money. I'm vending machine. I'm vending machine. As long as we buy the chip there, it's not really a waste. Like we're still getting, and we have the money. Like with you know when I when I was resetting vending machines to get chips, that was like a thing. But like now now we always have enough money to buy what's ever here. Drone gauge armor drop. Those are both good. That's that was a good decision. Um. Fizzy? I don't know about Fizzy. Do we buy more of these is the question. I feel like I increase armor drop. I kind of would rather increase armor. We only, get, we only get one of these. We only get one of these. More armor? I think more armor. I think more armor is the move. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay. And then we get range. We get range. Oh, but it's... Oh, I don't know if I can do that floor, guys. I don't know if I can do that floor. I mean, maybe I can. With the shooter, right? That should be easy. That should be easy. I don't know. There's so many enemies there. I don't know. I don't know. Um. Oh, bye, SJ. Um. I'd rather go for one of these. Range is so nice to have, but I can't... I, I don't have confidence in myself that I can do that. I think max lucky chain is what we do, right? Or special drop. There's danger here. I think max lucky chain is the best thing. Two bridge floor. Oh, I know this floor. This floor is easy. This floor is easy. I I might be jinxing it so hard by saying that. I'm going to have to be really careful, but this one is... is You don't have to get the balls very far. Oh, you guys were saying special? Uh, I don't know. Lights out? Okay. That's... A little scary, but I know I know the terrain. I know the terrain well. We should be able to just get this one instantly if we're lucky. That's a charger. I do not like charger in lights out. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? I said I know the terrain well. I said I know the terrain well, and then I fell off the map. Oh my god. Please heal. Okay. These chargers need to go. These chargers need- I thought that was it. I saw my life flash before my eyes, dude. Oh my god. 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 Okay. 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 Please. The music is actually scaring me right now. This is- I don't want this to be so intense. <laughs> um, that guy got knocked off. Whoa. Is my knockback that strong? When did that happen? Or did you get knocked by one of the other guys? Maybe by one of the other guys. Okay. 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 Please. Please just live. Sprinkler? Can I can't reach the sprinkler. Why can I not reach you? Oh my god. Okay, that's armor. That's armor. I don't want to go further than where I can see. And that's hard because it's a slope. Please go. Please go. Okay. It's right there. Okay, I have to check for enemies on the other side. Any big guys? Any big guys? No big guys. Okay. We did it. We did it. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> oh boy. That was very frightening. Oh my god. Okay. I did flint up. Mm, that's portals. That one's scary. I don't like how small the floors are getting, dude. They're all the small, annoying ones. Um. I don't know what to do here. I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? Shelterless might be okay. I don't know if that's worth, though. Bonus might give you saturation. Yeah, but it's the divided floor. I'm more afraid of this floor than almost any other floor in the game. <laughs> I really don't like this one. Um, I don't know. I don't know, dude. I almost want to skip here. <laughs> Wait, okay, is this the zone... This is the one I feel the best about, actually. I'm gonna go for this. I'm gonna go for this. I know the other abilities are good, but I'm just too... I'm too afraid of the floors. I just genuinely don't think I could do that. Okay, okay, this one's fine. We get high ground. This is good. This is the... Yeah, this is a good choice. Immediately get this one, hopefully. Probably have to back off eventually, but... Deal DPS while I can. There's a charger. There's a charger. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Okay, lucky bombs. Thank you. 
Gonna glide around and try and bring it from the other side. Nice. Get that disc. Oh my god. Stop! I was stuck in ink. I was stuck in the ink. Move back and forth. Oh my god. Dodge and weave. Dodge and weave. We're fine. I think we're gonna be fine. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. We're gonna climb up this side and get high ground again. Armor heal. Armor heal. Thank you. Jesus. Okay. Okay. Please get up. Please get up. Oh my god. <laughs> Please, Charger, stop existing. Kill. Kill. Okay. Okay, okay. We can splash down this portal. Hopefully take up most of the stuff here. Okay. Nice. Get another splash down. Nice. Armor. Disc. Oh, we got a disc. We got a disc. That's huge. Oh, that's massive. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Splash down. Oh, discs are so huge. Okay. Thank you, Pearl. Thank you, Pearl. Ooh, okay. Nice. Oh my god, this feels so- How did I get to 27 without, like, feeling this tension? Like, what was I doing? <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um... I'm thinking can special drop, right? I'm thinking can special drop. That just came in clutch right there. I don't know. This one takes too long. I'm doing can special. Okay, okay. Four portals. See where they are. Okay. I did not mean to drop. Oh my god. 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 Dude, 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 dude. Okay, I had armor. Oh, that was so stupid. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was actually so stupid. I literally just did not mean to slip off the ledge. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> we're fine. Oh, the drops are so good now. The drops are actually so good. Okay, we're getting so much lucky stuff. Okay. Uh, I was actually hoping to hit this portal with that, but that's kind of fine. That's maybe good. Okay, that's, uh... Okay, okay. Okay. Um, Small portal might be easy to deal with now. Uh, okay, enemies. If I kill these guys and get over here like this... There, nice. Fast pop. Okay, very good, very good. Special gauge. Oh, if I knock that, ah, uh, I always tunnel vision the Beyblades and just jump into groups of enemies. I, I, I don't want to risk that. I don't want to risk that. Okay, there's a Beyblade. There's a Beyblade. Um, there's a Beyblade. Okay, hopefully it hits the portal. Here, this one will. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. One portal left up there. I want to get high ground. Don't approach from below. Do not approach from below. Approach from up here, and use the Beyblade maybe. Um, let's splash down now, so we get a Beyblade, I think. Uh, nope, okay, he went away, that's fine. Uh, splash down again. All oh, the drops are coming in so in clutch. Oh, the lucky stuff. The lucky stuff is actually saving it. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what that sound was. I don't know why I did, like, a weird laugh, but okay. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Why, shut up about fucking uh, floor reset, Marina. We don't got that right now. We don't got that kind of luxury. Okay. <sighs> Divided floor... I hate this one. I hate this one so much. I know main damage would be good, but god, I hate that one. Oh my god, I can't do that one. I can't do that one. I'm sorry. It's not happening. Large underpass cover pole? That seems easy. Main damage is the good chip, but I can't do that floor. I'm so worried about that floor. I don't- I don't have confidence in myself. I hate that one. I hate that one. <laughs> I can't do it. Oh my god. I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm literally not doing it. I'm literally not risking it. We're going for this one. It's fine. Our damage is okay right now. We're getting enough splashdowns that our damage output is like okay. Yeah, I think I think just playing it safe makes more sense. Yeah, my build is all right. My build my build is a good. Okay. Saturation. W. Okay. Uh. Not that direction. <laughs> Uh, okay, okay, okay. I want that disc really badly. Nice. Okay. You can only have one armor anyway, right? Um, oh, oh, well, I touched it. Okay, oops. Um, free splash down right there. Give me. 
We're gonna go in and get rid of this one. Somehow there are like no enemies around. Oh, now there are all the enemies around. Oh my god. Ugh. Got it. Got it. Nice. Last portal's over there. Charge the splash down. Kill some enemies, get some drops. Lucky bombs, help me out here. Splash down here. There's too much. There's too much going on. Okay. Oh my god, my bomb hit the guy. Uh, only one more disc. I'll need one more disc to, to basically win for free. Okay. Nice! Oh, the Beyblade hit the- the Beyblade hit the portal. Ooh! Yeah, it's- it's skin real. Okay. Uh... Oh my god. I need to remember that I can skip floor too. Like, literally, I would not be afraid to skip a floor. Bombs? I'm going bombs. I'm going based off the floors now. Like I know, I know the ones that are harder for me, and and I'm not doing them now. Okay, what? Wait, hey man. Oh, this is the one. Okay, a divided floor. That's my bad. I thought I, I was saying I knew which ones. Okay, this should be easy. This one only sucks on zones. Nice. That's two, I think. There we go. Oh my god. If he just doesn't notice me here, we win. He knows me, but he might die anyway. Yes, he got launched off. Nice. Oh my god. You. Oh my goodness. Um... I don't know. I don't know. We key, skip floor is an option. Skip floor is looking real nice right about now. <laughs> we did pass the personal best. We're on twenty eight now. Not danger. Yeah, I, I'm thinking maybe skip because I don't love any of these options. Oh wait, could we just double? I don't want to double skip. I kind of want one more buff. I could double skip though. I'm gonna skip this one. I don't like the look of this one. Let me let me at least look the, the next selection. Um, divided floor. I don't want to do that. Soaker blockade. Two div you can't just give me two divided. You can't just give me two of my least favorite or soaker blockade. I think we skip. I think we skip to the end. Right. We have the money. We have, we, you know, it's, I mean, we, we earned the money. We earned the money. We deserve it. All right. Last one. Once we reconfigure Eight's palette, we can finally rest easy. Eight, Pearl Oct, I owe you, you, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Eight, Pearl Oct, I owe you all so much. Yo, save everyone when we win. Yeah, for real. I don't want to read this dialogue again. <laughs> First, we got to reconfigure Eight's palette. It's go time, Eight. Okay. Reward. Lore. <laughs> That's all you need to say. Go there. Yeah, just paint, play it, play it really safe. I need to, my main thing with this fight that I always do, I need to not tunnel vision popping the portals. Just stay alive. It will happen when it happens. At last, you finally brought me that palette. We're gonna weaken, reconfigure. I started doing the uwu voice for Pearl instead. Oh my god. We're gonna reconfigure its palette, and there's nothing you can do about it. After that palette, it'll be over. I gotta try real hard this time. Please don't. Eight, take that palette of yours and come at me with everything you have, please. We're gonna settle this whole thing for good. Okay. Thank you guys for the good luck. Last order, Overlorder. Give me my gun. Please give me my gun. Okay. Let Glenn Fiddler's spirit give me strength. Okay. Hey, okay. 
I'm gonna splash down here because there's another can right over there. Okay, okay. Okay. Good, 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 good. Phase one done. Phase one clean. Easy. Armor, armor, armor. Thank you, Pearl. Okay, okay. There we go, there we go. Come on. Oh my god. I need just one more bomb to pop that one, but I'm afraid to approach that. Yeah. Okay. Oh my god. It didn't break. <laughs> Pearl. Pearl, help me out here, please. Oh, I shouldn't have grabbed that, actually. There we go. There we go. Okay. Just get your sprinkler out of here, dude, please. Oh my god. Okay. Let me get some height. And splash down. <laughs> there we go. That was kind of sick. Okay. Very worried, very worried. Anytime I hear that, like, attack indicator from Overlorder, I get terrified. Because I don't think he does re sliders until phase three, but. Okay. Oh, God. Uh, I didn't have a splash down ready. Okay. okay. This should be fine. Safe. Okay. He still needs to take a lot more damage, though. Keep it moving, keep it rotating. I think that's the, the main strategy, just keep rotating, right? Whatever he throws at me, I'll just keep going around it. Uh-oh. I'm gonna save this splashdown for the first portal of next of next phase. Oh my god. Oh my god, phew. Oh, that timing? The timing was perfect on that. Oh my god, okay. I would have been fine probably if I got thrown by the attack anyway, but okay. So glad I did not have to deal with that. Okay. Okay, I like to go for the far one and get this out of the way. This is typically how I play the smallest fight, so not gonna mess around. Just do what I know. Okay, don't tunnel vision. I may not have fully popped it, but that's fine. We'll get back to it later. <laughs> it may heal, but that's okay. That's okay. We're gonna take our time. Those are re-sliders. Those are re-sliders. We're gonna keep it moving. We're gonna keep it moving until I don't hear re-sliders anymore. Okay. Poison Ink absolutely coming in clutch with this entire army. Oh my god, discs. Discs might be amazing. If I can grab that. Thank you very much. Splashdown. He is Stingrain. We are moving. We're swimming, we're moving. We're swimming, we're moving. Okay. Don't get cornered. Keep moving. That's a disc. Three discs. Wait. Discs. Discs. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I knew the lucky stuff. The lucky stuff. It came in clutch. It came in clutch when we needed it most. Oh my god. Oh my god. Get as many portals as we can while this is still going on. Oh my god, oh my god. Please. Stop moving away! Oh right, this portal's still alive. Oh my god, that did not last as long as I feel like they normally do. Okay. That's fine. Oh my god, I'm just trying to keep it moving. Nice! Okay. Is that one portal left or two? I'm not sure. I think it's just one left. Okay, that's what we do. We splash down all of this and then get out of there in case any of them are still alive. Okay, we got another splash down. Splash down again. Get everything out of here. Disc. Okay, we don't have a splash down immediately to work with. I'm going to try and keep my distance, actually. Oh my god, that's why. <laughs> try and build a splash down. Don't want to put myself in the air because I move really slow and his... Uh, Ink projectiles could hit me. That's a stingray. It's fine. We have the whole, whole arena inked already. Just gotta keep moving. Come on. Charger splashdown. Hopefully get both of those guys out of the way too. Okay. Okay. Nice. Three sliders. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Oh my god, I am I'm so tense. Okay.
I keep just having to- I can just go in and splash down. And then avoid everything else they throws at me. Okay. I'm just playing this, like, in extremely safe. I know I could probably just go in and shred him, but I really do not trust this build, or my own skills, or my ability to dodge things like those reef sliders that are being thrown out at the moment. Okay. Okay. That's a lot of enemies. We get the height. And we bring it back down. Okay. Okay. Armor. He's so weak. I know it can be deceiving though. Um, this guy looks really painted before he's actually like super low in health. So I'm not going to risk it. I'm going to play as safe as I possibly can. Throw a bomb. Uh, every now and then. Oh my god. We're fine, we're fine, we glide, we glide back, we glide back, we glide back, we glide back, throw a bomb. <laughs> One splat bomb at a time, we'll get him eventually. I don't even know if they're like, those aren't even doing max damage, because they're like falling down the little slope. Three sliders, three sliders, go, 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 go. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I have a splashdown. I have a splashdown. Okay. I'm going to do what we've been doing. Give myself a little bit of height. Going in. And... Splashdown. Oh my god, that was it. Oh, ho, ho, you even got the cool finish on him. Okay. First ever hackless run and eights palette cleared together. Let's go. <laughs> oh man, that's so satisfying. I'm so glad I did it like that too. I'm so glad I didn't use hacks. I'm so glad I... I oh my god. Thank you guys. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Oh my god. Secret Glenn Fiddler boss time, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> and that you do it. Congrats, eight. We finally reconfigured your palette. But you'll breathe easier now. <laughs> a, a moment in history. I don't know if you meant to typo to make it sound like him or not, but. <laughs> oh, thank you guys. Thank you for the congrats. <laughs> so that's uh, that's it, huh? You meanies beat. I mean, you folks beat me fair and square. You know it's gotten real when even smallest is thrown in the towel. The Memverse is going to be a place to save Octolings, just like Marina wanted. So much for the dreams of everyone who wanted a place for order. But hey, sticking around as the big boss of the Spire won't be so bad. Oh, Smallisk. I always got a little thrilled when you come up here again and again. I hope your lives go good in the real world, promise? Or please? Uh, and um, if you want to make me smile sometimes, come back and play with me. Okay, <laughs> I guess that's how that works. Clear. We're gonna we're gonna vibe to the music for a second because I earned this. <laughs> we we earned this. Everyone here. Oh. Bum, bum, bum. It was it really was the lucky stuff that helped us. I mean, I don't know. This is a pretty well-rounded build. Like I was trying to do the whole time. This damage fire rate fire rate ended up being a lot more useful than I thought. Uh, yeah, oh, trust me, oh, trust me, I'm gonna read the lore. I just, I just want a second to savor this moment. I am very, very excited to see what happens in there. Okay, let's see. 28 minutes. 16,500 points. Some pearls, those don't matter anymore, because I've literally 100 percent the entire game now. <laughs> okay. Got Marina's Dev Diary? <laughs> Octoshot Replica. Reminiscent m m Mediator? <laughs> okay, let's go on. We're all done reconfiguring the palettes. That really does wrap everything up. Uh, way to go, eight. The real world's got nothing to worry about, but maybe we should go say hi to Smallisk now and then. Maybe. <laughs> Not now, though. Okay, now is the time for this. Oh, there's another... Oh, <laughs> Oh, the art is so cool. From Oct. Hey, Marina. You can, um, you can guess the chaos your desertion caused. I ended up with um, without much to do except make music. You remember that club way down in the lowest levels of the base? I DJed there for a long time since I knew it was one place where the brass wouldn't be caught dead. As time went on, I got more and more into it, to the point where music was all I thought about. Honestly, that whole period of my life is kind of a haze. But... Thanks to getting sucked into the world of order, I caught up with you again, so maybe it wasn't such a bad thing. After all, I found my way to the surface. I'm back to making my kind of music. Here we go again, right? If you're ever up for it, we should jam. P.S. Consider me an off-the-hook fan. I found a record I think Pearl would like, so I'll send it over later. 
Give my Vesta 8. That's nice. That's really nice. Oh, it's interesting, like, almost like sanitization type effect in the bottom right. Huh. Oh, I've read all of them. Don't worry. I <laughs> I recorded my, my initial reaction to all of the diaries, so you'll see them when the when it's in video form. Um But yeah. No, I, I, I read I read the other oh you mean the yeah, no, I read I read those ones as I got them. Um the, these two I read er, earlier while I was still um climbing. But yeah, man. Oh that <laughs> that, that's my stick drifting, by the way. Oh my god, I'm not touching the stick right now. I think it just broke my controller doing a no hack run. Um, <laughs> well, um, that, that's been an issue I've kind of been dealing with, but yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Well. Wait, how many, how many runs did it take us? Let's see, let's see. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> it was the tenth run no hack with Octoshot. Man. Okay, well, this has been a five and a half, almost, hour stream. Um, so, definitely gonna end it here. Um, I've literally 100%ed everything in side order. As you can see, I've done all the chips, um, all the field guide, all the dev diaries, um, all of Cypher's siftings. So, that is side order. Um, I'm still going to edit... Um, as of recording, or as of streaming right now, um, I still have to edit a lot of the playthrough together. Um, but you know, and I'm still, I would like to, you know, do maybe like challenge runs or races or other no hack runs, I don't know, but, you know, as far as my initial reactions to everything and the completion of the, uh, you know, original playthrough, that is it. So, thank you guys so much for watching, whether it's on the streams or in the videos. Thank you everyone who was here today and watched me suffer um, but also succeed in the, the hackless run. Um, this has been great. I mean, I have, I have, you know, other things to say about side order. May maybe I'll make a video kind of talking about my thoughts in more detail, but you know, this has been great. I'd say it's absolutely been worth the wait. Um, and I'm, I'm really glad I played it the way I did. I mean, I, I liked going in, you know, with only one life, um, until I beat the, the, you know, the boss the first time and then going back to no hacks for the ending, I think, you know, it was a really good challenge. Um, it was really fun. And yeah, uh, it was just a pretty great time overall. So, you know, also uploading the big video essay right at the start of Side Order, I feel like it's kind of been a big, you know, a big moment for the channel. We've gone up to 7,000 subscribers, um, which is pretty crazy to me. Um, you know, it's been really cool. It's just been a really, it's been a really good time to be a Splatoon fan and to be a, a content creator. Um, so thank you guys so much for being here. Maybe I can give you a cool shot, um, to end it off of the spire. Kind of like the, the official art almost. Um, but yeah. Yeah, more people can come to streams. Yeah, so I mean, we're going to do more, you know, fresh season stuff. I'm, I'm hoping to do some fresh season videos. Um... You know, more more content to come. It's certainly not the end. If anything, it is a new beginning. But yes, um, man, that that is side order. <laughs> Guess I don't have anything else to say. If you are new here, we do have a Discord server. You can join the description. Oh, this this weird little dude walked into the <laughs> the frame. Hello. Um, maybe more no hack runs. I'm not really sure. Um, for now, I need a bit of a break. <laughs> Honestly, I, I need to edit the episodes. I need to make some multiplayer content, maybe. But yeah. Um, thank you guys for everything. I need to go eat dinner. It is like 7.30 where I am. Um, <laughs> but thank you once again. I've said that like a bunch of times. I just need to end the stream. So I'll see you guys later. But until next time, this has been Cosmic. Farewell. <laughs>